Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim. I'm Claire. So it's been a true and welcome back to Elden Ring. We tried, we tried not doing Elden Ring for a week, but I just felt like, you know, was it wasn't the same, damn it. Then again, it kind of was, it was tuning, which is actually very similar yeah. to, to Elden Ring. So yeah, but it was meaner. It was actually somehow meaner. The cute Quiff Physics Fox game is actually more hardcore, because everyone has to start to retching that. Welcome back to Elden Ring, my, my newest addiction. So... And uh, I've, I've been good since the last time we, uh, you know, we, we were together on the live stream. I've not gone and done Rhea Lucaria Academy. All right, the next big, like, proper mega dungeon. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go into uh, Wizard Academy because I found a really big hat last time. Now I need a really fancy wizard robe to go with it because, okay, I'm going to be honest. The really big hat we went and got last time. I've already binned it in favour of a different, big, well actually it's not bigger, but as big hat that's actually better and I kind of like a bit better. Um, now there may have been some, some, some NPC death, don't worry about it, it's fine. Whose wasn't, hat is it? Wasn't my fault, I can't remember his name, but he's dead. Um, so, welcome back to, to... There we go, it's there. Welcome back to me. So, uh, things have changed a little bit. Things have changed a little bit. It's not my fault. Various characters died and I didn't do it. I went to go and speak to whatever his name was. Servius, Saluvius, Saluvus. The guy who worked for Rani but wasn't me. And he was just... The one who was creepy? The one who was just dead. Yeah, he was super creepy. They're all dead, John. And he, no, yeah, but like he was proper dead. Like, I just got his stuff off him. And it, his hat goes wobble, wobble, wobble as you run along, which is great. So well, that's... Well, the other hat also had boob physics, didn't it? Yeah, but, so, but I, I like that it's got this pa the star pattern on yeah, the inside. Yeah, that is very pretty. pretty. Good. And it, it comes with this mask built in. And also, um, because I realized that basically like... In terms of getting the most damage resistance out of your weight while staying on medium load, uh, like... Armor gives you so much more than hands or legs. I just went all in on the armor and I bought Radan's armor from the shop. Uh, yeah, we killed Radan last live stream. Um, so I got Radan's armor from the shop because it's got a nice little cape on it. And it's just got a load of good resistance. And then the arm. The hand is the spell blade glove, which lies. And I've just taken it off, which I shouldn't have done. It, it lies. It says it boosts glintstone sorcery skills. It, well, kind of, it, that's really, really misleading. It does not in any way make glintstone sorceries better. What it does is it makes any magical weapon skill better, which includes transient moonlight. Because that is a magical-ish skill on a weapon. It's, it's really weird. It's really, really weird. And then, like, on the on the below, I've just got Noble's Trousers, which is just generally pretty good for... Like, I generally just say, okay, you know what? Take my damage resistance on my armor and then give me the magic resistances on my legs and arms. I where mean, you can I, get I, a I lot for no weight. I think it's quite ballsy to be going in an adventure in the wasteland in, like, white trousers, but you do you. Yeah. Well, I could go over to the Spellblade things, but as I say, it's, it's a very minor difference, I feel like. So, like, if you're determined to believe that that's, well, that's what we should do, we can absolutely just kind of oh, put no, on no, some no, no. different tra different trousers. So long as you've got a magic spell to, like, clean them. That's and absolutely fine. you don't fine. have to do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, and also, yes, I've also found the Gold Scarab, so I get bonus runes for defeating enemies. I'm still using Green Turtle, because he's awesome. And I found the Stargazer Heirloom, so intelligence plus, like, five. And this hat, by the way, is really cool, because this hat is... Simple view, how do you... How do I make that? No, not, not that view. It boosts mind anyway. It gives me more FP, which is fine. So, uh, yes, everybody is uh, absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, I could if I wanted to put on the, uh, spell beige trousers. They're kind of a bit flimsy, uh, in terms of damage resistance and whatnot. But they do slightly, say, boost the weapon arts that includes Transient Moonlight. So Transient Moonlight gets better, but Glint Blade Sorcery doesn't, even though the thing says, oh yeah, it's gonna make Glint, uh, Glint Blade Sorcery better. No, it doesn't, just lying. It just makes magical weapon arts better. It's, it's very deceptively titled. Uh, so that's weird. But I want to be wearing, wearing not armor. I want to be wearing wizard gear. 
Okay. Also, another big change. Screw all the staffs that people say are the good staffs. Like, you know, the really good staffs I've been using. No, screw them. I found a better staff. Okay. Best staff in the game, this. Karian Glimp Blade staff. It's brilliant. Boosts uh, Glimp Blade Sorcery. Alright, so I've boosted this thing to plus 16. So it's doing ludicrous damage next to everything else I've got. Sorcery scaling is above a Meteorite Staff. Uh, it's above a Lusat's Glint Blade plus 5 because those need like... Um, well, this one can't be upgraded. And this needs uh, the Somber Stones to be upgraded. This is easy to get to like plus 16. So it's got like way better Sorcery scaling. And it's really effective. It's just basically 15% bonus damage with Loretta's Great Bow. Which is brilliant. And, oh, yes, new selection of spells, by the way. I've also found some new spells by just pottering around the overworld. So we've still got Pebble. We've still got Great Glintstone Shard, which is just the same thing, but better. I've now got Stars of Ruin, which is just basically a good solution when you've got a fast-moving enemy who you need to, like, um, track. So, basically, it's just a giant pile of stuff that goes homing. I hope I'm in range, by the way. Yeah, there we go. It, it, it's just basically a, a spell that um, homes really well. Terra Magica is still good. After that, Loretta's Great Bow's great. I found this thing, Comet Azure, which is the most useless bastard in the game. Because it eats your entire bar and it never does as much damage as you want it to. But it looks badass. So I've got to keep it. That It's kind of important. So like, you know, there's someone over here who I want. If you want someone to be dead, like really dead, then you walk up to them and you say, Activate Death B! And that's your entire magic bar gone. That's that's the entire magic bar gone. Right there. So that's um it's unfortunate. Um Karin Phalanx, which is boosted by my staff, so that's 15% better at no additional cost. That's just basically a good way of just doing a little bit of chip damage to any, any enemy dumb enough to come nearby to. They'll just hilariously get caught in everything. So you buddy. He's dead now. It's just a good way of stacking damage before the enemy gets to you. Like, if you want to be like, doing super long range, then cast that before you engage, then, like, Terra Magica, then double Loretta Great Bow before the enemy even gets to you, then they get hit by that, like, it's a lot of damage before they even get to you, which is really reliable, and uh, that's it, because this thing eats three slots, it's, it's so, it's so rubbish, like, the amount of damage it does per FP is terrible, Cometers is the worst spell, but it looks so good, I can't not use it, You've got to, just occasionally, if a boss is like, you know, holding still for a bit, which they don't because they all move around really fast. It's really good. Um, so that's, that's where we are. Right there. Still using, uh, Moonvale, which is just, you know, solid, reliable damage when I run out of everything. I mean, I'm experimenting with Wing of Estelle. I kind of like Wing of Estelle because its special little explosion mist is really badass. Uh, but I'm not like, it's not quite good enough. Uh, other things I've picked up, Ancient N Dragon Knight Kristoff, plus eight. He's just a guy who's really hard to kill, and he does no lightning spells. He's very good at drawing aggro. Um, I've replaced my Rhea Lucaria soldiers with Lindale soldiers, up to plus five. Uh, they're just very tanky. Uh, Jellyfish gets to stay, because he's awesome, and a Mimic has been upgraded to plus eight. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That's, uh, that's kind of my loadout. Still got the, uh, the shield, which I think is very, very cool indeed. And I say today we're going to do Rhea Lucaria. Uh, because I would like to replace this proper armor with a wizard robe. And if I could just get the wizard robe, because I found the flibbly jibble. I found the, uh, Arsenal Charm plus one and Arsenal Charm. I am determined to believe I could get light equip load going. But I haven't managed to do it yet. Haven't managed to do it yet. But I'm determined to believe it's possible, damn it. So, alright. We may as well travel over there now. You may notice I've done a bit of, uh... Yeah, I've just kind of... I haven't really done, like, the proper things, but I've potted around the volcano area. I've potted around, uh, the Atlas Plateau, uh, area. And I've made it to the, s the steps of the city, but I've not been into the city yet. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go to, hang on, which side was the main academy gate, South Relucaria gate? It was, was this the one which you have to, I can't remember which is the right way in. I don't know where the front door is, uh, which is, which is a uh, minor thing. Uh, light load means the iframes on your rolls are much better. It was not this one, it was the other side. This, but on the plus side, this guy could just teleport me 
to uh, yes, yeah, so this this thing could just teleport me to the other side, I believe. Uh, then I can yes, I'll just be teleported to the far side of the academy. So yes, we're just going into Wizard College, Oxford today. We're gonna we're gonna kill some people, which is gonna be lovely. And okay, I think I should I should modify my spell loadout before we go in because I know I'm gonna be going up against a whole bunch of magic casters and uh, that there that, that, yeah, there are things there are things we could do. So okay. We're now the right side of this, because that's out of the college. This is into the college. So my magic loadout now needs to be changed. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you my actual full thing there. I'm up to level 109. Uh, vigor at 30. Mind at 38 and kind of rising a bit. Endurance at 18, just to help me wear a bit of armor. Strength 13, dexterity 18. Intelligence 62. Uh, faith 7, arcane 10. Some of that, of course, is adjusted by uh, various uh, bits of uh, equipment that I'm wearing right now. So, like, you know, this is plus five. The hat is plus three to mine, but cost me a bit of stamina. I think my stamina is, like, ten down or something because uh, of that. Uh, so, yeah, there are various spells that I can enchant in order to give myself, uh, yeah, a better bet inside... Uh, the college, because not all of this will necessarily be uh, the most useful thing in the world. In fact, okay, I'm going to take off Comet Azor for the time being. Uh, we can put it back on later, but it eats three slots. It eats three slots, and it is of questionable utility. Okay, so there are various spells that up to this point I've been completely ignoring, but they could have utility inside the Magic College. Number one, Scholar's Shield. So, enhances left-hand shield damage negation, which I assume includes magic negation. Oh, specu speculation of all sorts of things in the chat there. Love it. Uh, hang on. There's also... Which one am I thinking of here? Eternal Darkness, which draws in spells. I don't know if that includes my spells. It might do. I don't know. Uh, so, if someone's casting giant piles of sorcery at me, I could just say, nope. No, you don't. Bye. Uh, which is great. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Carrion at Retaliation. I've not really experimented with this yet. Dispels enemy spells, uh, retaliates with Glint Blade. Don't know what that means, but it sounds useful in the Magic Academy, to be honest. And uh, in general, having access to... Uh, flibbly jibble. Having access to just basic Carrion Slicer is probably good. We'll get Kara in Retaliation up, and we will have Eternal Darkness. We can have Eternal Darkness present and correct, too. Uh, whether we'll use any of them? I don't really know. How I need to investigate how Kara in Retaliation works. So I've got, I've got more spell set now. So, okay, Kara in Retaliation. Do I cast that, like, permanently? Okay. So is that a... Is that just like, you know, Ganondorf tosses lightning at me, and I say, nope. Is that what I'm doing? I'm, like, literally... Batting, batting it back. Then Eternal Darkness is... That just creates a black hole and that just stays here and it eats spells. Now, does that include my spells? And... No, it appears to only be enemy spells. Because it did not eat my spell. So that's good. So, uh, yeah. Karin Slice, meanwhile, is just quick sword swing. Which is really good because you can just go like that. Well, that's going to be that useful. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to be using my katana a bit more during this area. Just because... Uh, why is there so many... There's a lot of bloodstains here. That that worries me. <laughs> hadn't actually... Hadn't really noticed the number of bloodstains here till right this moment. Um, okay, it's like... Pa oh, no, it's like parry. Oh, I'm doomed. I can't use parry. I'm terrible at the game. I'm bad at video games. Uh, yes, okay. But uh, are you... Um, do you also have... Um, I know you also have some spells that do physical damage. Uh, you might... That's true, actually. Having having rock, having rock. Some people jibble. did point out uh, in the last uh, few streams that uh, when you do the magic college, yeah, you know, that's actually a very good point. Uh, rock do sling, have... rock sling does yeah. do physical damage, which is probably not a bad idea. I've probably got enough. You know, what? if I've got current retaliation, I don't need eternal darkness. Uh, we'll scrap that and we'll put. Um, We'll put Rock Sling ah. back in rotation. Which I prefer to Meteorite, to be honest. Meteorite just it doesn't aim. It's really tricky. It's really tricky. Timing's more lenient. Excellent. All right. Uh, so, um, Carson points out this is a PvP arena. Oh. And um, that... Razor Light 
I Razor see. Light Entertainment, sorry, uh, points out players die in many ways to find secrets and stuff. I see. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and this is lovely from Foster. Says the really fun part of this stream is being able to piece together what John has done based on what spell and gear he has. It's like spoilers that only work if you already know the game. That's 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 fun. Mm -hmm. That's fun right there. Oh, it's little wolves. Right, they get oh I thought that wolf survived that, but no, the wolves all died. Is anything down this path, by the way? Is there anything is it is it just a giant pile of wolves? Is this just a different way up? to the college. I don't know whether there's anything like going on uh, down over here. There's a piss just be bad wolf. Okay, there's so many wolves. I think this just I think this literally is just leading me down to yeah, that's just leading me down to the southern wait, the southern the South Rare Lucaria gate which That was the one that was closed, wasn't it? Do I do I want to open I'm gonna go I'm gonna go over there and just open it if I can, if the option presents itself. Why are there so many wolves? There's a there's a strangely large number of wolves here. Go, go away. Stop stop being wolves. Claire, how's everyone down in the chat? Yeah, everyone is it boom, sorry, everyone is doing good. Uh massive shout out to uh Viber who gave us uh fifty pounds. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh and it says John, stop making me buy games that take up all my free time. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> You're not sorry at all. I'm not, no. Um here is my donation to make up for lo lost streams. Also, do you have any plans on playing Breath of the Wild? Uh, it did recently not win but not lose the um, uh, Democracy Week. So it's not going to be showing up any time imminently. There's... Okay, there's, there's a guy here who is selling me... That's some of the starting gear. Sacrificial twig. The Perceptor's secret. He's dead. Perceptor's dead and wearing his hat. Friends in Flame Village. Pretty sure I've been there. Revenants. Pretty sure I've killed them. Uh, cookbook is for various types of arrows in Greece. I can do without that, to be honest. Uh, what even is this? This is, that's a bolt, that's an arrow. Uh, I'll take a, yeah, I'll, I'll take one of them. I'd like to take more. Okay, remember he's got that. He's also got fang dims, but I'm pretty sure I've got better summons than that. Okay, remember this guy's got another two stone sword that's keys. Uh, in fact, actually... Do I have any rooms I can crack just to get those right now? I may or may not. I do not. I've got 23 rune arcs. Good lord. Uh, presumably there's a lever to open this. Right? I mean, I don't know why I need to open this when there's like a... Um, there's a oh. Hello. Who are you? What are you doing up there, buddy? Hey, buddy. Okay, this is, this is why we prep. Terra Magica, Loretta's Great Bow, fully charge it, and who are you? Alright, he's nice and dead, that's over a thousand damage. Yeah, like, you can get 2,500 damage off really easily. Okay, this seems important. Wait, were there some ashes you didn't pick up? Uh, there were, I couldn't afford them. There were some ashes ah. in his shop, but I couldn't afford them. Okay, I'm not sure how we're supposed to likely fire... And the game is does not like that visual effect. It's stuttering like mad. Uh, okay. Up. Yeah, I saw him up. Now, I'm not sure how you're supposed to open the grate, to be honest. Huh. Is there a dad that does not look like a down to me? Okay, not sure how you're supposed to how you're supposed to do that, but I now know that guy's there. And in all fairness, the gate just teleports you to this academy gate anyway. So all right, fine, sure, what have you. It's all as it, uh, as it should be. We've killed that guy. Oh, dear. What else is going on, Claire? Well, I just teleport back home. Uh, yeah, I've got lots of people uh, saying uh, how uh, fancy of a hat you've got. It is a very fancy hat. Oh, my goodness. It's not that tall, but it is whippling. And it's got a lovely pattern on the inside, which I appreciate. Yes, Claire. Uh, hey, shout out to uh, Asia, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you, Asia. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, and they say, uh, I'm so happy I'm finally able to catch a stream between classes. My fiancé and I love watching your videos while we snuggle with the cats. And we've been watching for years. Much love to you both and a happy Trans Day of Visibility. 
Oh, happy Trans Day visibility. Yes, I saw this on Twitter. I yes, think indeed. I think that note is just trying to get me to toss myself to my death. I do not believe there is a a down here. That does not look like a drop thing. That looks like a you die thing. So I believe. Well, I mean, is that lever not calling a elevator? The elevate it calls the elevator. I just sent up, then jumped off of in order to see what was below it. But I'm a pretty confident that is lying. Anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Asia. And uh, yes, happy transit visibility. Uh, several people have already brought it up, so I'm sure we'll mention it again. Yes, I saw it on but, Twitter, uh, as I was saying. Yes, yes, no, but I mean in the stream yes. and in the messages. Uh, but yes, um, that's so sweet. I hope you have a lovely time uh, snuggling together with your cats uh, and your fiance. Um, yes, absolutely. Ah, dear, oh dear. Okay. No, this is... Um, <laughs> on the hat, John. Yes. Uh, Elana is also uh, in chat and uh, and sent a member message because they've been a member for twenty five months. Uh, and so, and they say to ruin your day, the huge hat doesn't move with the character. It wibbles wrong. How know. are you both, and how is Tabby? I mean, it's. It seems broadly to be bobbing along with me as I'd expect there. That seems about right level of bobbling. I'm not sure what else I'd expect beyond that. I think that's uh, that's acceptable. Check that out, by the way. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty sweet. Pretty yeah. sweet. Okay, so oh that's my... that's magic <laughs> school. Folks, come on. What? Well, there's just a lot of big donations right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the third pink one that's just come in. Ooh. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Um, sorry, Ilana says, how are you both? How is Tabby? And happy Trans Day of Visibility. Trans Visibility Day. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, watch the shoulders, uh, says Ilana in chat. The hat goes in the opposite direction to the shoulders. I... I'm, I'm not sure I understand hat physics well enough to say. Like, I would expect there to be, like an element of latency to my head bobbing, like, if my head bobbed against my... I don't know, I think that's all right. I don't, I don't, I don't really think, oh my goodness, it's wrong. Alana... Plus, in general, um, my, my, my camera angle here, so I can't see it. Yeah. I, Alana, I happy with uh, you should uh, look up, and, you know, anybody else who might be interested, you should look up, there's been, like, actual studies about how when a person with long hair is running does you know jogging and is running at a steady pace like the movement of a ponytail um because it like doesn't i don't know i'm sure there's a scientific explanation for it but people started studying it because it doesn't move the way you think it would which mm -hmm. is hilarious um apparently i don't know but i saw a study about it and it was one of those funny things that you're like Wait, did somebody actually, like, get funding to do a study on this? And now that's what and they do. why not, job. damn it? Why not? Oh, oh, hello. All right, I see ya. I see ya, buddies. I see ya. And, oh, that that was not the... That was a more powerful spell than I was anticipating using. I, I was just wanting to go over to... to just, okay, just, just chill out. Chill out for one second. Sorry, I didn't realise you guys were about to be here. Okay, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try Karian Retaliation. Just for funsies. And... Go, 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 go. That did not work in the slightest. Um, did I get my tummies completely off? Okay, just, just come on and just round this guy. Oh, that, that one. Okay, so it converts magic into me having three Karian blades rather than bouncing it back. And the timing's a bit fiddly, to be honest. I'm not convinced. Not a hundred percent. I'm sure I'm convinced about that. And go. Okay, how tough? How resist these guys? We can still. Okay, it's a three shot. It's a three shotter. And are oh, you not dead? Why won't you die? And just shield up and. To... Why is shield not up? Come on, come on, guys. Why are we not shielding up here? Why are we not shielding up? There we go. There we go. And... Okay, shield is... Ah, yes, yeah, shield's useless versus magic. And there you go. Okay. Might need to do... I'm not convinced by Karin retaliation. 
Not convinced by card retaliation. Next time, I might just go for... Yeah, to be honest, I can see... I think I'd rather actually have... Next time I find a thing, I'd rather just have... A cast Eternal Darkness and then say, Okay, now you can't do magic. Now I can just run up to you and stab you. Um, you can get card retaliation on your shield. That's pretty good. Alright, here we go. Let's flip in murder some wizards. Alright, and... Oh, oh, I see her. But do you do you see me? Sneaky, 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 sneak. Okay, I feel like you had protection, actually. But that's fine, because you don't appear to be aware of me yet. So, activate magic. Activate Loretta's Great Bow. Charge it up. 15% bonus. Full charge. Terra Magica. Over 1,000 damage. And uh, even against a wizard, dead. Because they've got good magic resistance, don't they? In fact, I should probably change out my armor to be exclusively, um, yeah, magic resistance. Because no one's going to be using physical attacks. Well, actually, these guys are. But the most dangerous thing I'm going to be facing is now magic resistance. So, therefore, going over to these weapons at first up. Now, this thing was important when Rani gave it to me, but now it's not. Okay, equipment. Let's see what I've got that gives me better magic resistance, which will be in the light side. So, uh, actually, in all fairness, this is pretty good on the... I mean, okay, fine. That's getting me, like... 13.8 but i'm already on like 13.5 so actually even the the robes are not really giving me more magic resistance like at all so it's really not worth it uh i might be able to get slightly better magic resistance on perceptors is up to 8.3 we'll go over to that uh what is the highest magic resistance i've got it won't be any of these it'll be some of the trousers uh none of you none of you none of you I think it's the Perceptor. So I'm wearing Perceptor's trousers and mask. This is the same guy who just dropped the mask I'm wearing. So there we go, Claire. You, you should be happy now. I've changed to dark trousers. So they'll, yeah, they'll... And also, I don't know what it is that you're doing that makes the constellation inside your heart. Like, is it your lamp, your lantern? Yeah, well, I've got a little lantern attached to the Because your bell, lantern yeah. makes the, the heart look way yeah. nicer. It already looked nice. How dare you? No, but I think it looks nicer to have like the gold embroidery or whatever illuminated so you see it better. Yep, that's true. Because it's, you know, gold against blue, so it's... Uh, Somber three, it's, right. Uh, so we've got those marionette puppy, uh, puppies, puppets. And obviously this latter... <laughs> One track mind! Uh -huh. Want a puppy! First off left, all right, and... Ah! Well, there's the, uh, there's a grey. So yeah, you know what, I'm gonna immediately trade out current retaliation. Now I, now I see what that does with... Yeah, Eternal Darkness, which I'm not going to use much, but just in case, just like on occasion, I think it might actually be quite useful. Um, so replace you with Eternal Darkness. Keep Karin Slicer, keep Rock Sling, uh, keep Karin Phalanx, because it's actually, it's not even that expensive. I think for, for 26 FP, just it's just like when you're a mage, you want to be doing as much damage as possible before the fight is joined. And if you can do a fully charged... Magic up, like, boosted by Terra Magica, boosted by Charger, boosted by this staff, Loretta Great Bow, times one, times two, and then it hit them with 12 flipping staff blows. It just does a lot of good work to them before the fight even properly begins. You don't want to do it all the time, because these do just hit door frames, and it's dumb. Uh, but it's a thing that happens. So, all right. There's... This might lead down to that thing I saw earlier enemy ahead. Ooh. Oh, hang on. There's a giant water wheel. Someone told me there was a thing at the bottom of a giant water wheel. Like it was one of the shops. He said there's like a, um, a teleporting machine that still works at the bottom of a water wheel. So at some point I might need to go and investigate that. Behold down. They're not wrong. There is a down. Alright. Well, there is a yeah. Smithing stone four. Okay, if hardly spectacular. Anything else? No, just back this way. I think we might be looping around to... Uh, yeah, the... Well, that's the back of the graveyard I saw before. Where is the enemy that was... Oh, I see an enemy. Is it just skelly boys? Seek right, then precious item ahead. 
This goes back to where I just was. Oh, it's just Skelly Boys. I feel like I just gave myself away there. How go? How are you guys? Oh, blimey. Okay. Chill out, lads. Chill out. All right. Some of them are a bit faster than I was expecting. Stick on the high ground and yeah, I see, ya, I see, ya, I see, ya, I see. Ya. Go. Follow up with that. Yeah, the moon veil is just, but it just basically is fine. Okay, there's a trap up ahead. Be wary of left. All right, and oh, I see ya. I see you, boyo. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, there. Patches telling you about that. That's magic resistance. Okay, I think it's time for swords because these guys are magic resistance. Patches. What, people were saying Patches was telling you about the water wheel? Oh, he's dead now. He kicked mm. me off a volcano, so I stabbed him to death. And I feel like he deserved it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dead. And heavy attack into the jump. There we go, nice. Any more for any more? There's a grace mimic. Any more? Need any more? Okay, they said item ahead. Was it just Grace Mimic? I don't know what. I, don't, I still don't know what Grace Mimics do. So it just says, oh, recreates the impression of Grace, but without the something, something, something. No, no cloak. No cocking cloak. Can I be on my horse here? I can't be on my horse. Claire, I don't have a double jump. It's the worst <laughs> day ever. Uh, okay, can't get up there. So that was just the Grace Mimic that way. Loop back round to the bottom. Keep clicking on the old button. Be wary of right. I mean, I see. Yeah! Oh, he still got me anyway. Oh! He, 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 he did that. That's surprising. He just stole me magic. No! Dead. They don't do that much physical damage. He, yeah. Did. And go. Go into that. Dead. Okay. Transit Moonlight working pretty effectively. And go. Oh, someone else is waking up around me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? No, no, no. Oh, there's so many more. No, no, no. Ow! They've got me. Someone, one of them, several of them have got me. But they're not doing much damage, which is interesting. Oh, there's several. Okay, um, get onto the bridge so I've got a nice little choke point. Uh, do a little bit of something. Are they following me? Some of them might be following me. Hello. Oh, there's several more. Okay, prepare for a big horizontal swing. And go. That did so John, you've not got the you've not got the magic. You've not got the magic. You've not got the magic. So you can't do the big thing. And go. 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 And then retreat. One of them just fell off. Alright. And then you can just go down to. There we go. Need a tiny bit of magic. Right, they're magic suckers. That's interesting, isn't it? And they're dropping basic mushrooms. Be wary of behind. Don't worry. We've got that. We're under control. Make sure we don't miss items in the graveyard. Right, got you. Spellproof dry deliver. Hidden path. First off right. Here. Alright, drop down in this direction. Might be a tiny little, like, back cave or just a corpse or up. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see ya. Finish you. Oh, there's more of them. Alright, that's fine. And... Lunge into light. Any more for any more. Alright, seek skill. Alright. Nothing. Okay, so someone tried to claim there was a hidden door there and there wasn't. Is this a way of bypassing the the rump the the, the, the rump bridge? How should I get to rump bridge from rope bridge? That's interesting. Yeah, this is a way of bypassing the the rope bridge. But why? What's the point of bypassing that? Unless, like, there's going to be a sniping spot ahead. Okay. Be wary of right. Shield up. It's the marionette puppets. All right. There we go. And go. Go. No, you go down nice and easy. Is there more along this little low path? Dog. I see no dog, I just see puppets. Alright, so that bypasses the... Ah! Marionette soldier. Ah! Hey, guys! Can you get to me? No, this is a nice little area up top. So, I see there's dogs. Dogs can go down nice and fast, at least. And, yep, you're going down. 
How does the greater Glintstone Shard do against you bastards? If I can even get a lock on. The camera could do with going invisible when you get, like, your character going invisible when you get close enough to the enemy. Because it can sometimes be very, okay, you know, Stars of Ruin, that has good tracking. It does nothing, however. Okay, how many are there down there? There's, there's several. Okay, so we're just going to go to here, and then we're going to draw a blade, and then we're going to start slamming, and then we're just going to roll in this direction, then we're going to go around to here, and then we're just going to... Jump into... Yep, heavy into light. Jump attack, she's being a free heavy attack. So nice. Uh, right, so that's all of you dead. We got the secret path. We crossed the bridge. So now we're the far side of the bridge. I don't know why we want to be the far side of the bridge, but it appears to be the only direction to go. So it's a bit creepy. It's a little bit creepy in here. Yeah, I definitely want to be using... Moon Veil for the time being. And go, go. Could have just done the sneak attack, but we didn't. Uh, okay, how many more have we got... Here, check the description. Be wary of left. Yeah, he's already dead. Don't worry. We got him. And then, up. Oh! Gosh darn it. He's only going to suck me magic out, though. So it's fine. So why won't you just stop doing that, you bastard? All right. And then, go. Go. And chug. Yeah, I'm on, I think I'm on four and seven health to magic at the moment. So, okay. Since this is all under control, just be on the listen. For emerging enemies. Can I break that? Can't break that. Can't hear any enemies emerging, which is good. More magic grease, which strikes me as not useful. Actually, oh, 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 okay. Didn't even realize you were going to be there. And there's, oh, there's, there's more. Okay, well, several of you are, several of you are dead. Several of you are. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get into this corridor and then we're going to form a nice little back, back to get. I'm trying to, no, no, fudge. That's fine. We didn't get back to where we were nice and easy. Okay, so there's fuck tons of dogs, and they could just bat you into a corner so easily. Also, I could have used summons there, and I didn't. Everything's fine. Death number one. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, as you pointed out earlier when, uh, when we uh, turned on the stream... We uh, did get a message from the book 778 right yep. before we started. It gave us uh, five pounds uh, and says, John, I just wanted to tell you that you're amazing. Oh, thank you. Uh, which is uh, very, very sweet. I'm uh, going to wait till morning, by the way, to see if it's a bit lighter. I know sometimes I'm dark on YouTube can look really dark. Yeah, yeah, So I'm yeah, going yeah. to wait till, I'm going to know what time it is right now. But like, it might just be permanently dark in the wizard college for like, you know, the ambience or whatever, but if I can make it a tiny bit lighter and less rainy, then we shall do that, and we'll see if that might be look a bit better on YouTube, because compression can be monstrous. Uh, it still kind of looks a bit dark, but I think it's a bit better than it was. Uh, everything should be... I completely forgot about the one that ambushes you right there. Completely forgot about the very first one. Well done. Well done, me. Clap! Um, <clears throat> yes, indeed. Sorry. Um... Shout out to Dave, who uh, gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much uh -huh. indeed. And uh, Dave says, I just started on my Elden Ring journey as a Spellblade. I've only leveled once so far, but I hope to get Pebble at some point. Love to you, Claire and Tabby. Oh, yeah. is that person who started as maybe a, like, a prophet or something? Spellblade, they just said. Spellblade's not a class. Okay. Dave, please let us know some more. Um, yes, just started as a spell blade, only leveled once so far. I hope to get Pebble at some point. Love to you, Claire and Tabby, and trans rights. Trans rights. I'm not sure whether maybe that means, yes, like, indeed. a wretch who's just going in the direction of spells. Maybe. Right. Uh, basic Pebble will do the job against Dog. So do that against you. Yeah, that's you nice and dead. And then you just... No, you don't. Right, that's you, dead. And then... Go. 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 Dead. Right, that's all them dead. That was all that was on this side. Then we're in towards the graveyard. And... Is someone gonna... Oh, the shoe! Hi, guys. Sorry, I forgot I forgot you guys were up there. But that's true, you are up there. Uh, right. Um, two pebbles will take care of you. No trouble. Right. Drink. Yes, I just dealt with them backwards last time. And these guys are fairly magic resistant, aren't they? Yeah, they're really magic resistant. I mean, I could just go over to Roxlane. Roxlane gets stuck on stuff all the time. 
Uh, like, it's just gonna get stuck. Like, if I stand here, maybe two of them will make it there. It's really not worth it, is it? We're, we're just going to... Then again, is there one on the left? Is is the one on the left still there? Is the trap one still there? I don't think so. I think we're fine. So, go. go. Yeah. He almost got me. And go. Go. Right, now I saw you there. Now we've got to be ready for dog. Dog is ahead. Now, where are the dogs precisely? And I can't actually use my summons yet. Okay, let's let's just get some attention. Let's draw you out over there. Where are puppies? Hey, buddy. Uh, that should be able to finish you off. Yeah, that's you done. I don't hear the dogs. So where are they precisely? Was there a detour? That is. That's survivable. Okay, we'll come back to that because I think there was. I think there's a grace like just up ahead over here. Okay. Where did the dogs come from? If I just toss some stones over to here. Okay. In which case, Terra Magica. Right, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm doing Karen Phalanx now because I don't trust this area. Do not trust this area. Now that he's standing up. The rock spell should hit him pretty reliably. Second should take care of him. So that's all them taking care of. I've got Kara in retaliation ready to go. Where are the cocky dogs? Oh, and now I can I can now summon. Okay, well, in which case, my new friend, Ancient Knight Kristoff's coming aboard. Because he's really good. He's fun. He's just really tough, and he just has little lightning spells, uh, which are brilliant. Um, okay, I'm going over to my sword. Right, buddy. Where are the dogs? All right, there's you. I see you. Right, there's one dead straight away. There was more than one. There was definitely a second. Okay, I see you over there. Yeah, fine. Was it actually just two dogs? I thought I'd walked into like a big insane dog ambush, but no. It turns out it's just as actually a mushroom. It was a mushroom. The note was correct. Fair enough. Well, me and my friend Christoph, we're here now. So we're, we're just, you know, we're doing as we're doing. And there might be, this looks important. Oh, I knew there was more than one. Right, buddy. There you go. You see, he's just good. Little Chris, Christoph's nice. Christoph's useful. Oh, that might be a new Ash of War I'll never use. Excuse me. No. There's Spectral Lambs. Dead. You see, there's a little lightning spell. There's a little lightning spell. Spectral Lambs won't use that. And loopy, roundy, downy bottomy. Grab you, buddy. Golden room full. Ah, I shan't say no. Yeah, he's nice. He's just got good survivability. And because his lightning spell kind of always hits, he's very good at drawing the aggro. Because even if the boss is ignoring him, he just like goes zap and the boss gets zapped. The boss like, oh, who just zapped me? I guess I'll go pay attention to that guy. So he's very good. He's very, very good. So, all right. Just... Before we go any further in... In the direction. Okay, so that's... There's the water wheel. That could bring me... Oh, he's wearing off. No, no, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. We'll go back to where you're not dead. Go back to where you're not dead. Because there was clearly something going on downstairs on this side. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can survive that drop. So, all right. All right, all right. Just, just around here. Yeah, that's survivable. That's absolutely fine. And... Go. Dead. And... I love how they, they just don't notice you. They don't notice the incredibly obvious stabbing. And no, you don't, buddy. No, you don't. You survived that. Well, well done. That's impressive. And dead for you. Grab thing. Kari and Night. Ooh, Kari and Night stuff. All right. Don't know if that's going to be... That's probably not going to be better than what I already had. Because I've uh, the only armor I'm wearing is... Uh, yeah, the super awesome mega Radan armor that I got from the, the Fingers Lady. But, uh, you know what? It never hurts to have options. I like playing dress-up in this game. All right, we're basically we're studying fashion studies at Wizard University. Is broadly what's going on here. Armor ahead. Yeah, but was that ahead the way I just was? Or somewhere different angle? Remain that's just a golden rune. Hiding place ahead. Prepare to be disappointed. There we go, disappointment. I need to get on the water wheel thing that's going down. 
I don't know whether jumping... I mean, I can see I can jump on up there. The problem is, okay, I need to get into a good vantage point so I can verify whether it's even possible to... Oh, that's this. Also, why am I not... It annoys me that when you die, your lantern gets turned off. I wish it could just auto-turn on. That'd be very welcome if it would just turn itself on. Be very helpful indeed. Right, drop down there. Need to get into a good vantage point to figure out whether the flibbly McJibble turns when it hits the top. So get over here and just be ready for trouble. Oh, this looks like a trouble area to me. Because I'm, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a black wibbly thing over there. Okay, just watch over this. When this reaches the top, does it flip over or does it like... Looks like it does, which I feel like is bad for me. So maybe don't ride that. What is that over there? Oh, 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 oh. What the, what the, what the, what, 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 Terra Magica. I'm not sure you see me yet, which means I can get Loretta's Great Bow off times too. Go! Okay, number one. Okay, good. Two shots to take him down. He's going to come at me. He hasn't even seen me yet. Bye. Oh, oh. I see. I see what you're doing. And point back range. Oh, he's not dead yet. Okay, and... Go, go, go. How are you not doing the basic spell? The one super easy basic spell you're supposed to be able to do. Bloody useless. Uh, okay, that's fine. And... Go. Carrion Blade is not fast enough. Gravity well. New spell would be good for Meteorite. Dear I flipping dear. I th generally thought I'd just got him with the simple thing there. Okay, hang about. Infantry spells down to the purple spells. Gravity well. Pulls foes towards caster. Why would you want to do that? I want foes to be further away. I want the equivalent of like the faith spell. Repulsion. I want enemies to just go away. I don't want Well, maybe if they're ranged and like your melee weapon is stronger. You know, like when you got that grappling hook in Tunic. Yeah, that's true. Okay, hang about. I need, I need me horse. I need, I need to double jump. Somber smithing stone three. Now it's going to be a person lying about a fake wall. Rump ahead. Lies. Okay. So this got me to here. Visions of Liar. Liar! Okay, just... Well, the game's brought me here. Does this mean I've now got nowhere to go but on the water wheel? Because I suspect I've now got nowhere to go but the water wheel. The problem is I can't clearly see... It looks like there might be an off platform up from where I am. So I think I just need to go... Yeah, wait till the next platform gets close. And then about here... To do the job. I think there's an off platform on this side by the Luxie of it. And up here. Jump off for now. Um, it's good if you're a melee character with a big weapon. Um, what is? Pulling enemies closer. Oh, yes, that makes it sense. Also, yeah, yeah. Uh, lets you st it also staggers enemies. Uh, and okay, yeah. John. Yes. You can yoink enemies off of ledges with that spell. Oh, that sounds hilarious. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Twitchy B. You knew exactly what to say to John. The best thing in Jedi Outcast was always just basically pointing at enemies and just grabbing them, pulling, just using the force choke, then rotating them off the cliff, and then just basically saying, how did you fluff that up? Uh, this is why you always lock on, just to make sure that doesn't happen. So now they're coming back down, and I could ride it all the way to the bottom. But I want to trigger a grace up here first, so I can not lose progress. There's got to be a grace around here somewhere. Like, surely there's a grace in this part of the world. And yes, unfortunately, I think despite my efforts to make it day, I think it's just always night and dramatic in this bit of the world. I'm not sure there's such a thing as... Uh, daylight. So, hopefully my little lantern is good enough at providing light. So that leads up to the very top. Then there's rump, which is a golden rune. 
What's rump? It's, it's just the closest thing to a root word. People trying to write root messages in oh, algebra have to use the given vocabulary. Like bum. Exactly. That's what they mean. Precisamundo. I right. See. So we got that there. So we can activate you. Uh, and also we can... Do you know what this does, by the way? You examine this, and it says the summoning pool's now functional. But I already summoned, like, my my Ash summon, which I guess is, like, maybe that activates multiplayer? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. I see you over there, buddy. I see you over there, buddy. I see you over here, buddy. I see you over here, buddy. Stab! Right up the arse. Yeah, definitely want to be using my meteorite. Uh, not my meteorite. The, my, the katana. Moonvale, which begins with an M, but isn't a meteorite. Sad as that is. Oh, don't trust this room. I don't trust this room. I don't trust this room. Not a chance. Lyra uh, had. The summoning pool is for multiplayer summons. Yeah, that makes not sense. For it to customize. Okay, not a teleporter. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Potentially useful. Ah! Ooh, Conspector Scroll. That's a scroll for what's a face? Salon, Sarah, Solana, Sarah, Tim. Hey, John. Yes. Uh, Kay Grimm points out in chat the sorceries are all based on stars, the moon, space. So the academy is definitely deliberately starry night themed. Yeah. That might be why it's dark. It's just the aesthetic, okay. Just yeah, the they aesthetic just choice. Took they just took the being like emo nighttime aesthetic to the next level. Yeah, fine. Okay, well, they, they do wear dumb emo hats. They looked at the Slytherin common room and decided they wanted to do the whole castle like that. Pretty much, mm. yes. Mm. Yeah. It? Sometimes it's very hard to tell whether they're looking at you or away because of the stupid masks. I think he's looking away. Oh, you missed a hidden door, apparently. I probably did, you know. Right, that's you, Dad. And then just get out of the way of you. Oh, there's so there's, there's so many. There's so many. This is oh, there's also a pot. There's there's an angry pot. I think he just suicided. Okay, just just run. Okay, this is uh, just uh, for the record. Uh, for the rec record, damn it. Yes. Uh, at some point, if you see uh, bookshelves with no books on them, it might be because they're uh, door bookshelves. Cunning, cunning, yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. And maybe you can smash them. Where'd pop? It's, uh, it's, it's nice that they don't force you to smash books because that would be sad. Alright, uh, that'll take care of pop, friend. He's dead. The wizards do not actually have, are generally that resistant to magic. Like a double great stone shard would do yeah. nicely against them. Yeah, it's funny because I, I mean, I guess it's they're a bit resistant to magic, but not game, entirely. The game expects you to do this area much earlier, of course. Yes, one would assume. Uh, so yeah, it and, might oh, be on. why. No trap. Okay, this is good. So this is this is clearly where the magic shares. Ritual pot. Is that for b -b 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 crafting stuff? Mm. Then seek secret. Can't take this. Can't open. Okay, that's the Skyrim door. Okay, they were saying if a bookshelf doesn't have books, which yeah, is interesting. Yeah, just an empty bookshelf. Which is an interesting thought, isn't it? Yes. Uh, books. Books. So they pointed books. out to me that you walked past it, but it was a moment ago, so... Yeah, there's yeah. stuff in this You room. might have walked way past, I don't know. Books, books, There's a little books, bit of latency. Books. John? Books, books, books. John? Yes. You literally walked past it. That's not a... Oh, sorry, that's a bookshelf. I love you. I thought that was a door that was locked. Uh -huh. I love you so I much. thought that was a locked door because it didn't... I, thought, I didn't know. It was, I didn't realise it was a bookshelf because there were books on it. Oh, it's a smithing stone four. Okay. Not, not exactly... Oh, but then again. Okay. There might be, might be more here. There might be a secret in my secret. All right. Loopity roundy. And... Some flowers. It's nice. Uh, jumping required ahead. Try high spots. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. I see. There's there's a secret in my secret, which is kind of nice. And this gets me around to... Ooh! Glintstone crown. That might be a special magic hat, which does sound good, yes. This gets me back to... Hang on, this area right here. Yeah, this area right here. 
Okay, that brings me back to this area. Okay, check magic hats, because you never know when I might want to change over, because I've got two of them. I've got the Her I've got the Heriodas Glintstone Crown, uh, which is increases intelligence and endurance, but at the cost of FP. So I'd lose my mind bonus. But it's not like a huge bonus. It's um Yeah, it's like plus two and plus two. Plus two and plus two. And I regain my stamina as a result, but I lose, uh, I lose FP, which is one hell of a thing to give up as a as a mage. Or alternatively, there's yeah, I've got the Hyma Glintstone Crown. That's intelligence and strength, so that one's definitely not for me. Then there's the Old Venus Glintstone Crown. So that's intelligence. That's intelligence plus three to the detriment of hit points. How many hit points? That's like nearly 10% of my health. Ouch. Uh, no, I'll just, take, I'll, I'll just keep what I've got. My giant hat. That gives me bonus mind. Um, I think I'm happy with my giant hat uh, as is. Uh, in that case, I will not bother with that. Yeah, I've been... Um, just For those who are just joining, they were saying I've been to Mount Gelmir. Uh, I'm not doing like, the plot stuff. But yeah, I've just... I've potted around uh, Gelmir. I've potted around Atlas. I've killed the sacred draconic knight or whatever. The guy who's up here. So I've got access to the city, but I haven't actually been in it. And by accident, I found my way to the Divine Tower of West Atlas. Because it was through a tunnel and I didn't realise it was going to be. So I found that by accident. Um, so yeah, I've not made it to the icy bit over here. Because there's clearly a mountain range in the distance. God, oh yes, how much more game there is. There's so much game in this game. It's terrifying. Uh, I keep, every time I think, oh, I've definitely reached the end of the game. Now, there's just another bloody continent. The other side, it's terrifying. Um, so that's the Skyrim door. That is one of those things that gathers, oh. Is anyone else? There's definitely someone else here. I hear you. Hey, how are you, buddy? Where are you? Where are you? All right, well, you can't get to me uh, as long as I'm standing here. So a double great shard should do... Never mind, you're a spell warrior. Well done. Don't know where that guy is. I think he's on this side, isn't he? Oh, hang on. I'm trying to trying to get to the uh, yeah. Yep. There were there were candelabras in the way. Uh and two will take care of you. There's more up top. And there he is. Okay, shield up. And go. Go. Roll. Four. Okay, if I need to come through this room again, there are four in here. There's normally an offering in front of those little things, but whatever. Uh, more multiplayer summoning. All right. Check the bookshelves in case of a secret door. Don't know why you would dress differently. You're like a shield. All right. Um, then there's... Ooh. You're cool. Uh, right. Well, I'm hearing in the chat that there's stuff coming up oh. that I will like. <laughs> So that's interesting. Secret passage. Uh, I now know what to look for. Secret passage. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, shout out also to Kelly, who uh, gave us uh, $20. And this is uh, Kelly, who um, she's changed her username. It used to be uh, Jeans and Cowboy Boots. Oh, I recognize that one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and she says that her kiddo face says hi. Uh, Kelly says what was the name of the kiddo? Faith. Hey, Faith. You remember Faith. Yeah, I remember right? Faith. I do, you know, I don't think people necessarily put their kiddos in front of Elden Ring live streams. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, she should hide it from the tabby. She can't. Uh, anyway. So Kelly says, I mentioned to my boyfriend that I'd been watching John play Elden Ring. And last week when he came to see me, he lives in Ireland, he brought me a copy for my PS4. Oh. He's amazing, and I love that he feeds my gaming addiction. Oh, that's really nice. I know, that was very good boyfriending. Um, okay, so yes, indeed. Comet appears to be... Yeah, it just it feels like given its position. It appears to just be an upgrade of uh, Pebble and then Great Glintstone Shard, but presumably... Yeah, a bit more expensive, but not ridiculously expensive. But unlike, yeah, it can also be charged, it can be chain cast, but it can also be charged, which gives it a lot of flexibility. So, okay, I might put that into circulation pretty darn soon. So, okay, clamber upstairs. I feel like I've just found that woman who we just saw in the, the portrait. This is her, like, private study or something by the looks of it, because there's a big portrait of her. 
at the end. So, alright, there's got to be... Okay, there's a reason this is up here. Why, though? I see there's this. I see there's a hole. Ah! Does this by any chance lead to the far side of a wall? If I drop down here. It does. Right. Secret? No. This is another secret thing. Oh! I feel like I might have just ended up somewhere where I don't want to be. Behold group. Why is it always weak foe? Lover ahead. Okay. Top up everything. I do not trust this room. One little bit. I am activating Karian Phalanx now. And I'm going to use Great Glintstone Shard. Show yourself. What is it? They said group. Check the side. Check the side room. Okay. don't like this and I don't trust it. Oh! Yeah, 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 ha, ha, you can't, you can't. Oh, it's pot! It's, it's pot! The pots have betrayed me once again! Go! Go! And go! Who else have we got? Okay, the car in retaliation did a good job. Okay. It's cocking pot, bro. But this time he screwed me. Graven school talisman. Are they all definitely dead. Definitely all dead at this point. Alright, equipment. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Grave at school. Grave at school. Boost potency of... Ooh, potency of sorcerer is done. Right, well, that's going straight up. So yeah, bonus uh, runes, potency of... I don't know about how, by how much. Like, sometimes in this game, it's very small amount. It's like by, by 3%. Ooh, don't spoil me. Don't spoil me too much game. Uh, but alright, we'll see if that... Uh, if that feels powerful. Are we done in here now? I think we, yeah, we can't get back out this way. But any chance is this going to lead me back to... Is this going to loop me back to that room I was just in a second ago? And yes, it does. There we go. So we've completed that loop, which is great. And we've not had to reset as yet. I'm just going to top up magic. It's a little bit, little bit early to do it. But when you've got as many flasks as me and you burn through mana so quickly... Kind of may as well. So that's been done. Check the others. Got boss already? Can't be. Surely not. That feels wrong. Maybe it's like a mini boss it or could a halfway work. boss. Probably. Okay. Am I ready for a boss? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Four and four. Health is mostly topped up. I could, yeah, I could immediately drop the Mimic, and then straight afterwards, actually, hang on. Oh, it's Salon, who, I've got, I've got a scroll for you. Okay, I've got a Salon friend, so I'm going to have another, I'm going to have a friend here. Yeah, that's, that's my sorceress buddy, I've helped her out in like a couple of situations. Uh, like, helped her find her body and something. So, okay, she's been summoned. Which is great. Okay, if I've already got a sorcerer on side, uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to, the moment the fight begins, I'm going to summon Ancient Night Watch's face. But I'm going in with a full health bar. Not going in with partial health. So, alright. Sullen, me and you are going in. Hammer, 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 hammer. Red Wolf of something. Right, shield up. He's a puppy. No, no you don't, buddy. No you don't. That was very cool. I just want I just want someone else to get his attention for a second. And are we good? Is someone else is he on someone else's attack? Because there's multiple people in the room now. So I'm kinda hoping that therefore he will be looking at someone else. He doesn't have much health. He's got I need faster tracking. Stars of ruin, let's flip and go. Yeah, good luck, good, good luck. Oh, that was it was too far away. Oh! Okay. I need more magic. The problem is the range. He's getting out of range a little bit too fast, which oh, is a problem. You could summon him towards you. It would never work on a boss. That's working pretty nice. Okay. he's He doesn't actually seem to be attacking, which is interesting. He's just sort of running around in a circle. Maybe he's just really happy to see you because he popped. Go. Isn't he, that an attack? That looks like an attack. He finally got around to bothering to do one. Yeah. Uh, Stellan is down to half health. He's taking... Oh, he's coming for me next. He's coming for me. He's... Chomp, chomp. Yeah. 
take the safety potion. He's paying attention to someone else. Sullen's still around. One more will do it. Down he goes. Against fast-moving enemies, that, that is useful. The Stars of Ruin is just useful as a fast move, just against the fast moving. So that's a memory stone. So that's additional uh, charge for me. And this guy with his little lightning spell is so good at just drawing the aggro. Because it just, it just never, it never misses. Even against fast moving enemies, it seems to get the hit. So okay. That's you taken care of. And a grace. Which means there's a bunch of stuff we can do off site at this point. One, we can rest. Uh, two, we can memorize spell. Because, yeah, I'm going to replace Great Glintstone Shard with Comet. And I'm going to replace Pebble with Great Glintstone. I'm going to take Pebble out of circulation for now. Because I've got enough FP that I can just use Great. Uh, then again, I just picked up an extra memory slot. Is there anything else I need that I would want to bring into circulation? To be honest, I could... It's, it's kind of annoying. You can't just... You cannot just shuffle the spells up. So if you've got a particular order you like your spells to be in, then screw you, basically. Um, okay, I'm going to just very slowly redo my spells because I have to do them because you can't just insert spells. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Cutie Funny who uh, gave us 10 Polish Sloty uh, and says, Happy Trans Day of Visibility. Thank you for your support. It means a lot. Well, we do. I don't think we do much, really, in the grand scheme yeah, of things. So, but I mean, what, I... what little we can, good. Yes, yeah, so I, I do think we mostly try to like not be horrible. Not people. be horrible. <laughs> that's 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 you know, like, su you know surprise like... number of people fail that criteria. Like my goal is just not be not be don't be a dick to people. Yeah, I mean, don't like, don't know... be a dick to people. Like that's that's my that's my that's my way of living. I, it seems Baseline... it seems to trouble some people. Baseline, assume that people know, like, what's going on with their heads and their bodies and stuff. Yeah. And, like, that they can decide that. Just a good baseline. Uh, anyway. A ton of extra weapons I do not need right now. I am yeah. as well. I'm carrying a black knife I can't use because I don't have the faith. I'm carrying a golden epitaph I can't use because you don't have the faith. I'm carrying an... Antsper Rapier, which you can't use because you don't have the dexterity. I don't have any of the things for the bloody Hellas. Bloody Hellas. Uh, Scavenger's Curve Sword just doesn't look that good. I will keep some of you. Onyx Lord's Great Sword. He was a fun boss, uh, but he's dead now. Uh, Uch Katana can definitely go away because Uch Katana is never going to catch up with Moonvale plus nine. Uh, Twin Knight Swords, Godskin Peeler, which again I do not have the stats for. Great stars, great hammer, that's definitely a thing. Dragon great claw is strength, strength, so many things. Spear plus seven. I did find a crystal spear. Spear already came to me plus seven, by the way. I didn't upgrade it. Crystal spear I might play with at some point. I don't I, I don't know how well it's going to the attribute scaling for intelligence is going to improve over time. Like it looks like it might like it might be fun. But spears are a bit boring because what you've got is you've got a thrust, a thrust, or an impaling thrust. When by the way, the initial thrust also impale. So, I don't know, I, that, that kind of feels... There's an element of redundancy in that, I feel, in in some ways, I think. I don't know, Just this might just be me It's kind of got that view. But I'll tell you what I do want to do. I am... Just remember where I am right now. I'm in the debate parlour. Schoolhouse classroom. So, I'm, I'm in the debate parlour right now. Um, I am going to hey, go... John. Yes? Um, next gen points out you can store your spells away... Which makes setting new ones much easier, since you don't have to sort through all of them. Store your... Oh yeah, I could put my spells away, that's true. But I never know which ones I might need at some point. So, uh, yes. Selen now lives over here. She lives in a little basement nearby to Rani's tower. So, if I need to go and give her that scroll, and she's the person I've given scrolls to before... I kind of, unfortunately, I couldn't just give it to um right now, but yeah, presumably she wants that scroll and that will give her two additional spells or something. I think it's only two spells per scroll. So I think it's been two before. Maybe it's been more? I don't know. Uh, so okay, we're just going to quickly take out... Actually, you know what? Comet. Okay, so that's th nine a hundred odd. How does that compare to, say... Uh, actually, that's pretty good. Like, Loretta's great bow... Fully charged is only like, assuming we're off this. Yeah, charge it. That's only 1,127. 900 uncharged off comets. Pretty good. 
That's okay. I'm impressed. Color me impressed right there. That's that's a good result. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go see Sally and give her the scroll and see what she's got. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> Cara, uh, Cara points out the menu system in this game is a bit arduous. There uh, is, it, it, there's so uh, many items. There's so many items. Oh, it's terrifying. dear, oh, dear. Um, shout out to Alana. He gave us two pounds. Uh, oh, and no says, way. John, oh, I just want to tell you that Claire is amazing. You're just, she didn't say that. Just making this up. They did say that. Uh -huh. They absolutely did. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. You're selling me... Tut, tut, tut. Glintstone Comet Shard. Okay, I've got Comet Azure, Comet, and Comet Shard. So, okay, fires a magical comet with a trailing tail. Cast repeatedly, also... Okay, hang on, is that... But FP cost is 19, intelligence... But if I've already got Comet, why would I want Comet Shard? Mm. I feel like that's not necessarily that useful to me. And we've also got Star Shower, but I've already got Stars of Ruin, which is... Okay, I feel like she's selling me the weak versions of stuff I've already got. I feel like uh, she's selling me the weak version. Yeah, that's definitely the weak version of Stars of Ruin. And that's definitely the weak version of Comet. In fact, that's weird that you get the scroll from that exact point where you literally could get... I guess maybe if you don't have the intelligence, choose Comet yet. So that's, yeah, that's Comet Junior and that's Stars of Ruin Junior. So I don't actually need them. Sorry, I'm already... I've, I've moved on from you. I'm better than you now. Was there something else I needed to check while I was outside the academy? There was the scroll, which I got. What else was there? Was there something else? Am I misremembering something? It was the debate parlour, wasn't it? Yes, I've looped way around to the debate parlour, which I assume goes somewhere. Comet chart, it's everything in a straight line. Okay, that's nice, but, like, that's going to be very situational. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm a happy not spending uh, maroons on that. So, all right, there's... Are these? No, these are not even bookshelves. Or if they are, none of them have got books. So, they are not all secret doors. It's alright. Through here. Like, like that. Like, ooh. There's more to this room. Can I get, uh... Top? I presume you just need to loop around this way. Uh, right. Just drop a equivalent of a save. That you're supposed to get those spells 50 levels ago. Well, don't need them then. Alright, so... Can I climb up this? able to climb up this. No. Can I use a horse? No! You're not allowed to ride your horse in the debate chamber. Bullshit. Thought this was America. Uh, okay. So we're gonna have to just loop you round deep, try and find a way up, eh? So, alright, we're well, back outside. It's a bit lighter. It's a bit lighter now, which is nice. And, oh dear, I think the area just opened up a bit. I think we just uh, found a bit of an open courtyard. Now, is there any chance I can loop back on myself? And get into yes, I thought so. You can loop back on yourself all the time because this world is a beautifully designed. Right, so this is back on myself, but up a bit. Also, why is there a sprint climb? I'm so annoyed that this is a thing. In this game, Claire, mm -hmm. there's normal climbing speed, and then there's hold B to climb faster speed. Now, why would I never not want to be climbing as fast as possible? I, no, do you have a risk of falling? No, none. Does it take more no, stamina? No, none at all. Oh, weird. Nothing of that nature. It's the game just being a deck. Okay, so that is... That's way too far to fall, so that's not it. So we're just going in the broken window. So in the broken window. So as I was hoping for, we're now upstairs. Could this be a stone astrolabe? By the way, Elden Ring. Okay. Just loopy rounding. So I'm above... Yeah, I'm above the fancy seat. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it probably takes stamina in combat. Probably take... What takes stamina in combat? Uh, climbing at faster speed. Uh, I guess in combat it does. Ooh, Radagon icon. Well, somebody says in the older games it took more stamina. Um, uh, yeah, Radagon. or maybe it's sneakier. I don't know. Uh, the sprint climb is... The spring climb is a relic of all the Saw games. When you would sprint climb, you lost stamina. 
Shorten spell casting time. That's pretty huge. I am listening. How fast are we talking? How fast what? Uh, ah, who's not listening now? I just picked up a thing that reduces the time it takes me to cast spells. I thought you were asking me a question. Mm hmm So, okay, that feels, that feels faster. Oh, that feels quite a bit faster, actually. Okay, well, that's, that's staying. That's staying right here. That's, that's new best friend. That's new best friend thing. I bet you I would like another talisman pouch so I can have four. I'm not sure whether they're even all. Like, three feels about right. So there might not be a fourth. So, crystal bud. Well, that's worthless. All right. This is, this is suspicious. This is suspicious right here. Well, it didn't do anything. So, all right, fine. Uh, okay. Well, there was definitely a door around the other side. Radagon icon is... I really feel like these swords shouldn't just explode if you touch them against the banister. I feel like they should only explode against enemies. It's kind of weird that they do this. But, okay, hang on. There's also notes. Praise the sorcerer. Time for magic. And... Be wary of left. Be wary of left surprise attack. Oh, yeah, what if I surprise attack you, though? What if I surprise attack you with my giant swords? And go. Dead. Is there another one? No, just you. Oh, no, there was another. Ow. Excuse me. Hey, don't. Two. Three. That is a fair bit faster. That is interesting. Okay, at least from here, we've also got visibility as to what the flip's going on. So, first off, item. Then try jumping. Suggesting there might be like a mid platform I can get down to. I see there's a top of a staircase here. I'm not sure that's actually that you're like hugely useful. To be honest, just check this. Ah, hang on. There's something over here. I see you, buddy. Just hop up top without falling down. Okay, one and two. And yeah, it takes three to kill them. Okay, don't pretend those pots aren't going to try and get up and kill me. Don't even try it. Don't. Why are you even pretending this? Okay. Can I can I just cast a spell at them? Go. Can I just manually aim this spell? Okay. Go. Bit more straight up. Yeah, that's right. That's flipping right. I know your number. All right, fine. We'll just they're gonna wake up in a second. And all right, fine. I will start murdering you if that's what you need me to do. All right, and go. And go, and there was definitely one over here. I feel like I'm just a murdering pot friend at this point, but I'm sure they were. Cracked pot! Now, that's the create items you can throw that I never use, because they really do not do that much damage. They feel... Oh, hello. Oh, that's just someone in the same uh, in the same group we said. If you want to see me, by the way, uh, MHN is the multiplayer password and group password. So if you want to, like, you know, potentially show up in this stream or just see me floating around and see my desk. Those are the passwords. Uh, I've set those. So, uh, all right. That's you down. There's just a couple of people doing some... Oh, I don't trust this area entirely. But what you mean, like, at all? That's right. Just go. Go. That was, that was unnecessary. Okay, there's definitely people dotted about over here. I could have wanted to do now, yeah, just go and top up my health and everything, but I feel we're okay for now. First off right, then treasure chest ahead. Okay, well, I've already been to the right. That led up... Yeah, that led up there. That was that area. So, hang on. I see you up there, buddy. But the staircase is collapsed. Can I just clamber up it anyway? I probably can, you know. Let's just always take out the side areas first. Up, 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 up. Right, and then... Yeah, I heard that coming in. No, ow, 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 ow. Shield up against these guys. Shields are not that useful against uh, against these guys. Then again, they seem to be not. Never mind. Ow, 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 dick. J -j jump, just jump. Get out the cocking way. Jesus. They, when well, there's two. That didn't help at all. Didn't help. When there's more than one of them, they can really change stagger you. Quite effectively. Alright, well, you know what? You want to go long range. You want to go long range. You want to go long range. I think I can out long range you, actually. Just FYI. I think I can out long range you pretty nicely. So you want to come to me and go. Got caught on the cocking scenery. Brilliant. Uh, okay. 
But now I've got this as cover. I've kind of got this as cover, which should work pretty nicely. So just get over to here. Where's that one? He's moved over there. Oh, nope. Uh, nope. Dead. And then, ow, there's more of them over that way. I thought there were less over this way. Just keep rolling. Shield up. Does very little. Get down. Drink. And now just ignore all the rest of these guys and avoid juke. And then just roll in. He tried to do a spray and now he's dead. And now the rest of you will go down. No trouble at all because you are just a little... That was... <laughs> Why did you do a really dumb slow swing against the guy who's not even awake yet? That was unnecessary. Right. That's all them dead. Ooh, books. Everyone likes books. But I haven't found any good robes yet. Like, I feel like there's a lack of robes in this glintstone wet blade. Is that by chance? Hang on. I found a special type of wet blade before. Does that let me apply more than one? More than one. This, thing. this is a key item, isn't it? This is definitely a key item, right? Right. Oh, so many items. Oh, God. Um... Grant's choice of affinity upgrade to weapon. Change that. Can be used as a whetstone knife. When applying an affinity using physical or magic type ashes, an additional affinity of magical frostbite. Okay, so I can uh, double apply. Double apply magic. Now that might be of interest. If I could find a good generic weapon that can hold uh, two magical charges, does that double up the, the attribute scaling? So like it's good to skew more in that direction. Ooh, I don't know. Also, I feel like... Guys. You, you, the... Just, 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 just die. It's fine. It's all under control. Everything's fine. You guys die. You guys die. Golden room too. No trouble. And then... That was that room. But I haven't been up to the top yet. So keep on keeping on. There's just... Just you. Really sorry about this. That was, you know, it felt a little bit unnecessary. Oh, hello. Hi. Right. I see you over there. This is... Can I open this door? Not from this side. I can't... Okay, that's a shortcut that can be open from over there. Can I get hold of you, buddy? Uh, I might need to jump up for that, if I can do it. And go. Go. Is this an area I can get to or not? It may or may not be. There's... Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm going anyway. Can I get back to where I just was? Oh, hello. No. Yeah, they do. They do three, don't they? They do a bunch. They do it in. They do it in bunches of three. Okay. Just be aware. There's definitely potentially more dots around. I don't know whether I've just really. Well, I've just gone somewhere. Jumping required ahead. Time for jumping. Oh bloody hell! We're onto the roofs now. Um. Okay. I'll come. I'll come back to the roof. Only to. Oh, this area is big. Um. Okay. There's. Ah. Oh, you see. Oh, it's. Bloody hell, it's these bastards. It's it's the it's the big old spinny bastards that want to eat ya. Could this be a door? Could be, you know. Is that by any chance now a shortcut back out front? Yes, just No, bye! No, no, it's fine. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. <laughs> I'm definitely not here. Okay. I see that there is a golden seed. I, I need four. I've got two. So that will not get me an immediate upgrade to my flasks. I can probably, with Loretta's Great Bow, snipe off the bastard from the high ground, which is definitely better than going to the low ground. So, okay, now we know that's there, and we've opened up the shortcut. Now it's time to hop over. Is this safe? Looks pretty safe. There's also more down over there, but let's start on the roof, and we'll work our way down as necessary. I don't know what that is. It's a glowy thing down there. A glowy thing. Okay. Sort you out. You can just die. Why am I on the roof right now? Likely high road. There's a blood splatter here which worries me. Oh. There's a guy with what appears to be a gigantic scythe over there. There's this giant scythe man. Okay. I need to get into a good angle for him. Is, he, is that a bow or is it a giant scythe? He's, he's getting closer. Oh, you're just a marionette. That completely missed. Great. Hi. 
That was not a j okay. It was just a normal marionette. Okay, they're not that scary, but like in a in a in a difficult situation, if you if you this maybe get overwhelmed, you can get overwhelmed by those guys. That's fine. That's fine. Never really got a full set of their armor, by the way. But I assume at this point it's not going to be that good. Okay, I see a ladder up. Check for anything else before then. That is not a jump I'm going to be able to make. So okay, there's an up, over. Checky roundy, dead end ahead. All right, I'm going to believe that. Generally, people are good at leaving notes saying, hey, there's nothing down this way, don't bother. They use like they say, like, futility ahead. It's like mm. one of the messages that means, hey, don't bother going this way. There's nothing hidden at the end of this path. So, okay, just... This looks very familiar. This is like where we came in, although I'm coming up on the bell tower now, which is kind of cool. Just made a really loud noise. Be wary of up. I see up. Oh, I see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how tough you guys are. Let's see how well you do against Loretta's great bow. Bonus 15% fully charged. Because this is the best. Oh, yeah. Done. I don't know exactly what those guys are. But they're going down pretty easy to the bow. I'm going to do another. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. Yeah, you're conceptually aware of me, aren't you? And go. Good enough. Put another on you. What are you doing? Uh oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's doing a twirly. He's doing a wibble. He's doing a wibble. I'm going to hide. That might have been Comet Stone Jibble. Uh, okay. One more up there. Take out you. Loretta's Great Bow is the best spell in the game. Which is why I entirely go for a. Uh, like, here's the thing. Some of the really good staffs give you a tiny bonus of like 10%, but 50% increase in FP cost. That is too high. Because even though you're doing more damage, the amount of time you have to spend drinking as a result of that is so much higher. The effective true DPS is lower because you're wasting more time drinking and less time attacking. Because you're just getting through your FP so much faster. Okay? That's, that's a real phenomenon. Right there. That's true. So therefore, I think... Like, a staff that gives you 15% to certain really useful abilities, like Kari and Thing. I want to get in there. Why can't I get in there? I want to get in the bell tower. Let me the... Let me the bell tower. It's got to be a way in. But there's no note saying right here. Maybe I need to... Oh, I need to jump from up there. 100% need to jump from up there, don't I? Hidden, hidden path ahead. Liar! Liar! What a bunch of bastards. Okay. That's straight down. There's something. I see there's... I see there's the roof here. Obviously there's the roof here. And a few people are dead here. Which is concerning. What have I got? I'm, okay, if, if... The thing is, when I see red things ahead, that many, I activate car and phalanx. It's an insurance policy. It's a, it's a decent, sensible insurance policy. If you think there's a good chance you're going into a dangerous area. Ladder. Does that function as a ladder? It might do, but why are so many people dead? Is it just because they tried to drop and there was no drop here? Does this function as a ladder? No, but it's broken up the bloody things. Okay. As there's so many deaths, I'm going to apply cotton wool. I'm going to apply some cotton wool. Uh, that's a glowstone. Like cotton wool, which just means you can fall further without, you know, trouble. That looks like that's a very long way, though. Go. Drop. That's fine. Check this way. See you. Not going to be able to get across there. Definitely can get across here. That's fine. I see... That's just a bunch of... Nothings. Can I hit you from here? Yes, I can. That's fine. Anywhere across here. Definitely not. Alright, we're just going roof to roof right now. Roof to roof. You. And then you. And then it, you, buddy. Right in the back should take care of you in one hit. First off ahead. Bloody liar! Okay. I see there's a drop. I could jump down to there. 
Yeah. Item ahead. I don't know. Loop this way first. There's possibly an item, but I see there's a way to drop down somewhere around over here. Liar ahead. Okay, so someone tried to deceive. Golden Rune 4. Not that way. Okay, feels to me like the way to go is to drop down off here. Yeah, I see a ghost down there. Are there any more ways down than that? There's... Yeah, it's both ways. It is both ways. This looks like a safe straight drop. Yeah. I really hope I went... The, chose the right direction there, because... Let's check. Yeah, I see both of you. Now, is this a ladder I can activate? And... Now, that's a ladder that just goes straight down. Okay. That brings me around to... Here, I turn. This is this is amazing. Imbute. Oh, imbute sword key. That's the last for the four bell threes. Oh, we can go there later. All right. Oh, I don't like this jump. Oh, I don't like this jump. Oh, that's 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 that's. All right. Get a good run up to you and go. All right. We're not dead. Okay, with the fast side of the water wheel. I have precisely one Karian sword left. Smithing. I did that for Smithing Stone 3. Beautiful. I've got one sword. The, the, the ladder goes. somewhere. Alright. This is. This is. This is fine. Oh, but now I need to get back. And now the jump's up, not down. Oh, that's mean. No. That's. That's mean. I don't like any of this. Okay. And... Go! Don't enjoy this. Don't appreciate this. Okay, don't... Yeah, it doesn't seem like the jump is actually, you know, like... You didn't, like, almost miss it or anything. It seems like the jump is definitely doable. It's just not very enjoyable for you. No, not at all. Because you don't love heights. Uh, and in general, you don't want to... You don't want to die. You don't want to die. Dying, dying sucks. Uh, okay. We've made it over to here. There's another Marinette Puppet. If he doesn't see me, 500 damages. Why did you... Oh, oh, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, weird small creatures. Okay, watch out. There's little... They're not gargoyles. There's someone else. Do they just come out of here? Okay, there's a church. Okay, I might be able to... Get... I can get into this church from here. I still didn't get... I never went up and got into that bell tower I saw, which annoys me. Magic grease is everywhere. Alright. Just... Yeah, from here. Check all the different directions. And then there's, there, there is a down. Also, definitely magic time. Down to only two potions. That is low. Alright. Are we dealing with anything here? Activate lantern. Oh! Yep, thought I heard you. I heard you activate. Last one we saw came with a friend. Do you have a friend? If you do, we ain't activated him yet. Alright. Futility ahead, therefore turn back. Okay, do not attempt to make that jump. Now, I did see... There was a way up here. Careful, they can 100%. They can put enemies on the balconies. Uh, which is a dick thing to do, but there we go. Where am I? Oh, am I up from the very start? Is this the very first room? The one that had the two marionettes and the wizards? Because I think it is. So careful. Slow. Golden Rune 3. I am underwhelmed. I feel like I could probably drop down onto the... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's mean. Okay, I saw there was an upstairs from this area. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. If I drop down onto here, then there's and there's an item, and that will. Okay, I'm. I'm we're, we're cotton wooling. Activate cotton wool. Hey, John. Yeah. Do you remember the thing I told you about the rainbow stone, like, last episode and then the episode before that as well, and then you never used them? Yeah, I don't know. I faintly remember you saying something okay. about... YOLO STONE! Academy Glintstone Key. Alright, got myself an Academy Glintstone Key. Next up, if I just drop down... Oh, there's some red around here. Oh, I don't trust any of this. Okay, jump down to here. 
There's more red around here. Oh, hello. Yeah, don't mind, mate. Ow. Ow. Dick. Penis. Die. Is there another one? There might be another one. There's definitely something. Hello, buddy. Where are you? I see him on this side. Okay, and... Oh, he's, he's got stars. He's got... He's do, he does the star spell. Right, that's you dumb. Right, number two. How many more are we talking? Some of them... The ones in the town of Celia go invisible. But I don't know whether that's just in the, the sacred town of Celia. Or whether that's everywhere. I just saw you around here. Don't pretend you're not. And... Go. Go. Three. No, four. Should have gone over to Moonvale. It's dumb fighting these guys without it. Okay. That's this area cleared. At least the first bit. We're now upstairs from the starting area. But we never went down that ladder. But I don't even know where that ladder goes. So we just don't know that. That's alright. You, you, you just you don't have the right. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. What's, what's going on here? That looks like that would logically be the way to get down from... Yeah, the roof to here. So there's a way down, but not a way... Oh! Hello! You're a crystal crab! So cute. I'm so sorry I'm about to murder you in case you've got something important going on. We survived a hit and everything. Oh, we did have something important going on. He had a twin stage glintstone crown, which has probably got a compromise. That means I'll never wear it and I'm going to feel bad about killing that guy. Um, okay. Greatly increases intelligence at the cost of hit points and stamina. That's the best one I've seen so far. I'm gonna be honest, I guess my intelligence from 62 to 68. Uh, but I would be sacrificing. Uh, I'd be sacrificing three minds. That's a lot of intelligence. I mean. That's that's a lot of intelligence, but. It doesn't, it doesn't have... Oh, John. It doesn't have jiggle physics. It looks very silly. It doesn't have jiggle physics. I know. Well, we can't wear it. Uh, plus, the badge puts me into heavy load. I need to change out some other stuff. So mm. that's that's been got rid of. That's been got rid of because it doesn't have jiggle physics. So that, it, it loot... Okay, it is probably the better item in terms of playing Elden Ring. Uh, but it is the worst item in terms of fashion souls. And we're all here to play Fashion Souls today. Uh, yeah. As I'm studying fashion, as I'm doing fashion studies at Wizard University. So be wary of strong foe. Well, I see someone way ahead over here. All right. Well, this this is where we prepare everything. Okay. This is this is what my build is about. One, if we believe there is a strong foe, we get this ready. Two, we get Terra Magica. Now, time to have a quick drink. I am almost out of everything. Fully charge the Rattus Great Bow. If I can lock on, I should be in range. Start charging the second before the first even hits. And I think that the warning was overstating things there. That guy had like 1,200 hit points. Unless there's another strong... Just broke half my Dacus there. Oh, apparently there was a ladder you should have kicked. What's that? Just going to check there wasn't another strong foe who I'm should be more concerned about just in case I'm going to get the great shard ready. Azures. Ooh, a new staff. I don't, I'm happy with my staff, to be honest. I don't want a staff. I want my, I want my thing. I didn't expect dead end. We just got a nice staff out of it. I kind of wanted my, um, I, got, I, want, I want my wizard robe. Where's my cooking wizard robes? How hard is it to find wizard robes in a wizard university? Okay, apparently there's, you say there's a, a, a shortcut ladder I can kick in here, is there? Apparently, yes. Uh, oh, blimey, bit of stuff's there. They still haven't fixed the stuttering. Nope. But they even can. Uh, did anyone give an indication as to where the ladder kick might I be? I don't know, folks. Do let me know. Uh, in it's chat. Not to get to here. I don't know if it's to Flibbly Giblet. I don't see her. Uh, ah, that'll be her. Right, kick ladder. Yeah, there's that ladder. So that gets me back to that area. Though I don't want to go back to that area. Also, I never picked up this item because I was panicking at the time. Um, Shattering crystal. All the crystal spells are garbage. 
Not one of them is good. Kill the Burger King guys, they have robes. Kill the Burger King guys? Wait, what? I, I think those are the guy with the the guys with the like big bearded masks. <laughs> Interesting. I've seen I I'm, none of them none of them have dropped anything yet. Okay, if I see more of them, then yeah, we just killed them. Also, you buddy, the strong enemy we were warned about had uh, you were a perfumer. Oh, that's lovely. Right, okay, hang on. Hang, hang, hang on. I need to get back to... I can't get back up to the roof from where I was. So I need to actually travel back to the debate parlour at this point. Because... Yeah, I need to travel back to the debate parlour. So I can, re I can recharge my flask there, which is fine. Okay. And then, yeah, we've got to take out... Well, actually, on this occasion, we can mostly ignore... Yes, this is the Burger King guy. Oh, I see. So these are the Burger King dude. Right, I, I thought yeah. like I thought they meant, like, the, the enemies that have, like, the gold burger on their head. No. Which, which some enemies have. Mm. There's, there's just more crabs here, which is nice. Okay. Ignore all of these guys. Ignore... Why are there... Why are there always crabs here? I don't know if there were always crabs here. Okay, what I need to do is, yeah, now I'm at this point in the world. I'm at 37,000. I don't need to bank just yet. It wouldn't be essential. Uh, I can go through this door. This is going to get me back to, yeah, this area. So I need to loop back around to the top. And... YOLO! YOLO! There we go. I just so, say yo -yo did he drop something, John? Who? The Burger King guy. No, he didn't. The drop rates tend to be quite low. It took me quite a bit of grinding to get the cat head I had once upon a time. Uh, before I found this hat and I never went, I never used anything again. Also, I just remembered there's this guy around here I saw earlier. Uh, whether he's actually attached to the rest of this area, I don't know. This is... Ah! It's another crab! Last time, last time there was this crab here, this crab actually gave me something good. Okay, they all have special magic crowds, which is ridiculous. But glowy crabs genuinely have, like, elite magic helmets. <laughs> For reasons. Okay, hide over here. Don't get spotted by the murder machine, like, literally. Okay, and go. Go. Grab seed. Check if there's anything else going on on this side. There might be some more stuff. May as well kind of check this side of the thing. There's definitely... Oh, trap ahead. Be wary of crab. No Elden Ring ahead. Crab? There's no water here. Yeah, but the last crab you met was made of crystal, John. That's true. Oh, oh, that's true. Golden Rune 4. You're so exasperated by me playing this game. You couldn't do any better. No what? traitor ahead. No, of course not. This ah, is very there's a giant crystal crab and no one would have predicted it. Ow, it whacked me with its giant crystal crab claws. Claire, why didn't you warn me? I think this one might be made out of stone. I don't know. It's less shiny than the other one. It's not as nice. No, nah, as that's not a crystal crab at all. It's just a normal crab based on the amount of damage it just took. Just a normal crab as it turns out. Why are you dancing? Because it's the crab dance. Oh, Claire's doing the crab dance. Why did I start doing the crab dance? Because when I was doing, like, exercise videos in the morning, you thought it looked like I was... And now I always dance along. Yeah, I, now I always dance. dance along doing a crab dance. Yes, yeah. I remember. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that sounds. Yeah. This sounds like a thing I'd do, doesn't it? It does. Okay, so we... You're delightful. We've got the seed. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can loop round to... The golden door. The killing machine was far away. There's actually this is summon territory. So okay, if I need help with the killing with the killing machine, summon territory is right here. But I never went down the big ladder. So I wanna I wanna see what's going on, on the big ladder. So I'm going to loop around where we just were. Uh and actually the enemies are still gonna be dead, because I have not No, hang on, it's I have. I have one hundred percent reset the enemies. Uh but that's fine. Uh five nine three. Uh, two, four, two, yeah, four, two, four, when they actually are aware of me. Yeah, just keep on keeping on. I'm going to loop back to where I was and see if I've missed anything and then check the ladder that went down. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to, shout out to Alexandra, who gave us five dollars. And, uh, Alexandra says, hey, John, Claire, and Tabby. 
I had such a hard week of teaching in a hard school year, but a sick day and curling up with my cat watching MTN keeps me going and keeps me not wanting to quit. You guys do a lot. Oh, that's lovely to hear. But I'm sorry to hear things are stressful in general. Yes, and we're so uh, glad that we can help. I uh, hope you're having a good time curling up with your cat and that you feel uh, you enjoy curling up with cat soon. in particular i do and it's especially good when you when you are having a sick day mm -hmm. they can tell yeah um sometimes you know, they cats can. are little dicks but they can tell when you're sick and you know as much as they are dicks a lot of the time they do actually like you and yeah. want you to be okay okay there's um, definitely nothing here there you go cats so this are great this is the area we went to last time. The game said ladder, but there's no ladder here. So, maybe? No, I'll have to go. Then I can drop down it here, and then I'm just going down roof to roof like we saw previously. That's actually pretty safe. Now, this is the area that no jumping ahead. Yep, that's a good warning that you do not want to jump that way. This brings me to here. Just check behind me. That drops me to here. Try range battle. Yeah, that's fine. There is definitely nothing there. So, okay, this brings me back to this area where I was in the first place. There's going to be two enemies here. You're nice. And that was overkill. We did not need to use that for you. Uh, you can just die to generic, actually. Oi! There you don't. Right away. Thank you. Uh, right, down to here. And then we dropped down at here, and that led towards that area. But before we do that, check for anywhere else I can drop. So I've got to get up and around. Like, I want to get back That was up a and troll message. Uh, you do want to do a jump there. You can do that jump easily with a sprint. Oh, dear. Uh, right. In which case, that's probably where I want to go. Although, while I'm now here, I may as well check the big, long ladder that was right here. Because that might be a different direction. And that is just a fern. So it's not actually a problem. Hello, you can just die. Two. You took a hit from that. Well done. Uh, okay, hang on. Where was the... Here was the ladder. Okay, the guy who was in the way is already dead. Descend. All right. Drop down. I don't know where I am right now. This feels like I'm halfway through a shortcut. But I don't know where the shortcut will be to or from. So, all right. There's... Aha! A door! All right, this looks this looks good, and more crabs. And don't don't roll too aggressively, because there are bottomless drops the far side. Uh, okay, no need to use magic here. Hello, hi, hello, crab. Please stop eating that guy. Thank you. Somber four. I mean, fine. Crab, oh crab, well done. Okay, well that's your punishment for eating a person. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, nothing. That's just crab, oh crab, well done. Right, so that was just that. Is there anything else down in here that I can utilize? That obviously is over to where I just was. This would bring me back up to that area, but now I can't get back to that area where apparently I am supposed to jump. So, okay. In which case, back to the debate parlor once again. But for the last time, I'm going to get the jump this time. It's going to be great. Clap! Uh, yes. How uh, are you doing in general? Well, so yeah, we're doing okay. Brilliant. Actually, we've just got a message in from Tungsten Heart, who uh, gave us fifty dollars. Oh, thank you very, very much, uh, Tungsten thank Heart. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I think we, because we're in kind of part. What did we say? It was four, four or five, five, depending on whether we count yeah, the video. When you, when you do like little mini, a little live series, you know. Yeah. You get, yeah, you know, you're, you're always going to get a little bit of a drop off on the viewership. That's to be expected. This is just exactly. an excuse for me to play Elden Ring, to be honest. We're at about a thousand viewers, but that's uh, really good for this far into a I series. I mean, you know, we have we have had today uh, some incredibly generous generous donations. Did you kind of say? Did you cross generic and generous in your brain there? No, I don't think so. I think I just said generous wrong. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we've had some incredibly generous uh, donations today. And uh, Tungsten Hard gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and says, I love your content. Besides Fallout, Utter Chaos and Encased, I haven't watched any of these recently. And I need to catch up because I've been too busy playing Elden Ring myself. Was that a side from New Vegas and Encased? 
Besides, uh, Besides that. Other Chaos and Encased, I haven't watched uh, recently. Good call on the Encased. Encased is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the, the thing is, like, what someone actually points out, and I actually agree. When when I said I, I said afterwards, like, oh, that's really interesting, you know, we'll have it as most live stream. The problem is, really hit narrative heavy RPGs, the traditional old school CRPGs. I actually agree. So if you said that doesn't really suit a live stream, I agree. I think that's actually correct, and I think I shouldn't have said that. Uh, but yes, it's very, very peculiar. Uh, the old things and all. Wait, did I actually say generic? Because people are picking up on that in the chat. You said it sounded like you were you were you were starting to say generic, then changed your mind to generous halfway through. Yeah, no, that's not what I. That, I, I think you just made a bit of a garble. That it's was fine. just a bit of a garble. Unfortunately, we're sorry, live, guys. so we can't fix it in post. No. Uh, Tragically. Dear, oh dear. Because, because obviously, uh, for those who don't know, obviously I, I say everything right first time yeah, and totally. never garble a sentence and have to like start saying it again afterwards. Absolute, I cannot make that jump. You can do a bit of a run up and make that jump. I cannot make that jump. Really? Are we sure? I, I don't think I can make that jump. I mean, maybe if I start here and aim for that bit down there. That's... Mm. Several people in the chat said it out once. All right. Go! Oh, that's close. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Right, and they're even they're even cocking ambushing me. Oh, great. Someone heard geriatric as well. Fantastic. Uh, apparently, we, we've uh, now um, generated a new uh, name for an Elden Ring boss. Uh, Genericus the Grizzly. It seems reasonable yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. From here, I can also, in theory, jump all the way over to there. By the same logic, that looks jumpable. But let's not jump that right now. Let's jump down in here instead, because this is the direction I wanted to go in. Uh, it'll take... No, it did not take two to kill you. Right, go in this direction, because this is the direction I wanted to go in. This is bringing me back round to the rear of the... I am out of magic. Luckily, I spotted that now rather than when there was an actual boss on the screen or something. Uh, okay, we're looping around the back. Try rump. Yep, that means shoot in the back. You're dead. Anything else? Okay, this is... Ah, is this by any chance a back entrance, the clock tower, that's going to get me up top because that's what I wanted? Okay, go, 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 go. And jump! I think, the I think the jumping is a bit generous. First off left and then right. Okay, now that might be a warning about enemies. Yep. Thought that sounded like a bad thing. And... Oi, 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 oi. Sword, if need be. <laughs> Kara says that jump jump did was me in every Fall Guys game. <laughs> what, me just yelling, I can't make that jump? Ah. Yeah. The exact yeah. yep, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, pretty much. Which, like, I feel you, Kara. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed playing Fall Guys, but I was really bad at it. I, I think we... What was the latest round we ever got the Collectus to? Oh, I can't remember. Speed sprint up honestly, the ladder. Honestly, the thing with Fall Guys is because every time you, like, lose... You have to wait to get into a new match, or yes. every time a, a thing finishes. I mean, I like spectator mode. Spectator mode's quite fun, and the game is as wacky as that. It works quite smoothly. Yeah, but like the thing is, because I'm bad and I die very quickly, I would be doing spectator mode, like you know, eighty percent of the time I'm playing between spectator mode and waiting for it to reload. And like, Chris I am fine. bad at waiting for things. I'm a very impatient human. Mm. Uh, and I just, like, if I want to get better at a game, I find it very... I, I just found it very frustrating to wait for it to reload and everything. I just wanted to be... I just wanted, like, a, a training mode. Okay, here's interesting. A intelligent scaling crossbow. Mm. I mean, that's... that's. Mm. I mean, it's it's it weighs four. If I go over to wizard robes, I could set that as a tertiary weapon. And obviously, we can jump off here. That's... Wow, there was a gap there I did not know was there. But luckily, I cleared it. Uh, and this gets me round to that area I saw before uh, with this guy. So, jump from the low bit to the high bit. So, yeah, I saw you previously. That's Smithing Stone 4. There is no ladder hidden in that area. But does this get me to... It does not. There is 
definitely not a thing there. But this does bring me back to the start of this loop. So now I need to make the same evil impossible jump again. But on top of that, I need to make a second even evil and more impossible jump. Because I think there's one on the far side that's even worse. Like at the top of that, the far mm, yeah, to yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same again. So, okay. And jump! And then I think from here... You could make it to that ledge. I actually, I think that's not so bad. Now I've said that, I'm gonna fluff. I'm gonna fluff this one. Okay, and go. Ah, oh, yeah, that one was not so bad. Uh, so that brings me round to this side. So I can loop round over to there. That brings me to upstairs from where you guys were. This area is wild. The number of bloody rooftops here. Um. Yes. The crossbow you just looked at, it does not skill with intelligence. Oop. It just has an intelligence requirement. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Well, actually, hang on. Didn't it didn't just literally say intelligence scaling? It literally just said... Uh... Oh, no, you're right. That is attribute required. There is no scaling. Do, do ranged weapons not scale? Okay, that one does. Oh, crossbows don't. Because you're not... You're not putting... You're not using your skill. Mm. The crossbow is just... It is just what it is. So, okay, that's just cheap... Uh, that's just cheap, effective uh, magic range if you have no way of doing that yourself. Eh, I understand. Yep, fine. That that makes sense. So, okay, I've made it to here. Get my lantern on. So, now I'm upstairs from that guy. But now I can drop through the floor. Careful, like to get down if I drop down yeah if I drop down in the right spot I can drop down it inside this tower so drop number one is right here you do this in mines a lot by the way when the elevator is out and you want to check the little side caves to here to crab crab why does that always miss the crabs it's, it's silly but okay there's another crowd need to check more I don't know why there's crystal crabs. There's crystal crabs that are worth so much. But, oh, did I just hear something? Like a hissing. There might be an enemy way down in here. I don't even know where I'm going, to be honest. But Oh, is this... This is the room where there was the guy. It's the crab room. This does not seem like this is a safe full distance. Uh, maybe it must just be, as there's no other way. And I'm going to leave you little crabs alone. Right, so now we've got round to there. But there's still... But wait, there's more except... Wait, can I can I get to that from here? Because now I need to... Now I need to loop round again. Because there was clearly... Beyond those two jumps... Beyond those two jumps, there was another section at the end. So we need... Well, now I need to do both those jumps again. And I'm going to bloody hell. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. I'm going to read a couple and then I'm probably going to go and give Tabby some food. That seems reasonable. Uh, it's only yes. nine, you know, not ten. I'm sorry? You know it's nine, not ten. I do know. Okay, fair enough. Because my computer... That's true, you're using a computer. Those do have the time on them. But what I meant is uh, because um, because if she decides that it's dinner time and eats all of her breakfast and she won't want to eat dinner and she's on a bunch of medicines right now so she needs to be eating at appropriate times, you know? Yeah. I mean, John knows she's on a bunch of medicines. I'm just telling you guys that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Excelsius. He's been a member for 55 months. Ooh, that's a long time. Yeah. Congratulations. Excelsius says, uh, yeah, I got the game thanks to John, and I beat this boss just today. I think that was about the big dog. Oh, yeah, yeah big, uh, big pups, yeah. Can't wait to watch. I hope you two are doing well. We are doing very well, I'd say. Yes, Claire, you just you just had a few you just had a few days off, so hopefully you're nice and refreshed. Yes, uh, just a long weekend. That was really really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I did a I did a lot of uh, gardening, preparing for uh, preparing for a vegetable garden uh, this year for the first time. Which is very exciting. Uh, except it was really warm when I had uh, my weekend off, and then um, <clears throat> then it started snowing. And then I, I, I thought. Oh, I can I can pop things in the little greenhouse we, we have uh, in the back of the house and um, you know the greenhouse is nice but um, yeah snow happened yeah it did start indeed snowing and or hailing 
So which yeah, is I mean, the greenhouse is not quite as bad as if it was just outside, but I didn't want my plants to die, so I brought everything back in today. So there you go. And now there's oh, there's you. Don't forget you. Hi, don't mind me. Ah, ah Excelsior says uh, the um, the his, uh, Excelsior says their message. Sorry, was about the um, the end boss of the academy, uh, ah. which you haven't reached yet. We've so not there reached we go. her yet. Okay, looks like if I was to jump from here, this would be a safe drop to that rooftop. But just in case it's not, I'm cotton walling. Because uh, what's the point of having cotton wool? So don't use that. Uh, so yeah, get over to here then. Jump! And if I land on the top, that should be safe. Okay, that gets me to here. Me too. Oh, that just brings me to back to this, this side. Okay, there wasn't anything actually here that's new. That just brought me back to this side. So, alright, fine. I think I'm now done with the roof at long bloody last. Blimey. Uh, yes, I think that's everything in the roof. We've looped around. Okay, you know what? Check the hats. We've definitely picked up some new hats. So, hang on. Which hats did we not pick up before? Oh, they they all look very similar. It's not Twin Sage. Um, that one is intelligent at the cost of... Uh, intelligence at the cost of hit points, which is just... Intelligence, uh, detriment of hit points and stamina. Okay, so that's just Twin Sage, but not a severe... Uh, Kalaros, which is intelligence at the cost of stamina. So that's three intelligence, but stamina drops by how much? Ten. Okay, so basically, okay. That's almost identical to my existing Wibbly hat. It just, it's boosting intelligence, not mind. But it doesn't have jiggle physics. Just a problem. It's not a hat. It's a weird sculpture thing. And um, lazuli. Can you check that staff you picked up? Oh, that's true. I never checked the staff. Uh, um, thank you. It is lupus. Uh, and let's see. Uh, shout out to Foster, who uh, just gave us twenty dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire, I'm still super happy that John is enjoying a Soulsborne game uh, so much." Looking forward to the inevitable challenge build and lore runs. Lol. Okay, Lazuli is oh, interesting as well. That's intelligence up by three and dexterity up by three. And my katana scales with dexterity a little bit. Um, but yeah, the, it cost me like 20% of my health, which is too much. That's too much to give up. So we're, we're sticking with the big hat. We're sticking with the big hat because I think sacrificing... I mean, honestly, I could happily go over to Ka um, to Karolos, which is, yeah, intelligence up, uh, stamina down. Because that is... Actually, hang on, is that the cost of... Yeah, cost of stamina. That is, yeah, FP. So stamina is 95. That would also be 95. That would apparently cost me... Oh, that would cost me FP just as a function of mind. Yeah, I see. And also, it's a lot heavier. These things weigh, like, 5 which is quite, quite a lot for a hat. Like, this hat's only 3.6. That's quite a large hat. So, okay. That's done. Meaning we're now done with the rooftops. We can now return to the bait parlor for possibly the last time. And clear out the terrifying murder machine. Though the murder machine, now I've got Comet, shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah, we're just going to be clearing out the plaza. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, we've also got a message from Xanner. Uh, who gave us $15 uh, and says, I found your channel after having a few drinks one night and I was immediately hooked into the Fallout 3 You Only Live Once videos and now I'm hooked on your channel. Thank you for all your hard work. Sorry for the addiction. My bad. <laughs> Why did you go and attack him? That was not necessary. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Karin Phalanx. Yes. Oh, no, Elden Ring YOLO run. Absolutely not. Folks. be hilarious. Uh, Comet, Charger. Is that even in range? Oh, yeah. One, and two, and three, and Karin Phalanx finishes him off. Look at that. I don't know whether Karin Phalanx is boosted by Terra Magica, either because you're in it when they're cast, or you're in it when you cast them. That I do not know, actually. John? Yes. Hey, you haven't checked the staff. I'm going to check the staff right now. Okay, uh, Azua Glintstone Staff. In intelligence scaling B right from level 1. That's pretty good. 
Uh, obviously, because it's not been upgraded, it's miles behind the other staffs. Um, sorcery scaling is... Doesn't look great, to be honest, the sorcery scaling. Uh, comes with no skill. I uh, don't know whether I can apply uh, an Ash of War to that. Staff of Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces cast to Tamahol Sorcerers. Consumes... Oh, but how much additional FP? If this is another one of those... Uh, 50% increase. Uh, Take the description. Uh, I just did. Oh, okay. I was, Sorry. I was literally I was reading that out. I was reading that out right now. Uh, that's what I was reading. Um, Okay, check this. How much is this going to cost me? A fully charged thing. How much is that compared to usual? That felt like that was quite high. And, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's quite... That feels like 50%. I mean, I agree. Like, anything you can do to speed up casting speed is great. But that is... That is... The problem is, you lose the benefit of the casting speed because you have to be, you know, drinking your potion all the time. I mean, I won't deny. That's... What is it? It is interesting. It's the same as the other someone just said, which I assume means uh, the same as Lusat's. That's 50% for 10% more damage. If this is... 50% bonus, 50% uh, additional. Um, You can check your FP level before and after you cast to check the percentage in the stats page. That's true. Uh, and you can check if a weapon can take an Ash of War. Uh, it'll have a square next to a small picture of the item. Uh, flippily jib jib. Um, At the top on the stats page. It'll have a what? what, what what's it the... will have a square next to the small picture of the item at the top of on the stats page. It does not buy the Luxie of it. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it can't. Um, no skill. That skill be used. Okay, so it would just it basically your, your shield skill would but just... But yes, there are ways to reduce FP, but you need to find them, of course. Just hold on to the staff, because when you found some ways to reduce yeah. uh, FP cost. I think for me right now, it's if it is, as people were saying, at 50%, then that's a bit too much. I think if my mind was a bit higher, that'd be all right. But if it's 50% more FP for only 10%, like, honestly, I really think the Karian Glint Blade staff, people are sleeping on. Like, that is 15% bonus damage to some of the most useful spells in the game at Forum Age. Like, the Phalanxes, when you get that up to maximum, is really good. Because it's just such a useful defensive measure. Because if you want to be a mage, you want to keep your distance. If you want to keep your distance, then, yeah, you can just use that to force enemies to respect you. Because then when they run up to you, they get hit by that. That's Swordstone. That's pretty good. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, right there. And, oh, yeah, this would be a good sniping spot. You're not wrong. Um, and then, yeah, you, Loretta's Great Bow, bonus 15%. Karin Phalanx, bonus 15%. No additional FP cost, just 15% extra damage with one of the most powerful, useful spells in the game. And it's just free. It's just completely free. Brilliant. Love it. Absolutely spectacular. Especially as, as far as I'm aware, there is no... What the... Is that... A, oh, it's a giant crab. 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 But it's going to die. There is no... Spe there is no staff that simply makes, like, pebble and great stone shards and etc. better. I don't think such a thing exists, because I think, like, everyone would use it, because they're just so generically useful. Like, even the gear that says, hey, I boost glintstone sorcery, doesn't. It just boots, it just boosts magic arts, which is so weird. And you cannot go over there. That, that does not go anywhere. Though, maybe I can. Yeah, 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 I see. Jump over here. That gets me to that, because I don't see a door to get up to here. Because I need to get up top to... Yeah, that was a locked door. That's too far to drop. I think I can get on top of that building. But that is too... Maybe with cotton wool you could pull it off. That might be a, that might be a bit of a, a little hack. I don't know if you're from the top of that building with some cotton wool. You could, if you landed right in the center of that roof, that's survivable. But you should not really do that. And uh, by the way, lantern on. In case there is... Well, this is suspicious. Hmm. Okay. Gosh darn it. Bloody liars. Uh, okay. I've already been that way. Yeah, that must. that's the only way to go. 
The only way to go is crossing over to that big star spiral staircase. It's all right. Over to here. Just be aware there's two of them. This one looks like the easiest one to go over to. So right to here. Make sure there's nothing behind me. Doesn't look like it. Keep an eye out for enemies trying to ambush me as I cross over. Watch out for mysterious giant balls. Sometimes in this game, mysterious giant balls just roll down. There! You see, like, right there. Like that mysterious giant ball. Fuck you, mysterious giant ball. He's probably going to respawn now. Yeah. Yep, there's another giant mysterious... Fuck you, giant mysterious ball. Okay, how are we going to deal with that? How the fuck are we going to deal with that? Because I can't DPS that giant ball fast enough. Oh... Oh, I hate the giant ball. The giant ball. I'm just going to watch this guy. What was your plan? Your plan was dying, was it? I mean, I guess I could, I could uh, hop over further along. But there's an item down there I want. Okay, maybe I can turn it off. So if I go up to here. Right, one spawns in. And then I can just jump over here. So I've moved one step further up. Okay, see how that gets me, like, a few steps further up. But I don't see how this helps me in the long run. So now I get two here. Another one is about to spawn in. Now that helps me to here. That gets me crystal darts. I've already got so many of them I can't do anymore. Okay. Now the problem is, where do we go now? Can I kill it? If Is it respawning or is it different ones each time? Because if I can just kill it, like, you, you can look onto these. You should be able to look onto these things, right? Oh, the ones in the underground I, went, I ran into were enemies. How are we going to do this? Hmm. I don't trust my iframes enough to roll into this. Okay, hang on. It drops down. And then I've got, like, after it passes me. One, two, three... Four, five, six, hits and about seven. I do not reasonably believe I can get up there. Now, there might be another... There might be one on the far side. There might be one on the far side I can get to. Avoid it, you can shut it off later. Yeah, I get that. But what do I jump to? Um, There might be pillars the far side, but I don't see where they are. Uh, oh, those were slimes. This is just a big summoned orb. The ones in the underground were just mimics. They weren't actually giant balls. Okay. There's one There's one the other way. There's one the other side is there. But I don't... Is it that? Is that it? Is that one? Oh, shit. I don't like this. Because now I'm going to... Okay. As soon as it crosses, I think that's one right there. Okay, go. Go. Is this one? That's not one. This, fuck, fuck, panic, panic. Back off, back off, back off. Back off! Don't like the giant ball. I can't see where the next one is. I can't see where the next one is. I can't see where the next one is. Watch the ball's path. Oh! It's not hunting me because it's not a mimic. It's bouncing. Hits. Bounce. Approximately here. I'm guessing this is safe, enemy. This looked like there's about... <laughs> Don't like, don't like, don't like, don't like, don't I don't enjoy this. I don't, I don't enjoy, I don't enjoy this. I don't like having big balls in my face, Claire. I've been very clear on this from the start of our relationship. Um, is that now enough time after it passes to get to the top? I think it would be. As soon as it passes. Go! In! Try luring out then time for, oh, oh, great. Now we've got a cocking invader. We've got a cocking invader. Well, that's just cocking useless, isn't it? Okay. This is why. This is where we prep everything. Is there any chance there's a there's a there's a like there's a, there's a, a thing I can use around the corner, like a grace? Oh, there's no cocking grace. What was you want? There'd be a grace just before a boss. Uh, okay. If I can lock onto him, he's in range. Activate Karin Phalanx. Step two. Activate Terra Magica. Step three, activate Loretta's Great Bow. Fully charged. Begin charging the second. Go. And that's him already half dead. He's coming. Does he have a dodge? And he does have a dodge, but he dodges forward. He's got a heal. He goes straight into it. 
And now we just go into... That's why you car in Phalanx. Because it's too fast for them to do much. Kari and Knight's shield. This is... You don't have the right, you don't have the right, you don't have the right. Okay, can't open from this side. Understandable. That was pretty smooth. So, he has just been lured out. Visions of parry... Parrying? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! No! Why would you... Uh, okay. K. Grimm says, uh, you should always do Terra Magica before Phalanx because the spell bonus is at casting. It's at casting! Interesting. Mm. Okay, now there is a mysterious magic hole here. A magic but hole, as the, um, the notes say. I don't want to use that yet in case it's a one-way trip. It might be a one-way trip. It might not be. Is there going to be, say, I don't know, like a grace around here? Because I'd like to be able to bypass that terrifying ball area. Be wary of rats. Okay. This is... Yeah. Uh, Pim Jansen says, I lured that guy into the ball trap. LOL! Yeah, Very clever. Very clever. I like that the game, the game does like it doing stuff like that. Okay. Shortcut ahead. Sorcerer ahead. Be wary of left. Alright. Be wary of left. I see you, buddy. Are you the only person here? Right. Let's just very quickly, in that case, just... Actually, you know what? Just basic. Uh, great. We'll do fine. Are you the only person here? Well, there were the little zombies, but they didn't really count, to be honest. Take you out, too. If this is the... Yeah, here we go. The shortcut. I can use... The... I can... I... This This leads back to that door that there is. All right. I see something in there that might or might not be relevant. But yeah, this is going to lead back to that door upstairs from the other... No, upstairs from... Flibbly McJibble. Uh, yeah, upstairs from them too. Which honestly is probably nasty to deal with just the ball, to be honest. But never turn down a shortcut. Open. Now back off. No reason to cause trouble with them, to be honest. Okay, so now that's open. That's fine. Uh, so I can get back here without having to do the ball trap again. And without having to deal with... Uh, the murder machine. Assuming that respawns, which it may or may not. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, double check around. Oh, don't forget. There's there's so much in this game. There's so much shit in this game. There's blatantly something going on on this side. Uh, I can hop down to here. Alright. Then hop through to here. Is this a room I've been into before? Doesn't look like it, because there's a ladder here. Time for ladder. That's it's true, you know. It is a ladder. They they are laddery shaped. And this will be shortcut the next. That will be back into that room with the magic butt hole. Uh, it's very important you say it like that, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's really important that you always pronounce that as butt hole. Um, yeah, somebody else said that much earlier in chat. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. But somebody uh, did say, um, did say, uh, try finger butt rump. Okay, there's some, there's some slight enemies up here. I thought that was fun. Okay. There's... Oh, okay. Take out... Okay, we can we can assassinate some of these people. You're assassinated. And that means you've not realised what's going on yet, buddy. Okay. This guy's annoying because for some reason you can only, like, target him. You can't target various parts of him. And your magic always hits his bloody hat. It's really annoying. Uh, which, where it takes reduced damage. So, okay. Before we do anything... Terra Magica. Activate Karin Phalanx. Activate uh, Loretta's Great Bow. And if we can, get some good hits in on him. Go. And he's already mostly dead. Even with the charge, there we go. That finishes him off. Uh, he can be annoying if he gets going. Because once he's facing you, your attacks do massively reduce damage. Are you dead in one hit? Yes, you are within this area. Go over to Moonvale for... Was that an enemy or was that? I think that I think that was Claire shuffling next to me, not an enemy. I thought an enemy to my left, but I Sorry, think it was I think I, Claire I think, um, to my left. I think I did a little bit of laughing because people in chat are, um, you know, commenting on how um, they came to this area level thirty or forty, uh -huh. and you're worried about whether or not you can make it. Glintstone Ooh. scarab. Hang on, I've got a gold scarab. Is that a? 
can wait to Ethan Hawke. Was that a? Was that? Hang on. Was that not a? Was that not a talisman? Mm -hmm. I thought I, I saw scarabs. Is so it I, maybe uh, in the key items or something? It could be. Hang on. Uh, it's bloody hell. I thought it. it, it something. Something. Oh, cocking hell! I've got too many items. I've got too many items. I don't. I don't. I don't know whether. Chat. It's a helmet. What? It's a hat. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, it's fine. And. It was. It isn't it right at the top. Oh no! Wait, no. Slightly reduces the FP cost of sorcerers, but increases damage taken. That's and slightly increases. Uh, yeah, that's that's no. Okay, but if you're like uh, if you're using that one that's like fifty percent or yeah. whatever. And you're just wearing it. Um, I mean, if you could put it, like, say, in your belt and swap out really quickly when you need to use that particular, like, you should try it with that specific uh, staff and see. Mm, yeah, but that stuff's not upgraded right now, and it would take me quite a. It would take me a bit of time to get that upgraded. Mm. Uh, okay, so that's that right there, which is good. The problem is now, how do I get back from mm. where I just was to? Can I drop to? Ah, this is where the magic but hole is. Okay. So that's very convenient. Drop down to here. So, okay, that area is now as it should be. Is there by any chance going to be? Because sometimes, like in the Karian Manor, you find a... Yeah, you'll find a grace at the far side of an elevator. So just in case that's true, I'm just going to ride this elevator to see if this elevator by any chance happens to lead to a grace. Because often at the end of an area... Uh, you can sort by rec recently acquired using L3. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And um, mm, 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 HU uh, <laughs> says it depends. Uh, it all depends how much of a glass cannon you want to be. It's uh, really good for some builds. No, I can see the sense in mm. that. But, like, I'm not full glass cannon, otherwise I'd be going all like light, light robes to light and dodge rolling. And I mean, you're stuff. kind of thinking about that in the future, though. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think I might have accidentally walked into a boss arena. Nope, nope. No, 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 no. That looks like a boss arena. You know how I know? Because the moment you step towards it, the symbol meaning you can now summon a pierce. And also, it's very large. Okay, we're going to and the... Also, it changes color. Yeah, we're going to the magic butthole uh, yeah, first. Yeah, there will be another grace. That's why you unlocked a shortcut. We're, we're, we're going to the magic butthole first. Mm-hmm. And before I step in that room, we're, uh... Yeah, we're, uh... We're, we're, we're topping up all our potions. Nope, we're magic. We're, we're magic buttholing. There's nothing wrong with a magic butthole. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's a magic butthole. Uh, you just go up to them and they take you somewhere. Don't really know where. I've seen a few of them. These ones tend to be, if they're not traps in chests, tend to be like you can navigate back. Uh, Leonia of the Lakes. I am. Oh. I'm... Hang on, have I already been here? I have completely already been here. This is, uh... This is... Uh-oh, wait, wait, what, 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 what? Dip, 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 This is where Turtle Pope lives. Turtle Pope's betrayed me! Why has Turtle Pope betrayed me? Claire, why would Turtle Pope betray me like this? This is unacceptable. Okay, go. And then just, just, just activate all the things, just... Okay, how tough are you, buddy, by the way? Because you appear to be very slow, which is kind of useful for me. And, and honestly, if you just want to just want to very slowly walk at me, because if you want to do that... And, oh, now he's running. Now he's... Ow! He tosses his sword. Well, that's just cocky cheating. Okay, well... Okay, just keep on keeping on. And now wait for my stamina. All right, this is this is fine. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm drawing the attention of other creatures. I've drawn the attention. Oh, I've drawn the attention of skeletons. Okay. It's uh, night time. That's why this guy's there. Ah, interesting. Drink, drink, drink. Fudge. He just straight up two shot me. And then he's then he started taking out the skeletons. Okay. Well, we got we have to go back there because I've just dropped fifty seven thousand. I'm assuming there's a stake of Marika right there, given it just prompted me to do so. So we have to get the fifty seven thousand back. It's a lot. That's a lot of rooms. We're not losing them. Up to this point, my largest single loss is 17,000. So I'm not losing uh, that many. And then, uh, no, you don't, buddy. No, 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 no. And no. 
Okay, guys, you all need to not be here anymore. Ow! That hurt, you stupid skeleton -y penis. Go. Right, you all dead. Okay, so there's a guy here who's a bit tough. Wait, did you get your souls back? I did, yeah. No, I've got them back. Um, but before going in, I can actually also just... There isn't just a safe point. Okay, so he's here at night. Turtle Pope becomes him during the... Uh, Turtle Pope just becomes him during the day, does he? That's uh, fascinating. I lost over 800,000 one time. Lol. Okay, the best option is probably... Just to... Sp Wait, is it morning now? He, he'll he he'll be gone because it's morning now? Oh, does time pass the next point when I don't know. it's... Uh, Jinx says, I left about 80,000 because I just couldn't be bothered to go back. Yep, there's Turtle Pope, by the way. This is Turtle Pope. Yeah, You've never seen yes, Turtle Pope course. before. But this is Turtle Pope. He sells you sorceries I, and I stuff. I can see that he's a turtle and has a Pope hat, so yep. that makes sense. So therefore, he's, I'm not sure if he's got a name. Also, if you murder him, he forgives you while you're doing it. He, he, he aggressively forgives you while murdering him. So that's nice. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going... Yeah, it's not Turtle Pope. It's just one enemy that appears at night. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to... I think we can just straight up lure him out. So, okay. Nelax um, says, uh, I've lost a million one time. It hurt. I stopped playing Souls for a while. Wow. Why not just... Why didn't you spend the million? Uh, Foster <laughs> says, Two million was the most I ever lost post-game in DS3. There's no summons in here. No, it's still... He's still there. Oh, so his name is Muriel. You, a turtle Pope? Yeah. Who cares? His name's Turtle Pope, man. His name's Turtle Pope. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to. Wait, did you just murder him? No, I'm trying to I'm trying to get back to. It. I've just said it's nightfall, but he's still. Is he gone? No, he's gone. Okay, he's gone, which means he's about to appear. And there we go. Okay, go, 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 go. And now he's going to use his dumb sword thing. And I'm just going to get my stamina back for a second. Because as long as I stay out of my way, he's fine. And go. 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 Okay, there's a little bit of a hit there. And now just get my stamina back. I need to drink. And stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. And go. 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 That should be him done. Because he does not dodge. So as long as you just kind of just stay far enough back that you don't trigger that, he's pretty easy. So he was ball bearing hunter. Logically suggesting he dropped. Yep, yeah, he dropped a ball bearing. So okay, I can use that to turn the woman in the shop into a oh, better shop or something. Uh, Twitchy B says I lost three million to the blood crows in the blood lakes. So I was pretty furious. But if you've got that many, why didn't you just spend? I mean, them? maybe they wanted to like level up or something. But like, if you when you level up, you bank them. That's that's the equivalent of banking. I don't I don't know why you'd ever float that many. I've never I've never considered the possibility of needing to float that many. Okay, I need to get it to about seventy five thousand. So I'm I'm seeing a whole bunch of these right now. That's eight thousand something. Uh, let's just I could probably bank these right now. Seventy five thousand. Uh, level up. I need seventy four thousand three hundred sixty seven. Uh, all right. So I've almost only got a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, just. Crack all those twos. That's probably enough, right? Right. 74,000. Yep, that's going to be just enough. So we've banked before we go into whatever the hell's in the mysterious room of death. Claire's trying to get my attention. Yeah, I was going to say I'm going to go uh, feed Tabby. If feed Tibblet. Right yeah, you. go for it. Yeah. Do you want me to bring you back uh, like a uh, little fleece or something? No, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not cold, cold at all. So they've got to pull the curtains. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, I will take mind, I think. Yeah, I'll take a bit of mind. Uh, mind, I think I want to get up to at least 40. So we'll get mind moving in the right direction. Oh, new game plus, new game plus, it gets more expensive. All right, cool. So, all right, I've now got rid of all of that. So now with that done, I didn't think I was here. When I, when I first saw I was here, I thought I was down here. In this area, I haven't been able to get to. There's like a, there's like a weird bit at the bottom of uh, Leonia I've not been able to get to yet. And I don't know why. Precisely. Apparently Tabs is on the move, giving Claire's his talking to her. Uh, right, debate parlor. So now we should be able to... Yes, using all those shortcuts, we can get back to where we were pretty easily. So I can probably 
just run straight through these guys? Uh, well, is that really the right? Is that really the most sensible idea? There's actually, you know, what? I can get to here without anybody troubling me or caring. This guy won't see me. If I just kind of, if I just, I brought you a guest. Hello, Tabs. Very good cats. Okay, just run through here, run through here, run through here, run through here, and roll, 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 and now just run and roll, and I should now be. Yep, Cena is now saving me. Now if I just go through here, we should be gold. Oh, blimey, okay. Sh oh, there's more. Okay, just run through here. Then take a left. Obviously, the weird invader lad is not present. Onto left. Go on up. By the time they follow me, they never use lifts. We are golden. <laughs> Claire likes bringing me a tabby for me to just kiss her on the head. It's very cute. Okay. Let's get some advice. Tarnished, don't give up. Why is it always an angel? Flying enemy, possibly. So, okay. We're going into boss. If we're going into boss, make sure I've got my summons ready, because I can set my summon immediately. Uh, best summon, to be honest, is probably my Mimic. I do have, yeah, I've got five. So I can use my Mimic and then heal up straight away afterwards, and then I will be A-OK. -okay. So get to here. Now I can use my Mimic. So Mimic is now safe, and now I can drink. So I've now got Mimic, who's going to become me. Except so much tankier than me. So much tankier than me. Don't trust this. I'm in comment mode right now. I will... You know what? Um, I'm putting Karin Phalanx straight up. And I'm going over to Great Glintstone Shard. If whatever this is starts spamming spells, just remember that I have got Eternal Darkness. Okay. Uh-oh! Oh, oh cutscenes! Don't trust a cutscene. Don't trust a cutscene. Yeah? Hi! I don't actually want to fight. I don't even want the Elden Ring. Alright, I don't even know why I'm gathering it. Oh! Hello! It's Bayonetta! What the fuck? What the? No! 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 Hush, little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. the fuck? Are we, are we fighting? Oh, 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 are we just- Ah! 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 Fudge! Fudge! My, my, my mimic's doing something! Fuck the fudging hell! Take out, take out the Ow! There's a cat that's cocking chandelabra! Okay, go. What the fudge is happening right now? Ow, ow, what the- Okay, just take out the little ones. Take out the babies. I'm guessing you need to kill the- Ow! Stop walking under candelabras too! Okay, that's there's so many little ones. Uh, where's my where's my mimic? Where's my mimic? Who the flip are you? Okay, that's you, Dad. Uh, go, 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 go. The fuck is happening right now? There's okay. This is this is. Oh, I see the sign of. Is that the I'm about to summon a chandelabra spell warning? It might be, you know, this- Oh, what the- What the fuck? What just killed me? What- What just killed me? I genuinely don't know what just killed me. Um... Alright. Interesting. So... If you see little bits of light floating around, that means a chandelier is about to drop. So, alright. I, I genuinely don't know what killed me. Given it wasn't... I don't think it was a chandelabra. So, round over to it. Ow, ow, no. Get, get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Thank you. Get, 
Stop, stop attacking me now. Lovely. Right, round two here. They can still hit you even at this range, which is annoying. We good? Yeah, we're fine. Round two. Uh, dodge! And then straight through, and then straight back up again. Yeah, this is not different. Candelabra are different to chandeliers. Are they though? Are they really? Oh, it's still it's still up from last time. Okay, are you still are you still here, buddy? You still here? Don't know how fast. They're not fast. These guys are definitely slow. Uh definitely got the ramp with the ball. There is an invisible boat spell. Oh, brilliant. Love it. <laughs> okay, so one of the spells just you can't see, but it kills you. Don't okay. One of the small ones is chanting. You need to kill him before they complete the spell. Okay. Watch out for the little ones. And we're going to do that. I'm not 100% sure that... Maybe I could go... Maybe I'll, I'll try, I will try. might try a different summon. I might try knights. Alright. Throw. Summon. Can I actually attack her direct, by the way? Like, can I just go for her? Is that even allowed? If I just basically say, screw you, I'm going to attack you now. And I'm just going to... Oh! No, that does nothing. Okay, so I, I see... I now know the warning sign for that. Okay, I now understand the warning sign for that. Uh, so, okay, Karin Phalanx, just so I've got a bit of uh, prep. Maybe do a quick potion right here. Get over to here. Someone's doing something. Great Glintstone shard. It is... Oh! They're tossing books at me. Okay, that means chandelier, which means get the cock out the way. Uh, and then there is... You, some of them are tossing books. It's... Hang on. There's... You're tossing books. You need to go down because you're more dangerous because you're actually doing something. Okay, and then you, you, and then watch out for that. Ow! The books do not hurt that much, okay? But I'm assuming we need to... Ah, I see you. No, no, I see. She empowers some of them on occasion. Ow. And that... Oh, blimey. Hang on. What'd that do? That just did something. They didn't like that. Nobody liked that. Okay. Sort out you. Get into cover. Top of the old magic. Uh, Ancient Dragon Kristoff is just fine. How many little ones are there? Do they just keep respawning? Don't know. But there's... She just fell to the ground. We haven't done any damage to her yet. Like, at all. But we now know... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see ya. I see ya now. Oh, more more just keep coming in. I think we just need to take out the one she's empowered, right? Alright, that's you dead. And that's an empowered thing right there by the Luxie of it. Alright. Because I definitely just saw one fall. Alright, he missed the... Th okay, apparently I missed the thing. Oh, hello. No. No, you don't. That's important. So you were trying to do a thing. You're trying to do a thing. You're try you're not trying to do a thing. Keep just if we just keep killing the children. We'll see if she how she feels about that. She's gotta object to that. Time to be born anew. Time to be born anew. Yeah. What you doing, love? And I don't know. And there's oh, there's there's ones right there. Okay. And then she's still in her magic bubble. She ain't coming out. Which is annoying. Oh, hello. No, no, no. No, bye. Okay, just take out you guys. Oh, I see you. I see you. There's a magic one over there. No. Okay, so having taken out you, does that annoy her in some way? Oh, I see you. You're trying to do a magic. And there's... You're trying to do a magic. Oi, stop it. Stop it. What did that do? Did that, did that damage her? Hang on, is she vulnerable right now? She's not vulnerable. She's pissed off. Dragon What's-His-Face is still not even annoyed. He's just chilling out doing his own thing. He's going to run out of FP at this rate. Uh, okay. You. You. More chandeliers. She's still ain't coming out. Okay. This is... I mean, I've tried taking out the ones that's highlighted. Okay, this is... This is... This is... This is... I'm, I'm out of... Uh, okay, this is fine. We can just use... I mean, there's got to be a way to deal with her without... Oh, hello. No, 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 no. You... Time to be born a no. Yeah. What are you What are you doing precisely? Cause... Oh, that chandelier only just missed me. All right. I, I... That was definitely an invisible chandelier. Um, it's three kills per shield drop. All right, wait, hang on. Three kills per shield drop. I've not seen the shield go down at all as yet. 
Uh, I mean, I've seen it go a bit crackly. I've not seen much, and you've done. Yeah, shields. The shields are looking cracked. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just need to find her. Go, go. That does nothing. Go with the sword. Go. That's much better. Damn. Edge. That knocks me back a bit. I got a bit greedy. Got a bit greedy. Drink. Okay. We've got to watch out for the break. We've got to watch out for the break. You know what? Forget that. Screw all that. Two dead. How many more need to die? Is it just the special ones? Might just be the special ones. No. Is that enough to da- Okay, that's enough to crack her. It's only the special ones that damage her, right? I think so. Yes. And go. Round here. Okay, find another special one. There's- There's another. Okay. Is that- That was three specials. Ow! She tossed a gravestone at me. That was some- That was- Some. Watch out. Haven't heard a crack yet. Oh, that was a chandelier. That was a walk straight into that one. Don't mind. Get get out of my cocky way, you stupid sproglet. Okay. she down yet? Shane. Wait. Is she... No, she... I thought she was down, but she just moved around a bit. Christoph has barely been damaged, which is hilarious. I need, I need more special lads. Oh. Shoot dead. Maybe it's not purple. Maybe it's purple and also this. Okay, I see you. That's you. Okay, that was one special one. Ignore all of them. Go for the special lads. Go for the specials. Though, if you know, there's a good chance to just get them all while you're passing by. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I understand at this point. Nope, chandelier. Bye. Get out of the way. Drink. Where's the one with the yellow halo? Not you. Come on. Come on, buddy. He's around here somewhere. Christoph's doing some stuff too. He's just doing his own business right now. No. no. There he is. I see him. I think this is number three with the thing. Is that enough? That was two, not three. And that's got to be three. It's got to be three. Is he? Seriously. You said three. Okay, try another. Again? Keep on cracking. Sooner or later. Christoph, no one's even paying attention. There he is. Okay, that was it. Christoph's on the job. Christoph's doing a good job right now. And go. Let's get some bleed damage on you. Let's get the bleed damage on you. Let's get the bleed. Back off. Ow. I did not back off fast enough. Okay, I now understand how to damage her. I now understand how to damage her. I've almost used up all my health potions, but I understand. I just don't understand exactly how many it takes to do it. Okay. Keep on keeping on. And look out for... The fancies. Uh, that's like 200. It's like 200 that's here. Are they always in the center? Oh, that's, that's Chandelier of Death. Avoid Chandelier of Death. And where's Captain Shiny? It's none of you. And it's none of you. Shiny man. Shiny man. Does whatever a shiny man can. I don't... Kristoff is just doing his own shit. He's, he's, no one cares about Kristoff right now. Okay, there's... Okay, you're a special. Don't care about you. Well, you're not that special. They're not always in the centre. Okay, just... Oh, watch out for you. Because they occasionally go a bit bananas. Christoph might eventually just get one by chance. It's hard to tell. Um, They're not in the centre. Where the cock is he? I've lost them. There's definitely one over here. Go, and then after a hit, just do a little bit of a roll. Oh, there's one. Okay, got one. Got precisely one. Okay, and then just get round over to here. And then I see you over there. Ow! Flame damage. Not actually that bad, to be honest. Okay, just avoid. And then go. Stay out of the way. That seems to interrupt the other guys who are spellcasters. Okay, just run it into the slash. Eyes open. Oh, hang on. She's right there. Got you, a lady. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that was tricky. That was tricky. That was tricky. And... Oh, she's going to have another phase. Oh, she's going to have another phase. Because she is a boss and they've all had two phases. Godric oh, had a phase. And beloved. Radon had two phases. Have no fear. I will hold thee. 
Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Uh oh. Did something just get out of the egg? I think something just got out of the egg. I don't like what got out of the egg. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Oh, hello, Rani. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Wait, what? I work for Rani. She's my she's my wife. No, she's my wife. What? Send word far and wide. What? 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 But 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 Rani's Rani's bay. The last queen of Caria, Granala of the full moon. Uh oh. I'm in a moon say. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. I didn't mean. Is this Rani's mom or do, wait? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I still have my? I've still got ancient what's his face. I've still got ancient what's his face. Ow! Ow! She's got. Ow! Ow! I think he was about to win that by himself. He was about to win that cock. <laughs> okay, I think I've pissed off Bay there. I think I just pissed off Bay slightly. Okay. So, didn't mean to do that. Blimey. Okay, so she's got Comet Azua too. Start of the fight, just roll. Cocky roll. Got it. Just start of the fight. That's all you're doing. You're just rolling out the way. All right. But now I know a little bit better how to deal with the rest of it. And go. And just run. Right. Straight through here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, they can still attack you on this side. Get my stamina back. Ready for this guy. And then ow. Pff, what a dick. Uh, through here. Oh, you didn't even get a spell off. Well done. Through here. Pull lever. Okay, now I know which ones are the ones I go for. And honestly, Dragon Kristoff wasn't that useful. So I feel like I'll use my Mimic on uh, this occasion. Uh, I do have I do have Comet Azure, but it's, it always strikes me as never doing enough damage to justify draining my entire um, focus meter. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, this time I think I'll go for... Actually, yeah, I'll go for Mimic. I'll go for Mimic on this occasion. We will go for Mimic. So I only had like 200 runes. I don't need the runes. I had like 200. Because uh, I literally just banked them because I was going into a boss. So okay. We go in. We spam friend Mimic. We drink straight away. Drink. There we go. And now we look for... And now we don't bother using magic. Because it's just a waste of magic. Because I can... There we, oh, blimey. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just chill out. Chill out. I see ya. Okay. So, um, oh, fact, it's the ones doing that. Just sort them out anyway. Because they're annoying. There's a uh, Chandelier of Death. All right. I saw you round over here. That's A-OK. -okay. And number one. Done. Now, just avoid all of you. And look out for those lads. Though, to be honest, my Mimic should be doing much... Oh, my Mimic's actually taking way more damage, which is weird. Okay, you're about to attack, so just get behind here. I have a bit of a pokey roundy, and that is Chandelier of Death. That's fine. Uh, there it is. And go, and go, go out the way, because you're about to burst and stay. Right, there's number two. Alright, now watch out for you. You're already looking a bit cracked. My Mimic is drawing a lot more attention, it must be said. Has that done enough to draw the attention? And, yep, there we go. Let's see if we can two-round her. Let's see if we can get the blood. If we can get the blood loss on her. Yeah, that's a blood loss. One. One. Not quite. Darn it. But we got, we didn't get her hit. So, okay, we can 100% uh, two-round her. Also, there is a chest here. Can I open that? Okay, I can't open that, unfortunately. Uh, okay, stay out of the way of that. That's going to do that. There's number one. And one. One single string of Moonveil sorts that out. And no, you don't, buddy. That sorts you out. My Mimic is doing a lot better job in terms of damage. 
And I think she just killed one right there. My Mimic's doing an excellent job. Uh, around the outside, around the outside. Yeah, my Mimic's... D the Mimic DPS is ridiculous. It's crazy. Uh, avoid you. This is going pretty well so far because I've barely touched the... There we go. Is that enough? Is that the three? Is, is that enough to cause the crack or is it one more... Yeah, ow! Bloody fire. Uh, no, it's going to be more yet. My Mimic is being slightly shunted around. Uh, back round this way. And I see you. That enough? That was like, I think, four. Unless my Mimic got one. There we go. Easy round one. Easy round one. Easy round one. And go, go, go. Easy round one. Okay, go over to just prepare to roll. The moment... Okay, we can skip this. The moment this happens, start start jumping. Okay, and roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Didn't go for me. Didn't go for me. Went for my Mimic. That's good for me. Oh, she's doing things. Um... Okay, just roll. Okay, she's going to use range. So that means I should just... I should do the same. My... If I could just get those... Oh, gosh darn it. She's, she's, she's keeping herself at a safe range. Which is a problem. Okay, she's going for the Mimic right now. That's doing nothing. I need to get the sword. It has to be sword. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> she has she has everything of death. Okay, I need to just get the thing on her. Go. Yeah, sword does way more damage. I need to get back. I need to get back. I need to, my mage to draw the attention. Uh, Go. What's she about to do? Oh, she's about to... She's, she's become the moon! She's become the moon! What does that even mean? I don't know, but my... Oh, I think my, my Mimic Tear's gone. Okay, and... Go, go, go. Oh, no, my Mimic Tear's just alive. Uh, I think I need to... I think I need to just... I think I need to get, get up to her. I need to, need to get up to her with a sword. I need to get the blood on her. Oh, that's... That's the... I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Go. Go. Ow! Okay. Ow, 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 Fuck, fuck. Wait, why am I... I don't know why I'm still... Okay, this is not good. Okay, this is, this is, this is fine. And go, go. Oh, she summoned. No, that's my trick. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, no, the, the, the summoning went. Get out the way. Wait, what's she doing? She's, she's a moon now. 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 Uh, use the high tracking spell. She disappeared at just the annoying moment. Oh, fuck me. But they don't last. Her, her summons don't last. Oh, fuck me. Maybe, maybe they do. Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Uh, uh, she's... Dodge! Dodge, okay, get, get up to her. And go, 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 go. That does nothing! I, it, it has, it has to be the sword. I have to get up to her. I have to get up to her. I have to get up to her. And... Go, go! Fuck you! There's a dragon! 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 Is she dead? Have I won? I think I've won! I think I've... Whew. Jesus! Whew. 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 I got figs. Whew. You okay, hon? I killed my girlfriend's mum. It was an accident. Oh, she's not... Fuck! She's not dead! She's not dead! She's not it dead! It didn't seem like an accident, John. I didn't know she was my girlfriend's mom, so I'd already started stabbing her. Mm. Th this is this is a legitimate excuse. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. What? The there fudge? are books and light aplenty. Okay. Not. Isn't she's everybody already dead and she's like an avatar or something? Or will he... Apparently. Apparently she's chill now. My sweetings. I mean, you win and she's not dead, therefore you don't get in trouble, so that's good. Hi! Yeah, I just killed you. I wish to be born anew, to become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. What? Rebirth. Okay, cosmetics, I can change my face, but I hide it behind a mask anyway, so it's fine. What's rebirth? Oh, it killed her illusion. But she's still fine. Like a hat. I'm gonna be honest. I could go for her hat. Could definitely go for the hat. 
she holding a cheese puff? <laughs> does kind of look like it, potentially. Oh, it's the respect button. Oh, that's Do interesting. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The respect button is interesting because... Um... Yeah, Katana Moonveil needs 12 and 18 strength. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got... Oh, I've got 13. I've got 13 and 18. Okay, it's not like I've got huge numbers of wasted points in strength. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with my build. Like, I can... I could maybe... I think I'd like put one point into Arcane and I could take one point hey, out of strength. John, yes? You can buy her hat from the Finger Woman. <gasps> to the Finger Woman! <laughs> Okay, so Apparently I mean you can buy her clothes too. I'm not sure some people are saying hat and some people are saying clothes Honestly, all I really I think there's like there's two points. I might move I might move Actually, you know, what? I could probably move a few points out of you know I wouldn't move points out of endurance to chain cast as a mage you need a little bit of stamina You do need some stamina sometimes stamina is the limiting factor for your DPS not magic so like, I don't um, think there's much point in respecting. Check her remembrances. Uh, yes, that's true. Though I think you need to do that back in the round table hold, don't you? I, don't I think you do that back in the hold. Uh, remembrance of the full moon queen. So, yeah, the power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Yeah, you do that back in the hold. Um, so I'm not popping that because this is the magic. Oh, all the clothes, including the hat, are in the hold. That's nice. So oh, yeah, there was that chest. She has chest. a nice robe. That was that. You were after a robe? I'm not so 100% on the robe, you know. Dark Moon Ring. Is that, is that a hand thing? Every time. Every cocking time. Every cocking time. Is it a key item? Used to perfect rebirth. I don't know what that means. Oh. Uh, this cocking game. Uh, L3, was it, for Lost Acquired? There's no L3, but this this, this, this controller doesn't have an L3. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hang on. You, oh, they mean like, yeah, the, the controller button. Order of acquisition. Just show me everything. Show, show me all the things. But like the other the other way round. Okay, we had that. 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 Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, slumbering. Uh, key item. Key item. Someone just said this. This is the bottom of the key items. Ring of Luna Prince. Oh, it's it's my it's my waifu's ring. Mm -hmm. Symbolic of a cold oath. The ring's supposed to be given by Luna Princess Rani to her. Oh. Yes, I got my waifu's waifu ring, but apparently I can't do anything with it. So it's just, it's just there. Um, whoever thou may be, take not the ring from this place. Solitude beyond the night is better than mine alone. But well, I'm taking the ring anyway. Not much you can do about that. Yeah, I think I might be able to like do a tiny, tiny amount of respecking in my favor, just the smallest, slightest amount. So go on, I'm going in the egg. Put me in the egg, woman. And, ah, that's what the larval uh, tears are for. Now, right. bear this sweeting into life anew. Into the egg I go! Uh, so, okay. I have got a huge amount of stuff. So, now I can... If I take a point away... Ah, it shows me what it already was. So, I can just modify that. So, yes, I want to get my strength up to... Oh, yeah, I want to get my strength to 12. Uh, Dexterity stays 18. RK never gets boosted. Uh, Intelligent fi at 57 was just fine. So let's just get back to where we uh, were. But I'm willing to give up... Uh, yeah, I'm willing to give up all of that. That gets me to 36. So that just gives me two spare, which I may as well. Because I've, I've got rid of one arcade and one strength. It just gives me two points to redistribute somewhere. Um, so, honestly, I will probably take two extra points of mind, uh, in that case. So, uh, yeah, that gets me that, to be honest. Honestly, I wouldn't object two extra points of endurance. I, you know, I'm fine with my current magic loadout. I, I think mages do need endurance. Mages do need endurance. Uh, they, people are saying vigor. That would get me about an extra 100. Yeah, you know what? That's not bad, cool. 
extra 100 odd hit points is definitely not a bad thing in the slightest. Thank you, uh, Red Sieve. Uh, yeah, I took one point of arcane just because I wanted, like, discovery to go up, but it seemed to make, like, no difference. So, yeah, basically, I've just recycled a point of strength and a point of arcane into two points of vigor. And I think that's probably for the, uh, for the best. Like, I know mages don't need endurance as a core thing, but if you're chain casting, it does eat endurance. And very often, the rate that I can chain cast is limited by my stamina, not by my magic. Meaning, as a result of that, like... Yeah, like, actually, the DPS, like, if you're looking at just saying, how uh, much, how much magic damage can I get out per second? Like, the fact that I don't have the stamina to chain cast my most core abilities is limiting. I do think that's limiting. Uh, John, do you need faith? I don't think so. It's, it's down as low as it could go uh, right now. so it's like your base level and you can't yeah. go lower than that, can you? Yeah. All right. You know what, I'm going to split it, I'm going to split it to, uh, 31 and 19. I'm going to give myself a tiny, tiny bit more stamina. In fact, you know what? Mm. Uh. Mm. This is going to be unpopular, but I, I'm curious whether I can start running light. Whether it's possible to start running. Screw it! I'm going up to 20 endurance. It's my, it's my run. I can make my own terrible decisions. Let's go! I'm undergoing rebirth. I now know balled up. There we go. I can now leave. I mean, now I assume she's just here now, so I can just do this as much as I want to. So, all right. Things we now need to do. One, how many did I... Oh, wow. I just gained 48,000. Uh, uh, 48, vigor 000. is the most important stat for any build. The damage values in mid to late gamer are bananas. Um, let's see. We'll get that up a little bit as time goes by. I might be able to level up right now, actually. Let's I've see. got a whole also, bunch of these. Let's um, uh, Green Turtle Talisman can help with, is it endurance? That's true. I would like another, in, I would like another pouch. That's certainly true. Mm. I would love another pouch because I've got a lot of good items right now. Uh, I, I would like to have another, I would like to have another pouch. That's certainly, certainly true. But yeah, I'd like to get up to 75,000 or whatever it is just to, uh, bank. Uh, at some point now I'm at like 50,000. Uh, yeah, so basically, however many lava tears you've, or tears, sorry, you've got. I've got loads of them. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. Been, there's, there's so many in the underground. So, okay, if that's you taking care of, I mean, hmm. I've got her remembrance and her great rune, which suggests that, I mean, I know where the Divine Tower of Leonia is. So does that mean I can, is that where I go to activate her thing? Uh, her but jibble the ghibli jibs the the great room is this where you go to activate the great room because i'm pretty sure this is where i got my intelligent stargazer thing i'm not sure if this is where i go to to activate or is there is the great room already activated might already be activated nothing seems to be happening here anyway right back to the hold uh, i might need that fifty thousand just to buy uh Jesus Christ, just saw someone in chat saying, I wish they spent more time coming up with different objects to find in the game. I think there's... I'm going to be honest. I think there's enough cocking items in the game. Hey, I'm, John, I think that might have been a joke. I really hope so, because I wish they'd spent more time coming up with less items to put in the game. Uh, Jesus great Christ. Does not need activating. Okay. Some of them do, some of them don't. Fine. Um, okay. A rune is only for respecking. Read the description, John. Oh, it just means I can respec. So basically, it's decorative. Hello! <sighs> right, you. Um, I want to, one, receive power from Remembrance. So, yes, Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. This gets me the Carrion Regal Scepter or Renala's Full Moon. Okay, show me what the Carrion Regal Scepter is. Does. Only those with the highest intelligence. So yeah, that needs 70 to utilize. So I can't use that yet anyway. Um, a unique skill spinning weapon. Fine. Channel magic into glintstone to suspend the scepter in midair. Those that touch it will suffer successive uh, magic attacks. Enhancing full moon sorcerers. Okay. Uh, the problem is it's hard to compare to what I've already got because it's at level 1. Uh, intelligence scaling B is fine. Uh, excuse me. Intelligence scaling B is fine. Sorcery scaling 165. Uh, mm. Duplicate that remembrance, someone says. Oh, wait. Yes, that's true. How? That's... Uh, no, you do that with... 
How do you duplicate remembrances again? Is that done at the walking mausoleums? Is is that done at the, is the mausoleums? How, how, do you, how do you duplicate yeah, the remembrances? Yeah, so there you go. Uh, does John know about duplicating remembrance? The moon spell is the same that he saw used in the boss fight with the spinning. I think, anyway. Has he found the roaming... Yes, roaming bell building, the mausoleum. The problem is I don't know if I've got the item to use it. Hang about. Hang about. There was one here-ish that I brought down. The walking mausoleum. But I can't remember what item you need to... I'm sure I've seen one. I thought... I'm going to be honest. I thought that duplicated uh, Ash of War. Bells? Yeah. Except it's, it's come down. It doesn't have its bell anymore. If it's this building like I think it is, then... This is the best remembrance for magic uses. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to give up either of these. So... If I can... So, if you get one of the two items, then it can be duplicated. You you can spend it before you duplicate it. So, I'm not sure if you need to spend it, then duplicate it. Or if you just can. I'm not 100%. Remember it. Okay, it looks like... Well, given I can apparently duplicate this, even though I'd already popped it. Mm. Apparently, you can just have it. So, yes, we will be duplicating that the fact there's loads of them oh yeah each mausoleum can only be used to rep to duplicate a remembrance one time not 100 percent why a headless corpse in a walking mausoleum could duplicate a remembrance or indeed what a remembrance cocking is but i'm not magic gonna... john magic. oh fair enough you know what legit mm -hmm. so okay let's let's now we can have both uh which is good I thought you needed an item, like there was a lost ash of something, or is that duplicating ashes of war at the blacksmith? There's, as I say, there's so many items in this game, and the game doesn't actually explain what any of them do. You just have to sort of figure it out. Right, I'm having both, actually. So, yes, 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 yes. Receive power from remembrance. So, one, I'm having the scepter. And two, I'm having the full moon, which needs also intelligence of 70. So, intelligence 60 to use the scepter... Intelligence 70 to use Renala's full moon. So, uh, incarnate a full moon launched at the foe. So, the full moon dispels all sorcery that touches it. Temporarily reduces man yeah, magic damage negation for those it strikes. I'm guessing it's just a really powerful, slow-moving death ball. Got it. Or maybe that beam. What? Because somebody said you saw... Somebody said it's a spell that she used in the fight against you. No, the beam was Comet Azor. She, she also did, she literally had a, a full moon she launched at me. It's going to be anyway, that. Anyway, you can now buy all of her clothes. So, uh, cre yeah, Queen's extremely tall hats. Um, so Great for stealthing. Doesn't do anything. Uh, very tall crown depicting the moon, worn by Renala. Increases intelligence. Well, uh, it is very It is that. very tall. And this is the robe. Okay, indicating the highest order of sorcerer. Does sound tempting. Uh, Hart went with him. The Academy realized that Renala was no champion after all. Uh, well, her braces. Do they do anything? They don't appear to do anything, but they might have... For their weight class, they might have pretty good magic resistance, which is honestly enough. The Queen's leggings. Brilliant. Love it. Oh, you can buy her underoos. That's I, weird. I can buy her pantaloons. Mm -hmm. I mean, pro I mean, honestly, for two weight, that is like good resistance. So uh, actually, the hat also uh, debuffs magic resist. Also gives a stat bonus. The crescent crown increases intelligence by three. The what? The oh, crown. that thing. The hat. Yeah, yeah. I'm, bu I'm buying all of this. Obviously, we're not we're not not buying this. Obviously, so we're dropping a load yeah, of money I mean, on that. Yeah, I obviously you want to show up to your waifus. You know, next time you see your waifu, you want to show up with the ring that said, "Please don't take this ring, you you, you mop it," and you'd be like, "Hi, I dress like your mum, and I brought you this ring I wasn't supposed to touch." Also, funny story. Think about your mum. <laughs> uh, I have murdered her. Um, okay, so yeah, this perceptor's big hat, which gets bonus points, is just being for being called. Uh, Big hat. Uh, gives me three will, but costs me... Uh, it costs me, yeah, ten points of stamina. This, meanwhile, boosts intelligence by three. But the stats are actually worse across the board, but literally only by a matter of, like, one or two. 
Uh, but it boosts my intelligence up by three rather than my will. But by the Luxy of it, it would give me more stamina because it doesn't actually come with any debuffs. So if we put that on... Looks very silly. I, love I mean, it. I'm gonna be honest. I I, I kind of love it. I know you do. I, I mean, it is a, it is a. I think it's supposed to be. Is it like supposed to be like a snake or a crow? Do you think? Because it's got it's got like ruby eyes. It's got glowing oh, ruby maybe eyes. Maybe a snake. I think it's supposed to be like a creature. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of birds in the place. I think it might be like a bird. Yeah, because it's, like, it's a kind of beak. moon, so in the sky, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a beak thing, and then um, then we have got her gloves which are yeah for their for their weight that is exceptionally good uh by the looks of it like there are better gloves but on balance those are actually to be honest the perceptor gloves are pretty good too uh bu -bu 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 -bu. yeah those are those are very effective the perceptor gloves are actually um i think the perceptor gloves are actually better for any 0.4 so weight people are to be saying honest. it's a crescent moon but it does have eyes. It does have hard. eyes. It definitely has eyes, which is which is weird. Um, uh, now, um, yes, given that you found a ring that is Ronnie's ring. Yeah. Um, you want to maybe go back and see her and see if there's more quests to do? Uh, she went to sleep. She said she was not a tower anymore because she went to go and do a thing. I mean, I go and check in her tower, but she told me she wasn't going to be there no more. Yeah, some people told me she was going to be there some more. She told me she wasn't, but all right. Bloody liar. Um, oh, the chat knows. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can I'm go and check it. I'm trying not to give you spoilers, but apparently there's good loot, so, you know. All right. Uh, so anyway, shout out to uh, Paddy, by the way. Shout out to Paddy McCarry, who gave us uh, 75 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, I'm sure you know that you can leave a message if you want to. Uh, so just at reply me if you'd like to. Uh, Myra has sent us a song for later. Amazing. Uh, and K. Grimm says uh, she's not at her old spot. She's at a uh, different uh, place. Ah, that would make sense. Uh, you go to the place where you stopped the quest line last time. Where I stopped the quest line last time. Yeah. Last time I spoke to her, there was a doll. And she told me to go and kill a guy and it did and then a voice in my head said right good job i'm off to sleep now so where he died uh people are saying yeah basically you go to her tower some people are saying tower some people are saying where the thing was i wonder if i can get down to light load if i go if i go over to arsenal charm one right now and i go over to all this super dumb light stuff. I am so close. If I go over to Wing of Astel, that's light load. Holy shit, light load. So I have, what does it do? It means that my iframes on my roll are... Nope, unacceptable. I'm not wearing shoes. Wait, what? Unacceptable. The Queen's leggings don't come with shoes. Unacceptable. We have to be wearing shoes. I'm not. What, how heavy are the queen, the queen's leggings? Two. two. Okay, so Pretty you light. find something else two or Pretty lighter. Light. I found the commoner's shoes. There we go. Now I'm wearing shoes. I'm now wearing shoes. Is it much much worse? Yes. I feel. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not feeling this gown. I don't feel it. I, I'm. I'm feeling the hat. I'm not feeling the the gown. Is like, it the hat that makes you smart and not the gown? Yeah, right? the gown doesn't do anything. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I think we're. I think we're not going light today. I think we're not going light today. Wait. So how is that one? Is five point one? Is it? I'm going back over to the lion armor. Uh, so very not light. Yeah, very not light. Uh, we go over to Spellblade's trousers for a tiny bit more damage on that. Though, to be honest, Perceptor's trousers... I think, for their weight, Perceptor's trousers are excellent. Perceptor's trousers are quite exceptional. They are an excellent balance of all different resistances. And, honestly, I think the Perceptor's gloves are ex really good, too. Really, really good, too. Uh, what did I take off to have 
this in play. Fuck. What what was my original loadout? Uh oh, it wasn't green turtle. Though I, I do think I do want green turtle. Uh oh, what else did I have aside from Radigan and Intelligence Boost? It was Oh, it was Gold Scarab. Yeah, it was Gold Scarab, yeah, I remember. That's fine. Um ha 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 ha. I think I mean the colours go together. The colours go together. I mean look at that, it's gold. It's gold right there. And now my rolls make no sense. Because now now I just... I don't know. How am I not knocking this this hat off? Right there. So, alright. That's... that's so not, I hate to be that guy. Yeah. But magic. I mean, that's fair. So that brings my total... Hang on. My... Yes, my intelligence is now 65. Which means I can use... The new staff, if I want to. The Karian Regal. Now, the problem is it's really hard to cocky compare uh, staffs. Um, uh, there's a compare button, isn't there? Uh, folks, can you let me know in chat? Uh, I believe somebody was saying earlier there's a way to compare really easily. There uh, is, but the problem you've got is you're comparing things that might be level 1 with things that are... Potentially, I see your things that are not. Um, Do you need me to look up any uh, sort of like upgraded staffs? Uh, wiki. The blah, wiki blah. does have a complete breakdown of scaling, but it's too much detail for me to get into right this second. Okay. Um, I mean, hmm. If this this weapon will one hundred percent be requiring uh, somber. So that means I can probably just upgrade it right now. Because um, I've, I've probably got enough somber smithing stones to just do the upgrades. I mean, this was a weapon given to me well, by a boss. It is going to be pretty good. It's got to be pretty good. So, uh, but, but strength of the armament. Uh, yes, Karin Glint Blade. Uh, I could also just keep making the Karin Glint Blade better. Which I'm gonna be honest is pretty tempting because it is it is brilliant. Uh, yeah, it is a, one of the best staffs in the game for general use and one of the strongest in the game if you upgrade it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Karian Regal Scepter. Yeah, that's the one. So this takes Somber. Somber are good because Somber only requires one of each class. So if you've got spares, you may as well use them. Whereas others, if you burn them on useless stuff, it means you have less to use on stuff you actually want. So, alright. Uh, so two, I've got 20. Three, I've got five. Uh, four, yeah, 12. Four, three, seven, I've got one. Just make absolute. That's the only one I've got. So just make absolute sure there's nothing else I feel like needs to be upgraded. But I don't think so. I think that's worth getting up. Eight, I do not have one right now. So, okay, at plus eight, the scaling, the yeah, the basic sorcery scaling is superior uh, to the Karian Glintstone. I can make the Karian Glintstone better. That's up to. But that's a plus seventeen. That comes with... They both actually have spinning weapon, which is hilarious. But you've got to factor in, this thing comes with the bonus 15% damage to stuff I use on a more regular basis. All right. This comes with a bonus to... Uh, blah, 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 full moon sorcery. This comes with a bonus to full moon sorcery. But I only know one moon spell. Which I do not know if that's going to be as good. So I'm going to keep making the Karin Glint Blade staff better as well. So six. I don't have seven. So right now, the Karin Glint Blade staff plus 19 is sorcery scaling 174. Karin Regal Scepter plus eight is 280. So they're almost the same. However, this thing boosts a form of sorcery. That I think is superior. It boosts the, the Great Bow by 15% for free. This boosts, I assume, the Full Moon for free. So, the Sorcery Scaling is extremely similar on the tone. So... Um, the Spinning Weapon on her staff is actually a unique one. You should try it out. Alright, well, yeah, we've got to try out her new stuff. That's perfectly reasonable. So, let's go over to this thing. 
And we have also got to set her new full moon spell, which is apparently very, very good. Well, I, I, actually, hang on. I, can I even use that? Is, is that even a thing I'm allowed to use? Because the full moon spell. Because wasn't it intelligent 70 to use or something? Uh, hang on. Where's her? Wasn't that the... Intelligence, I literally can't use it yet. Lol. Can't be used. I thought that was the staff that was intelligence 70. No, intelligence 60. I misread it. The staff mm. is 60. The spell is 70. So, all right. We got this staff thing, which has apparently got itself a little spinny thing. So, all right. Uh, let's go somewhere. Um, do you have a, you have the one called loose at staff, right? I don't like loose at staff. You I think loose like at staff is actively quite bad. I think oh, right, you're right. trading fifty percent FP for ten percent bonus Ooh, damage. Oh, that's that one. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think it's I think that's genuinely a bad staff. Mm -hmm. I think that is actually a bad staff because you are you're giving up a lot for almost no benefit. I do I I do not I think that's actively quite bad. Um, so okay. You have a rune arc that can get you to seventy. Oh, if I were to use the rune of bloke. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just reading from chat. Uh, I have that no makes, idea what's uh, going that make, on. That makes sense. That does make sense. Thank you, next Jenner. Uh, I mean, I've, I'm sitting on cocked 23 runes, so I guess I may as well. So, okay, I need something nice and tanky to just cast that at. Uh, what would be nice and tanky as a little experiment? We'll just go up here. We'll go to my bestial sanctum. My best friend up here. So, la, 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 la. Okay. Now what we need to do is just get out of here in case this guy goes bananas and tries to eat me. Again. Um, so, use the thing. Inventory rune arc. I'm pretty sure I... I don't know how long this lasts. I think this lasts my entire this life, right? Alright. So now my stats are... Yeah, 70. Literally just. So, okay. I uh, really hope this doesn't last just to go to the thing, so now I've got to set the spell. Uh, hello, giant terrifying dog creature that tried to murder me that one time. Um, okay. So, 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 so. Memorize spell. We can get rid of most of this trash immediately. And this is... Slots used is two. Understandable. Um... To be honest, yeah, we'll get rid of that. I think we'll put the Karian Slicer in. Then we'll put the Full Moon in. So, Renala's Full Moon. Alright, this is... And we're going to use this with this staff. Okay. So, we're going to go over to that. And we're just going to use it on one of these random guys. We're just going to... Uh, hang on. On the horse, why not? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Rune Arcs last until you die. Yeah. And this person says, plus 40 levels, plus 5 in everything. Which I'm not sure what that... Oh, the equivalent of plus 40 levels. Oh, you get five and everything. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, so a base... Okay, so Comet. Let's just do a basic Comet here on an unsuspecting enemy. Comet leads to 818 damage against an unsuspecting enemy. All right? So that's absolutely fine. Uh, next up, Moon with... Do you mean I can't... Jesus Christ, how expensive is this? Why can't I do that? Okay. Well, can I not do it on... Oh, I think you might need to, like, dual wield or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, you can't do it on a horseback. Some stuff you just can't do on a horseback. So, 818. Uh, so, you, buddy. You haven't seen me. Uh, so, can this be charged, by the way? Let's just try a single tap. I'm a moon. One thousand. Okay, well that was a full kill. So unfortunately, I'm gonna need something stronger to verify this. Actually, I'm gonna need something with a bit more. I'm gonna need something chunkier. I'm gonna need need something chunkier to test this. Also, how much? How much FP did that just use? Quite a bit, but not the biggest amount to be honest. Like you know, if this is if this is my new most powerful mega ability. Actually, you know what? Big bird. Big bird up there is a good target because you can just reset him and make him uh you can just make the you can just basically reset him here so okay what we're gonna do is we are going to try okay let's let's just get ourselves set up here so uh against this guy when he's facing away from me fully charged loretta great bow 
didn't even hit because it hit the top of the stairs. Cocking genius. Uh, again. That did 810 to him. So I'm guessing he's got a bit of magic resistance going on. So to here. Rest of the side of Grace. Reset him. Alright. That should be him taken care of. Yeah, there we go. He's now reset. So 810 was the amount of damage that did to him. So next up. Moon. And I become the moon, and then I send the moon over there. That is... About 20% more than a fully charged Great Bow. That's uh, a little so bit underwhelming, but Sophia we might be able to says, charge it. Sophia says, the moon spell isn't meant to do high damage. It's meant to prepare the target for your future spells to hit harder. Because it reduces the target's magic resistance. Okay, let's check how much that's the case. So, once I've woken this guy up, so, uh, ba, 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 380. That does 380 a go. Let's just get out of the way that of. That glintstone. Huh? Uh, yeah, great, great glintstone is 380 once he's aware of me. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to reset him. And then we are going to do the full, uh, moon spell. I'm going to charge it if we can. Okay. And now... 400. About 20% bonus damage. On the glintstone pebble. Yeah, that was about 20% more damage after he took that. Yeah, someone somebody says, said 30 Someone says 30. Yeah, it could, yeah, it could have been 25. Yeah, it could have been 25. 25, 30 seems uh, reasonable. So what it does is it doesn't appear to have a charge... Um, but it does slightly more than a fully charged Great Bow and makes them subsequently 30% weaker to magic. Which is... which is alright. That's okay. Um... But the thing is, yeah, in terms of just straight up damage, I feel like I prefer as my day-to-day, -day, especially as right now I can only use that with, in fact, actually, with my current... with my current level of intelligence... That is... Yeah, that's pulling ahead slightly of plus 7 versus plus 18 on Kari and Glint Blade. And also, someone did say this had its own unique version of uh, the spin. Oh, that is fancier. Because I'm going to be... It's, it's what, What's very weird, by the way, is... If, can, I, can I have both of these at the same time, by the way, without putting Your me into... Your mimic also does magic. Yeah. People, so. so, basically, like... Yes, my mimic can do the can do that too. So well, basically, if you if you reduce, yeah, because you're not increasing your. Magic, Hilariously, you're... this comes with spinning weapon too, but it's nowhere near as fun. It, oh it wow, does, yeah. It doesn't have, it doesn't have the wivel. It doesn't have the wivel on it. So all right, just right. But like, if you have a big enemy and you're decreasing their resistant their magic resistance, and your summon also does magic. I'm just gonna sneak up on him. See how much this That's does. Really good. Basically nothing, because it's not supposed to. I'm guessing this one actually does something. So, the one with the Corian Glintstone staff has that for no well-explained reason. This one, I'm guessing, actually, because it's got... Because it does this, actually is a... I'm guessing that's actually a magic lawnmower. So, alright, where's the where's the next lad? There's one over here. We're just going to get behind him. We're going to see if that does way more damage. Because I suspect it... Which way are you going? Which way are you going, buddy? Which way are you going? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Uh, K. Grimm says, uh, I fought... I have fought bosses with only two spells. LOL! What? It not only did the job, it knocked him over. Okay, so that is... That's way more effective. That actually does proper magic damage as opposed to the other one, which is just kind of for show. That, that proper knocked... That had knockdown on it. Okay, so John? Yeah. Uh, K says I've four uh, bosses with only two spells, so I could get my mimic to use specific ones more often. That's interesting. Yeah, but that limit that does limit your your own tactical flexibility because that means you've only got those spells as well. So, sure. okay. I'm just that's... letting you know because it sounded fun. That's okay. This is this is an interesting choice to make because. Okay, I'll agree. The thing is. Does the boosted full moon sorcery mean that it actually is... The the magic damage reduction is that 
better because it's been boosted, or is the boost only to the damage the spell does? Because right now I've only got one bit of full moon sorcery. I don't know how many there are. I'm assuming there's other full moon sorcery. So right now I've only got, like, literally the only spell I would be boosting would be that. That would be it. So, hmm. Very interesting. That's, yeah, that's, that's a tricky one. That is, you know, unquestionably on paper, that is now my most powerful staff. Absolutely. My only concern is that, yeah, what it's boosting isn't my favourite thing to boost. Because, yeah, the Karin Glib Blade actually does... That is something a bit more interesting. Oh, that's tricky. That's really tricky. Uh, Loretta's Great Bow is my go-to day to day. Am I going to be using the moon, like, all the time? No, I'm going to use it against some bosses. I feel like possibly that's a boss staff. Yeah. I feel like that might be my boss staff, but I think Ron, the um, the the Karian Glimp Blade might be my day to day uh, staff. There actually, there are two full moon spells apparently. Oh, there's only two in the whole game. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, Jinx each says staff so. Staff only boosts like one or two spells apparently. Yeah, but I feel like the gl okay. I think Glimp Blade is my day to day. I still think people are sleeping on this. I think people are genuinely sleeping on Kari and Glimp Blade. Because it's so easy to get early in the game. It's right at the start of uh, Laonia. It is, if you haven't found this yourself. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and let me kind of just point people that's my video because this is kind of important. Like, if you want to get the staff yourself, you can get it right at the start of the game. It's just literally, you start here. Just go straight, straight to Stormvale. Use the shortcut around the edge of Stormvale to get to Laonia of the Lakes. Then just up the road, Highway Lookout Tower. Go there. Get that. I think it's the best. I think genuinely this is one of the best staffs in the game. And it's and you can get it really low level really early on. I think it's amazing. I think people... Because like whenever I've seen like, you know, any discussion or articles or anything about... Oh, what's the best? What What's the best loadout? What's the best staff for majors in Elden Ring? No one mentions Kari and Glintstone. And genuinely, I think people are... I think people are sleeping on this. Because the spells, it does... It, one, it's easy to level up in the early game. So, you know, when you're actively playing day-to-day, -day, it's easier to get to a high level super fast. And two, it's just that you have got... The spells it boosts are good day-to-day -day spells. They're good day-to-day -day spells. Whereas, full moon sorcery, agree. I will get that out when a boss shows up. But I think day-to-day, -day, this is the... This is gonna this is going to stay my day-to-day -day staff. Yeah. Yeah. Because, okay, no, I agree. I, pe people are saying, like, oh, the sorcery scaling is superior on the Karin Regal. I agree. It's, like, it's seven points higher. But the two spells I use more than anything are Kari and Phalanx, aside from just basic glint, like, basic glint stone. Kari and Phalanx, and in particular, Loretta's Great Bow. And they're getting 50 set, and they're getting, they're getting, and that's getting 15% bonus for free. That's getting 15% bonus for free. This is giving 50% bonus something I will very rarely use. Claire's looking at me. Hi, I have a comment from a person. Yes! Uh, shout out to uh, Bartes, who gave us uh, 25 uh, UAE dirhams, which is new. Is we that new? Have we ever I seen that before? I don't believe we've ever had uh, a super chat in... Uh, in United Arab Emirates, dams. How exciting. So that's, uh, so, you know, shout out for uh, being the first one, I think. Uh, but they say try with the glintstone in the offhand and the scepter in the main hand. With the scepter to cast spell, you should, I think, get the best Sorry, of both worlds. Say, that, say the first one again, please. Try with the glintstone, glintstone. in the offhand yeah. and the scepter in your main hand. But that would imply I wasn't holding a shield. Spells, you should, I think, get the best of both worlds. Also, I can't help but notice that mm -hmm. we might have a new shield. This is this Karian Knight shield I was just didn't even really think about is actually an intelligence scaling shield that gives me vastly superior magic resistance. Now, less to fire, less to lightning, uh, better to holy. But like you get magic tossed at you way more often than you get fire thrown at you or lightning thrown at you. Plus, it uh, feels on brand. Feels on brand yeah. to me. That that feels on brand. Gonna be honest, that's... The, um, the staff doesn't boost uh, Loretta's great bow. What? Yes, it does. Check the wiki. Yes, it does. 
Well, this new one? No, the new one doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah. If you stay below 70 intelligence, the glintstone is better, but if you go over, the regal scepter is better, including the 15% boost. Uh, you can also use both staff in both hands if you're min-maxing. Ooh, but then I'm not holding a shield. Speaking of which, I'm cra I'm, I'm breaking out the shield. The, the shield's now being uh, undone. I'm, I'm changing. This is the first time I've had a new shield for a long time. But I'm, I want to have a new shield. I want to have a new shield right now. We're, we're applying the new zero skill to the... You. You weigh one more. Um, and I could give you, well, actually, instead of no skill, I have actually picked up a whole bunch of different things here. Um, there is, what even is this? Hang on. What, 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 what are you? Thop's Barrier erects a magical force field while swinging the shield to deflect sorcerers and incantations. I mean, to be honest, that kind of sounds, it kind of sounds more interesting. It kind of sounds more interesting than the note. Like, I could do the, the wizzly wizzly thing, but if I'm going to be using Kari and Glint Blade day to day anyway, you, 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 could, you, could just, you could just magic that. I could just, like, have that as my, my day to day thing, and then that, that could actually be my ability. Oh, but then, no, I can't do that because then that would overwrite Transient Moonlight. That's why we. I forgot why we did that. I forgot why we did that. Wait, which I one's Transient Moonlight? The uh, weapon art of Moonvale, which is very important because it's really, really powerful. Um. That's why we put no skill on the shield. I'd forgotten why we put no skill on the shield, but now I've remembered. Now I remember why yeah, we did that right. thing. Now I understand why people are shouting no skills in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. All right, that's cool. So this way is one more. But, like, to be honest, like, this was always weird that I was holding this particular shield. So it's just got this random drawing on it that has no significance to me. But now, this is a Karian Knight shield. Like, it's all proper got little blue blitz of, like, glint stuff on it. Like, th this is more appropriate for my magic build. Which, as you can see, is very clearly magical. Highly magical. Wow. Highly magical. Highly magical. There we go. That's, that's pretty good. That's yeah. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with that right now. Though, yeah. That's 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 lovely. That's 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 just absolutely lovely. That's a huge amount of magical resistance right there. Um, and I don't think if you make it better, it makes it any better at anything. I think if you just, I think if you just improve that with smithing stones, it just gets better at attack power, not guard of damage negation. But most importantly, yeah, it's got one hundred. Uh, it's got one hundred physical resistance, same as my old one. I'm still I'm still easily running medium load. I'm like so into medium load. Uh, the only reason I've got this endurance is because I want the um, the stamina. I've got way more stamina than anything else. So, all right, I'm happy with that. Hmm. People were saying, okay, let's let's test this. You know what? We're gonna science this, Claire. Yeah. I'm gonna science this right now. We're going to science this up. We're going to figure out, because I right now my intelligence, like people are saying, at intelligence 70, the Karian Regal is just superior, even with the 15% bonus. Well, my intelligence is 70 right now, thanks to the rune arc. So let's cocking find out. We're going to science this mother flipper. So, step one, with, yes, the Karian Regal set up right there. Um, Loretta's Great Bow. We're going to fully charge it on an unsuspecting enemy with... No uh, setup. So this is with the staff that gives it a 15% bonus. So we're going to charge this right now. Fully charge. 790. 790. Mm -hmm. Alright. Reset him. Which you can do with this right here. This is this guy's very useful for being shot in the back for science. So we, did, so we got 790. Karian Scepter plus 7. Sorcery scaling is higher. Intelligence is 70. So I don't know what that translates to in terms of straight damage. Lock on to him again. Move to the same spot. Fully charge it. Once again, no Terra Magica. Enemy is unaware. Same enemy. So the thing to beat is 719. It wins. They're right. The sorcery scaling is... Uh, that was 810. 
even with the 15% bonus, that means that is, yeah, at this level of intelligence. Okay, we should probably, probably reset him now because he's about to come and murder me. Mm -hmm. All right, so we scienced it. We scienced it right there. And as a result of that, Karin Glintblade staff, you have served me so, so well. You have served me so well, but Karin Regal Scepter has just been scientifically proven to be superior. Uh, the staff is only boosting spells with the word blade in them. Which of the staffs? Uh, Karin Glintblade staff. I know Presumably. it says Karin Glintblade sorcery, but if you look up the Karin Glintblade staff in the, um, in the wiki, in the mm -hmm. Elden Blade wiki, it does say for some reason uh, Loretta is there. I don't know why, but like, it's in the wiki. Um... It, it just is. Yeah, there's no... Uh, people are saying there's no 15% bonus. Loretta's bow isn't affected by... Isn't affected by any staff. I don't know. I'm going to the wiki right now and you can't <laughs> stop me. We're going to the wiki. When I check the wiki right now, so it's K, it does not say it anymore. Maybe it was pre-1.3. I mean, he is legitimately opening Elden Ring wiki on a different, uh, on a different tab. Friendship ended with Carrion Great Blade. Oh no, Glint Blade even. I think that's been taken out in one of the patches because I literally looked this up. I literally looked this up and it used to be the case because I went through the spells that were boosted by each of these. I think that's been taken the out. The yeah, does not say that anymore. It was changed after data mining. Oh no. Poor data. Oh. Uh... The wiki has been updated because it was wrong. Oh no! The wiki lied to me! The wiki lied to me. Can't believe it. This is... This is all your fault, Kari and Glipblade staff! <gasps> Glipblade sorcery is actually, actually pretty good anyway. Because Kari and Phalanx is genuinely a good skill. Um, and actually, in all fairness, the Kari and Glint mm. stone staff is pretty good as well. Because that is obviously all the swishy spells. And Kari and just like a slicer or whatever it's called... Is actually pretty solid. So, alright. The Karin Regal Scepter is now my thing. I'm going to show up to Rani at some point and be like, Hey, I'm wearing your mum's hat. Here's your mum's staff. Also, I took this shield off one of your bodyguards. And here's the ring that said you, you said definitely should never like leave your mum's side. Also, I killed your mum. So, yeah, this is, this is good. I feel like my waifu is going to be annoyed about this. It's, 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 I think my waifu's going to be so angry. So, so angry. That reminds me, by the way. We do have one more thing to go and visit. We found one of the magical keys. Magical keys. Um, and the magical keys open the magical belfries. I've already opened two because I had two keys. But there is now yeah that's the one that contained one key there's another key uh, i can't remember where but it's already been taken care of so i already opened two of the three um sorry two of the four belfries one of them doesn't have a door um so you were already open you were already open which one hasn't been opened uh because there was a magical key there was a magical key there was a magical key you're open too must be you, buddy, who's not currently active. Just be careful. There's giant ghost trolls around here, which is very annoying. Yep, it's this one. So, this is the third and final Belfry. Crumbling lands. Alright. Shove it in, because I've not found any other use for these things. I've not found a single other use. So, we're going in. With my brand new staff, which does mean... Yep, yeah, that's fine. Which does, of course, mean, yep, yeah, the full moon can stay. The full moon can 100% stay. Honestly, I think it's more useful than Comet Azure. Which I think never gets as much damage as you think it's going to. Sorry, we're being warped somewhere. We don't know where. Crumbling lands. Uh, Kaled? Kaled sounds like crumbling lands. Oh, what the... Oh, shit. What? There's... Okay, Claire. Mm -hmm. The entire 70 hours of the game I've spent so far has got me to about here. Uh, yeah. Apparently the shit as far over here as this. The game never ends. 
Oh god, it never ends! There's, there's shit in all this too? All of this is game? There's another continent as big as Layer? Jesus Christ! Yay, oh, game of the year! Okay. Also, now I can't leave. Uh, can I fast travel? Actually, I don't want to fast travel out of here until I have found somewhere I can walk back here. Alright, despair. <laughs> Great. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't deny there's 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 giant there are pterodactyls everywhere. Which is mildly concerning. Uh why is it always circling around? There's I feel like I might be up in the air right now. Like I think I might be in the sky. I'm getting sky vibes. Although admittedly. Storm O Storm. This place is awesome, but how do I get anywhere. Uh, okay, there's some more stuff over here. Yep, it's gonna have to be this way. Zoop. Something killed these people, which worries me. Stay on Great Glintstone. It's not a bad opening. Yeah, they're not pterodactyls, they're dragons. They look pretty small for dragons to me. Are they babies? Or are they very far away? I think they might be very far away. Okay, it looks to me like the only sensible place to drop down is what the flu? Why is there a flying kingdom? Why is there a flying kingdom? Because right. it's cool. I mean, story checks out. Try range battle. Be wary of enemy. All right. Well, luckily I'm good at the old range battles. So there's oh, they've got they've got stuff going on, but they're in range. Hello, are you, what are you guys. Are the you? big swords are so cool. Okay, they're running about, but uh, as far as I can tell, they can't really do much to me. So, as a mage, I can take care of this without too much difficulty. Though I'm not sure how I get down without taking a ton of damage. Buddy? Eh? Can you jump? Uh, it looks quite far. It looks dangerously far. And... Oh, come on. Buddy. Buddy, buddy. Well, once you've killed him, you can uh, use his body as a landing pad. Uh, unfortunately, he turns to ash when he dies. Okay, you know what? Stars of Rowan. Which immediately went down. Stars of Rowan again. That's a better angle. This has really good tracking. So against enemies where you can't bloody get a bead on them. Or they're moving around too fast. Stars of Rowan is a pretty good answer. Dead. Right. That looks like a... V I'm, I'm, I'm cotton walling. That's a fine distance. Huh? Or you could do the rainbow stones. I mean, it could do that, or I could just YOLO! See, I'm fine. Yeah, I told you. Because I YOLO'd. I just YOLO'd myself off a cliff there. Uh, why is it always gorgeous view? Why is it always overcast, no clear sky? It's, I mean, it's true. I feel like we're kind of above the clouds here. Or like, you know, kind of above the clouds. There's definitely some big shit going on. Use your horse. Not allowed. Ah. Horses banned in what was this place called? Falam Falamazula? Falamazula. What does that ring about? Was there an enemy called that? Or something very close to that? Definitely looks like a bayonet bayonetta level. That's true, actually. Um. Okay. So can't drop there. Can't drop there. What is going on? Can I get anywhere from here? I mean, I think I saw something off this side, didn't I? Oh, yeah. I can drop down in this direction. All right. Don't give up, Skellington. <laughs> I like the messages that people write to corpses. Dead end, therefore, try map. If only I had tower. Pearl Drake Talisman. All right. That's a talisman, obviously. Time for rump. What the shit is this? Okay, well, I'm not sure I can get back up now. And I still can't horse, so I've got no double jump. Well, somebody did say try map. I haven't got the map. I mean, I, this might just be like a, a little sneak peek of an area that's to come. But Jesus Christ, apparently this entire cocking area's got game in it. <laughs> apparently I'm, like, I'm not even like halfway through. Never ends. The game uh, never yeah, ends. There was apparently a super early uh, boss, a super early game boss called Beastman, uh, Beastman 
of Farumazula? Yes, him. Yes. Oh, is it Farumazula? I thought it was Farumazula. No, yeah, he's in a no, cave. You have to teleport away. He's cave right at the start. Oh, you just have to leave, do you? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. All right, Somebody so apparently, it's a dead end. apparently it's a little a... teaser for later on in the game. Jesus, apparently this whole area is going to be a thing. The belfries are always just previews of areas later in the game. It's just a hint to the wider area. You will come back to it later. Blimey hell, this 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 game, this game is bananas. Yeah, it's a big game in it. This game is a big game. That that's true. That's true right uh, there. Uh. Dear, I've, I'm... Let's see. Do you want to go find uh, Rani? Uh, well, I'm going to check if she's in her tower, but I doubt yeah, she is. Yeah, people were saying, like, around her tower. Or Some something. people were saying, like, her one of her guys is dead. That's where I got my original big hat from. As I suspected, she ain't here because she told me she was going away. So, I mean, we'll check the rest of the tower. But somebody said you were about, like, a third of the way through the game, or you'd see. What? Like, third of it what i don't know it's impossible it's so big they don't make games this big anymore they're much sure they ever did this made this is like this is ridiculously that large that area isn't even the last thing that you do that late game one you just saw jesus christ okay drop down uh. check her I mean, the guy, his yeah, uh, the dead you have guy's to go tower. Underground from where you were when you last killed a boss for Rani. Oh, I think I know what they might be talking about. Someone says you're actually way past a third, closer to half now. It's still, still terrifying. Yeah. Uh, well, underground. Yeah. I think I know where that is. I killed a boss. It was the. It was about here. There was the Noxtella Waterfall Basin. Then there was a downstairs bit that led to the Lake of Rot Shoreside. Uh, which, actually, now I think about it, I think I actually have a solution to. Um, it was, yeah, Noxtella Eternal City. Noxtella Waterfall Basin, I think, was about roughly where the enemy she told me to kill was. Um, and then there was... Yeah, this was roughly the right... This was one of the right areas. But, like, the, the nearest was the Lake of Rot Shoreside. Now, this is... Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. a good, uh, that's a good uh, idea to go there. Now, the last time I was here, I couldn't really do anything. But I've had an idea about that. I think I know a solution. Because the problem is, if you step into this water, you start taking giant piles of, uh, like, rot, obviously. So you can walk in it, but it's really bad for you because the, the rot is bad. But I found a suit of armor that I think might actually be quite useful. Uh, which is, if we change out all my armor to the mushroom headgear. I found the mushroom suit of armor that just seems to be by far the best immunity armor in the game. So if I just take everything over to... Immunity and remember, yeah. Pre I mean, uh, like, yeah. If, you, if you're already a bloody mushroom, yeah, is the rot maybe not gonna hurt? Exactly. It's boosting my immunity stat, which is my immunity to ever. It's my immunity to poison and rot. So as I am now a mushroom, yeah, just basically run, 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 run. This should. That. Well, that plan was good in theory. It was a good plan in theory. It, but it did not work. That that plan was terrible. Uh, I was okay. very so, embarrassed hey, how John, badly that worked. I thought that was going to be amazing. Uh, you might have a talisman that helps with immunity too. To talisman? Uh, which are the immunity type talismans? Uh, raises poise, reduces damage... Poisoning or rot of vicinity increases attack power, which is nice, but not quite the right thing. Uh, attracts attention. I've got so many talismans. So many talismans. Raises potency of sorcerers, which I might want to go over to at some point. Memory slot. Sean's casting time. That one's great. Uh, robustness. Okay. Increases robustness, immunity, and focus. Greatly increases. Keep it, go keep it going on. In fact, you know what? Put put them both on because I think you could... Oh, no. That one you're not allowed to double stack. Sometimes you're allowed to stack those. Also, Pearl Drake was non-physical damage negation. Okay. So, with that in play, 
Let's see if that's any better. I mean, it's a okay, bit better. Okay, but John, look, 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 look. Uh, what? Can you pan around? Because there's a little, like... There's islands, yeah. Yeah, islands that you islands. should run and between. And what them. I can also do is I can use preserving... I can use these things. I can set, as part of my equipment, the preserving bollocks. Um, yes, some people were saying to use those. Use preserving bollocks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to set them and put all this together. Like, there's an item over there. So we're just going to run over to here. I'm assuming I can stand on this, by the way. I can't stand on this, by the way. Drink that quickly. That resets that. I can just use those. I can just use that to reset this. So it's not ideal. So then does it diminish when you're like on a... It goes down, but slowly, yes. Super slow, yeah, okay. It goes down super slow, but it does. You can craft the bollocks as well, apparently. Yeah, uh, assuming I've got the right items for them, I can make another yeah, six of them. Yeah, there is a faith spell, but apart from that, you need to, con to craft some consumables. Yeah, I mean, I think this is... If I look at my status right now, my immunity is, I mean, it's pretty good. That's as good as it's going to get. That is as good as my immunity is going to get. I think if I had, like, more um, endurance, that would help with this. Okay, maybe, uh, I don't know if maybe you can, uh, you can, um, okay, longer to affect, but once affected, same go, damage is how this effect works. So it's better to get the rotten and cure it all after you've gotten to an uh -oh. island. Claire, Claire, I think they've lied. I think they've lied to me. I think they've lied to me. What did you do? I just ran to the nearest island and a thing rose up out of the... But that's good. I mean, technically... You can walk on that. Assuming it's not a trap. So what, if it's a trap, you're going to fall in the rock water rather than walking through the rock water in the first place. All right, Captain Sarcastic. It's, oh, oh, hello. There's, there's things. There's there's things in the thing. Hello. Who who are you? No. No. Oh, it's these. It's the weird bobbly-eyed lads. It's, now they're rotty. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're staying on Comet. A double Comet will take care of them. All right. They're going to pop out. Watch out for them. Be ready for them. There will be more than one next time. Alright. Try fingers. But whole. Uh, there is there is an item over there, but I'm not getting it. Lol. Use the map to vaguely detect the location of important shit. I'm pretty sure I can make it to that island. Next. And... So Yes. Do you have, like, I mean, presumably you have some sort of a sprint. Yeah, I've got a sprint. And you can't get and your horse. Go. No, the horse lets you walk through the, um, uh, the swamp in Caled pretty nicely. All right, so we've stepped on this switch. That's presumably going to summon some more shit up. Yeah, that summoned up some islands, which is going to be useful. Oh, this is, this is a deeply unpleasant place to be. Well, at least this has been useful. Wait, but there's one closer to you on the other side on your left. Yeah, I think yeah. there's. I think that one's the closest, to be honest. Uh, I think I can make it to this one without needing to, to, to pop uh, the resilient bollocks. I think the uh, yeah, it's, it's to go to there. Then I can grab whatever that item is. Let's just get over to suit. Something's coming to attack me. Something's angry. Oi! Stay still. Yeah, I mean, that is a two shot, but only if you can get it. Exactly, it's a bit slower. And did it like... Uh, Comic and chain cast, which is brilliant. Did it poison you as well? Because you have a second effect. I think that's the instant death effect. Oh, great. I know, it's a great one. Okay, get over to here. Get that. Warming stone. Oh, piss off. Okay, I am busy. I'm busy. Chain cast. Grab that. Get over to here. Looks like I need to get up ultimately. Really hope this is this is like I'm just naked but with mushrooms pinned to me right now. I'm not sure this is really helping. I, I feel like I'm just wearing mushrooms for no reason. None at all. Alright. Over to the next. And let's piss off the pair of ya. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so so bored with you. Go. Go. The chain casting is nice. 
the fast chain casting is lovely. Uh, so is there like a, a thing that you can walk on? Uh... Well, there's more over there. I'm just going to check every direction I could go. Because there might be extra bonuses dotted about. There's, oh, there's even a dead... Oh, that's a dead plant. I don't like the look of it. Scarlet rot, scarlet rot. Be wary of boss. Short bravery required ahead. Oh, that thing's not dead. That thing's straight ahead of me. Whatever that is, that's alive. Uh, which I don't like as a concept. But this is going to summon more things. So I'm going to go here first. Because that's a switch to summon more platforms. Same as before. I wonder if you step on that. If you run to that position fast enough, you could actually just glitch yourself right up top immediately. It would be hilarious. And I can't put it away. Now it's up. Now, I might be able to use... I mean, there's there's a step there, isn't there? Uh, yeah. That's 100% a step, so I can, I can stand here. But, I mean, do you need to go near the, like, totally alive? I oh. mean, I can't help but notice there's, there's a different way to go here that's not in that direction, which strikes <laughs> me as, you know, sensible. So I feel like we could just not. We could just go this way. Uh, I mean, that... That looks pretty important over there, doesn't it? Yeah. That looks... I mean, that's got flames. That says, hey, come over here. Come over to here, come over here to me. So we're just going to go in this direction. I might need to straight up pop some bollocks halfway through this run. And... No, we're okay. The mushrooms are keeping me going. Keep eating at the bollocks. And jump. So you're in the thing the last possible second. Go to here. It's going pretty well so far. First off, stay calm. That suggests there's something else here. There's more over there as well. There's, uh, there's stuff everywhere. Sarah says it's your mushroom armor is definitely helping with Radan's armor on. I couldn't make it between islands without the rot maxing out. Ah, nice. Okay. Well, I'm not a complete idiot then. Like, when I came here yeah. and then I found this armor, my immediate thought was, oh, this armor would be really good down in that Scarlet Rot Lake I found. So it turns out I'm a genius Elden Ring. So, okay, there's something going on over there. I'm That's... sorry, are we supposed to be, like, impressed or surprised by you being smart? Uh, it's, uh, when it comes to video games, very surprised. Mm -hmm. Grace ahead, which is very exciting. I guess I'm easily impressible by uh -huh. you. Uh-huh. Okay, grace ahead, they say. So this is the direction towards the grace, which I feel like we should go to first. Uh, so just straight into here. This is a very short run. And out in time. Nope, that's just a ghost. It's just another player. Sometimes those things are dicks. So just get me the... Let me let me loot the corpse. Thank you. Yep, that's the thing. That's what we need. Be wary of legs. Treasure chest ahead. Try healing. Oh, I don't trust any of this. Was it not this direction? Someone said grace ahead. Oh, it's a waterfall of rot. Amazing. Yeah, it's a rotterfall. Brilliant. Well, there's stairs oh, over so there. so you have to go on the other side because yeah, there's stairs. Yeah, it's the other side. Oh. Hmm. This is obviously where I'm supposed to go ultimately. So as I'm leaving this area now, I'm going over to that door over there. Because I want to see what's in that door. So to here. This is working. My really, 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 really dumb mushroom armor is like people, you know, some people are like, oh, you need loads of health or you need endurance. You know? No, you need mushrooms. I'm wearing mushroom armor. That's my plan. It's my solution to this incredibly dumb area. We're just going to be needing mushroom armor. Just got away with that. Just got away. Regret ahead. Okay, it's not a mimic in disguise. Bug ahead. Could this be bug? Bug. Something's about to come through this wall. I'm going to backflip away. I thought it might be a trap chest. Run! What? Okay. Check my back. Why were there multiple... Multiple warnings of bug? Just 
weird, but okay. Uh... Maybe the texture's bugged. Entirely possible. All right, it was just an item. Nothing too dramatic going on here. All right, we're cracking on. We're going to ignore the big dumb creature that is, is, is possibly a boss on that side of the lake. Screw that guy. All right, we don't need him. We don't need him. Just keep eating the reassuring bollocks. Get over to here. Get over to this side, which is how we get into the mysterious rot cave. Uh, seat ladder, grace ahead. Okay, the grace is on this side down here. Just make sure we've not missed anything. And yeah, there's clearly something else. Why is there always butterfly? Hmm. I'm not sure what that refers to, to be honest. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just on. And I think my mushroom... I, I, I'm glad my mushroom was a good plan. I'm glad that actually... Uh-oh, there's, there's, there's blood stains. There's blood stains here. I'm putting, I'm putting my actual armor back on because we're into, we're into blood stain territory. Uh, 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 meaning bad things are about to happen. So I'm, I'm going back over to my standard Preceptor, Preceptor, Radan, Dumb Hat loadout. Because... Well, there's grace here. Why are there so many blood splatters at a grace? Yeah. Well, someone was fighting here, despite there being literally a grace. Well done. Try poison. First off Elden Ring, an ill-omened creature. Alright. I'm definitely saving here. Topping up my flask. I think my flasks are actually pretty much full up, but... Uh, they fixed a flying tree, which generated a lot of applauds. Okay, there was a flying tree there. It's referring to a, a bug that's now been patched in yeah, 1.3. Yeah, I, I think they... Yeah. yeah. Somebody else says they probably fixed the bug in the texture. And I think serial kicked means, like, somewhere else. Uh, Sorry? Oh, I see, yes. About the, the tree. Anyway, um, those are people that died from the Scarlet Rod from the lake. Lol. I see... All right, I see more ahead. Liar ahead. Okay, so there's no hidden thing. This is, this is definitely a very unpleasant area. It was a very unpleasant area, actually. Grand Cloister. House, oh house. I want to go home. I want to go home. I see Golden Centipede, but I'm not really sure what they do. No found any use for them, to be honest. But try attacking then blood loss ahead. Visions of introspection. Blood loss. Not Scarlet Rock, Blood Loss. That's weird. Uh, okay, there's some jumps dotted about. Seat left. Oh, this is just... Go! Okay, we're platforming at this point. Great, I love it. Seek item. That's just a ghost. Alright. Hey, buddy. Golden Room 10! Not bad, though. How are we going to get all the way down there? And I see... Is that them prawns? They're using the same sticks. I think it's the prawns. Alright. I mean, I see there's a little... Like there might be a ledge over there. Uh, jump. And jump. I mean, I did see there was this ledge down here. Okay, yeah, I see this ledge here. Okay. Yeah, I see. If this ledge is here, then that means there must be a way to either get back or something else going on. Try join. Behold light. Take golden centipede. This is getting me down. Yep, there we go. We're going down step by step. How many of these creatures are we talking? Because these are nasty. They've got this weird, really dangerous ability. Uh, and are you guys in range? You guys are in range. Great. Down you go. They are very not perceptive. That might be in range. Send two of them. Darn it, literally just out of range. Okay, well, I can bow. Bow has extremely high range, so we'll just do one big shot, and then one little shot. And then one little shot, because he's panicking now, and he doesn't know where I am. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I can take out all three before going down that way. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. We've got a message from uh, Thomas Chandler, who gave us $20. Oh, thank you very, very much uh, indeed. And says, hey, John and Claire, I'm working on one of my final major essays for uni, and having this stream on in the background is great help with the stress. 
Your content has helped keep me sane for the past four years. Oh, thank you. That's lovely to hear. Yes, I hope, I hope it's always nice to know we've helped in some dumb little way. Yes, exactly. That's just safe. <laughs> I failed. All right. What was that, the message? Yeah, that was the message. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of uh, messages... I thought uh, it was speaking of failure. It's like, wow, that's a one no. hell of a way to introduce a community member. Claire, I'm sure they appreciate no, 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 that. No, absolutely. Oh, Jeez. Sorry, I didn't even think of that. Uh, and speaking of failure... Wow, John. Anyway, speaking of messages that are nice... Yeah. Like the previous one. Shout out to Marshall, who gave us $10 and says, uh, I have work calls, but I wanted to send some love, all the pets, to Tabby. Oh, Tabby. She's a good girl. Be wary of trap, be wary of strong foe. I think there's something in the waterfall. And I'm not sure I actually care enough about it to go. Uh, monster ahead, therefore good luck. Yeah, I think there's something bad in the waterfall. And I don't think it's worth bothering with, to be honest. Uh, I'm no longer wearing the gear, but I'm fine for the time being. This area feels like it should... It, this feels like it should not be a safe area to breathe, to be honest. But we are where we are. Yeah, look how fast it's going up without my mushroom armor on. Crazy fast. All right. Get over to here. Danger. There's something in there. There's something in the waterfall. The problem is, even with my mushroom armor, how do I... I don't think even with the mushroom armor, I can okay, actually... Okay, but what happens to you if you get the blood rot? You start taking damage. You start to do damage over time. Admittedly, you can just heal that. You can heal past that. That's true. Uh, I mean, we've got to give it a go. Danger. Something's wrong. There's something here. It's going to spawn. Mini boss that way. Be careful. Oh. Well, remember you're supposedly very leveled for this. But yeah. Yes, it's worth it and it's possible. The shinies, you want the shinies. I'm putting the, I'm putting at least some of... The, I'm putting the mushroom arms and legs on. I'm keeping the armor and hat on, though. So we'll go half and half. Oh, God. The Rotterfall. Yeah. Okay, go. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I missed one of the things, too. Ow is the thing. There's... He fell in the rot water. It's one of them. Oh, dear. Drink. Fast. Eat. Bobblers, it's one of them things. The uh, you guys, corrupted avatars. It's a corrupted earth tree avatar. Um, I'm assuming it could just go in the rot all it cocking wants. It doesn't care. It's. I'm guessing that's. Yeah, it don't care. It don't care. Oh, oh, it's 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 got rot flames. It's got rot flames. Um, how much damage are we doing to it? Nothing. Uh, drink. Drink ow! Ah, god damn it. Drink again. It's attacking very fast and now it's going literally at me. Uh, uh get maybe maybe it can't fit in the corner properly. Maybe it can't get to the corner. It might be the best bet we've got. Ow! It can fit in the corner. I can't see cuz the can camera's you do not some of physical. No, not nothing. I think we just basically run in. Grab the items. An and then deliberately tree die. Spirit, not an earth tree avatar. Sorry, ulcerated tree spirit. I've seen one before. There was one up in Mount Gelmia. I think what we do is we go back down, we get my we get my souls, runes, whatever. We run in, we get the item, then we we just accept we die. Then we just run far enough away that the uh the runes we die are will drop sufficiently far away that it won't be a problem. But uh, you'll have the item. And I'll have the item. Because I got yeah. one of them. Though admittedly, I didn't see what it was. Because I was trying to run away it's faster. Stone, I think. Huh? Uh, that sounds about right. Yes. Which does not sound important enough to justify this level of bullshit. But I'm pretty sure there's a pillar. Yeah, there we go. One. And then one more for you two. Who's... Don't hide behind the pillar. What a deck. Okay. 
And then I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be in range of Comet. One and two and one and two. Easy. But presumably that guy isn't awake right now. No, he's not. Bosses tend to be woken up by specific triggers. You're right. Um, so the best option we've got is just uh, one. Yeah, there's a really good thing when you uh, kill it, but it's not super critical or anything. Get over to here. Yeah, there's my room. So my rooms are safe. So I get them back. No trouble. Yeah, and now when you die again, you it doesn't have matter. Yeah. yeah. What I'm going to do, therefore, is yeah, I'm just going to. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry, I'd forgotten about uh, you, buddy. There was one over here who got in this direction. So we got one of them. We'll just go get the other, and then we just start running as fast as we can away. So we'll just uh, take you out. That's no trouble. Uh, yeah, get over to here. Get over to this side right over here. Uh, you should use a rune arc because you died. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It means I can't use the full moon spell, but sure. it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that's if the... you roll into its attack and hug its side, it will basically never hit you. Yeah, that's one of those things that sounds great in a YouTube video that you try to do it and immediately hits you. Oh, that, fine, that, fine, I think that fine, requires fine. that requires skill, damn it. That requires skill. All we're going to do is we're just going to run forward and we're just going to try and pick this up as fast as possible. That's a smithing stone seven, which is really good. And now we're just going to oh, basically those, run. Now we're just going to try and run. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. And now we're just going to run in this direction. Because now when I die, unless I can just lose it, I might just be able to lose it, to be honest. Uh, the Ulcerous Tree Spirits are not the fastest things in the world. I might just be able to literally outrun it. Um, so now it's awake. But it's way over there. Yeah. No, I think you can just leave it behind, to be honest. There's these bastards. Uh, but they can just be... Uh, yeah, they can just be commented. One and two. And one and two and three and four. And you see here, that's uh, magic is often the problem. Uh-oh. 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 And down. Now he's doing his stupid fast run, which is really annoying. You want to finish those guys off before they start doing their stupid super fast run. Is he pissed off, by the way? Yeah, I think he's gone. Don't care about him no more. It's, it's fine. Get over to here. There is one dead laddie. Pesclave! I've got one of them. In fact, I got one of them really early, but could not use it, obviously. Uh, but yeah, these guys seem to be... Ooh, Grave Glort Wart Sub-8-9. Also, I swear there was an item over here I completely ignored. Hang on, Claire! Why well, don't I just go and get the item that I completely ignored on this side that might theoretically be important? Uh, yeah, shout out to Swedish Mafia 101 Meme Corporation. Uh, who oh, gave it's an excellent username there. 50 <laughs> Swedish Krona. Uh, oh, very nice. Gone room 10, that's good. Yeah. It's better than most of the trash uh, you pick up. Says, uh, hi friends. I was wondering if John has ever played the Old World Blues mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I've been enjoying it a lot recently. Never played Hearts of Iron 4 at all, so we're one step behind that. Yes, yes, yes. And it's complicated enough that we want to yes, you know, exactly. actually play the game first uh, in the vanilla version before modding. Precisely. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, ah, yes, yes, yes. And of course, so you don't want to be rolling against uh, against that other boss. What? Um, the, huh? the tree. The old story, the tree spirit. Yeah, you know, they were saying uh, you yeah. can roll and hide. You don't want to be rolling because if you roll and roll, it gets on your clothes and then it stays. Yeah, it's bad, yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, actually, I've never witnessed this, but I have seen people literally saying do not roll around rot, so I assume that's the I case. I mean, you rolled when you first, like, when you rolled when the boss first, when the earth tree, when the ulcerated oh. tree just first Oh, appeared. fuck, I just went to the coffin again. Huh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There was, might have been something up the cocking thing. I just didn't realize. Oh, fuck's sake. But it's a boat. It's a boat you don't take rot in. Well, no, last time this happened, I just, I the coffin just closed and it just pissed off into space. And I ended up so... Why would I keep doing this? I just Every assumed time. that you were using it as a boat so you could be in the rot river. I feel like you rot. don't survive falling off a waterfall any better under this circumstance. Chest first. Whoops. Okay, we'll have to go back and just run to the edge of that area to figure out what the hell's in that chest. Because... Anyway, my point is you rolled in the rot at some point and it, you kept taking it when you were uh, when you were on the on the ground. 
Yes. It was bad. Yes, that makes sense, yes. What a vagina dumb hat. Uh-huh. I love that I'm just role-playing as Matophobia with an MATN eye patch and a really dumb hat. Pfft. Where the fudge am I now? I I was already underground. Now I'm under underground. I'm in the absolute peak underground right now. There is no more underground to be done. So this is the shit am I? Okay, I'm significantly down the road from that. I just need to, okay, I need to find a well at least there's no rot here. I've 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 bypassed the rot. So that's good. It means I can put my bloody armor back on. Which is always extremely welcome. Alright. Okay. I need to find I need to find a golden. I need to find uh such grace or something around here. This area appears to be quite small. So if I just go yeah, in fact, weirdly, it's already kind of mapped, even though I've not been here. So clearly that's my destination. There's a big area of watery stuff here. There's Great. What? Giant boss arena. Uh, yes, also there is no grace until you beat that boss, but you are currently under the effect of a stake of Marika. Okay, there's a, there's a stake of Marika around here, is there? Alright. Fortitude required ahead. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Mimic or Mimic is probably never a bad idea. The Mimic can go so badly wrong. Mimic can go so badly wrong. Because if the, if the boss just happens to leap forward and attack you, congrats, you've just been one shot because you've just given up so much of your health. But the Mimic is so good. We'll give it a go. Immediately spam it. What the shit is that? Okay. That is one of the most yeah. visually interesting bosses in the in the entire game. Ow! Ow! Would, would you like to go and assist? It's too far away for me to properly lock on. So, great. Flippin' love it. Uh, this, this seems bad. This seems bad. Would, would someone like to, okay, at this range, I can, oh great, it's decided the exact moment I start firing is the moment it's going to do something. It's out of cookie range of that, oh fucking hell. No, 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 what the, what the shit is it doing? No. Would my mimic like to do something at some point? Anytime you cock it ready, buddy. Anytime, anytime. Okay, we've done okay. Actually, you know what? The damage is reasonable. But I need I need I need my mimic to do something. Why is my mimic not doing anything? Okay, and What the shit is it doing? What the fudge? This is it's doing its Every time I start charging this thing, it immediately does its charge attack. Which is bullshit. I'm mean, just gonna do it right now. It's gonna do it right now. It's gonna do it right now. Well, why is my Mimic not assist- Where's my fucking Mimic? Why is it not doing anything? Is it stuck? I don't know! I've no idea where my fucking Mimic's- Then it just- Where? Wait, where, where the f- Oh, it just stood by the door doing fucking nothing. Wow. I think it might be stuck. It really stuck. useless. Really fucking good. Thanks. You, get clo you need to get closer for your Mimic to aggro. It I... makes out a range. <laughs> that was bullshit on toast. Uh, so anyway, uh, that is a void guard, and it is counter sniping you. Oh, so it, it is actually responding to me sniping. Apparently. Okay, we need to get closer to it. Apparently. So, all right, traverse the mist. I might have just lost fifty thousand uh, souls, which is not the worst thing in the world. And get out of the way. It is apps. Okay, well, okay, that guy's going in. This asshole's going straight in, which is fascinating, and. Go. Okay. You see, ancient dragon knight Kristoff knows what he's supposed to be cocky doing. He's actually doing his fucking job. Lash. Alright, that's fine. And ow! That was a lash again, but I was focusing on my things there. Uh, heal. No, no, buddy. Buddy. Which part of which part are we struggling with here? Is there another? There is there a second lash? Is it two in a row? It is two in a row, but... Why is he not doing anything? Why are these eyes all being fucking useless? Jesus Christ, just do something! Okay, so the closer you get to that guy, the more it will do melee at attacks, which are relatively easy to dodge. Oh, then, he's, then he does a big... 
Akeshi just disappears and then, oh, he tries to, oh, he tries to get range. That's what he's doing. Go. Dodge out the way. And then go. Whoa. Uh, you say he's, 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 it, 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 it seems a little intimidating to me, to be honest. Ow. I mean, oh, he's he got the a... dumb gravity thing. That oh, that, the that asshole has. The dumb puppy in the mine. Uh, then he's doing his big explosion. Why? No, no, no. Stay out of the way. Drag my compa- For some reason, my companion said he wants to be useless today. Go. Get out of the way. He's about to do his thing. Uh, I need potions. He's oh, I think he's looking at him. He's looking at him. He's looking at him. Then he's disappeared. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? Where's he oh, he's right there. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm about to get very... Nom, 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 nom. I feel like that's an instant kill. Yeah. The thing is, he's not actually uh, that strong. Okay, so, um, I, Kay says I liked uh, using the rock sling there. Um, Glinstone comic can work too. Rock sling will stagger him after a few hits, which gives you a great opening. Yeah, you know the really fun thing, though? Did you take rock sling off? Yeah, guess what I don't have access to. Why? Because I took it off to try out the full moon. And you, without a side of grace, I can't change my spells. You need to start a grace, change your spells. I haven't got rock sling. I haven't got anything aside from what I've just got. Um, and all of my summons are determined to be useless today. Do you have any summons with range attack? I've got my mimic. I think I just need to get close enough. I just need to get he close enough. He's very resistant to magic, apparently. Uh, get out of the way. Okay, we need to. We need to. We need to get closer then. Uh, and also, I need to heal up. Okay, I need to just use my Comet ability. We just need to get close enough that my Mimic actually bothers to do his job. Uh, keep on keeping on. Oh, uh, he's going in. Okay. I mean, I will give the chat. You are all correct. That boss looks bloody awesome. Back away from him a little bit. I don't know how many stages he's got. Okay, he's now retreating, which is actually a good chance for me to... Oh, he's eating me again! Is that just a one-hit kill? I... Yeah, it's just a fucking one-hit kill. Wow, okay. Uh... So that, that, then you just die. Would you like some player allies? You know what? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Uh, let's let's flip it go, lads. Uh, just as a reminder... Um, multiplayer password, M-A-T-N, M-A-T-N. Get down here, we're, we're going in together. We're, uh, we're all going in together. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some people who can tank for me and stop me getting eaten. It's gonna be great. So we're gonna be right here, because I can't be anywhere else. Uh, so everybody pile in. Everybody pile in. I've now lost 50,000 runes. That was my largest ever loss, uh, unfortunately. Uh, what can you do? Honestly, 50 other runes isn't even that much. Yeah, one hit kill for your HP, certainly. Yeah. So, I, I, the thing is, I have to get close. You have the option to respawn at the side of Grace uh, after you die if you want to swap out spells. How? Uh, because it asks you where you want to respawn. Oh, but okay. then I'd respawn way back at the thing and I wouldn't be here. So, MATN squad assemble. I need some nice tanky boys who can be the frontliners so I can get in. Because honestly, my comet was doing good damage. I just need someone. Yes, it is PC. This is on PC. There is no crossplay. So, uh, alright. Let's, let's do this. Let's do some finger furling, etc. And we'll get some people kind of coming in here. Uh, we have got... Oh, it's Raya! Hey, Raya! There's, there's, there's... Uh, we've, we've had Raya before. That's absolutely reasonable. Uh, and we're just summoning Raya right now. There's a very traditional lad with a sword and shield. In fact, I think that's my shield. That's, that's oh, nice. Good taste. Good taste right there. So we're trying to summon a Raya, which is beautiful. Um, Raya is marked as the host of fingers, which... She's not... Oh, that's just a deceptive thing to try and Who's mess... Who's the host of fingers? Well, I'm the host of fingers because it's my. I'm hosting the game. But you can have an item that makes you pretend to be the host of fingers. So if someone invades your game, then what happens is... Oh, that's nice. They, are, they go for the wrong person. So then we've got someone over to here, which is lovely. I'm just going to politely pray with Rare right here while Rare just uh, T-poses to assert dominance. I'm sorry, you're going to pray to... Yeah. Raise underpants. Pretty much, yes. Okay. Cool. So we've got, yeah, we've got one kind of magic-y person 
Uh, and we've got one person who's looking like they've got some more stuff going on. And I assume we've just been uh, boosted right there. Now, this means I can't use any of my own friends. So, all right, guys. Everybody ready? I assume you were just uh, buffing us right. I'm assuming Ray is doing some buffing. I assume we've been buffed. I'm just going to let her do her buffs. Because I don't really know. Okay, now we're ready. Everybody in. And let's, let's flip it go, lads. He's about to attack me straight away. So I'm just going to get out of the way. And straight away, not going for me. So I need someone else to be frontlining here. And, yep, let's stay out of the way of that. Stick close-ish together. Okay, so it's like a giant, yeah, like a giant dragonfly. It's literally a giant dragonfly, isn't right, it? Right, a giant dragonfly, but that has, like, pincers, like a, yeah. like an earwig. Now, I need to be a little bit careful, because if I die, it's over. Because I am the host. So it's important that I don't die. And if he if he starts paying attention to me, then what happens is I need to back off and let these guys take the uh, take some of the aggro. He's trying to. Okay, so he's about to disappear, and he's about to appear over there. He's going for. Oh, he's going for the grab. He's eating. He's eating one person right there. That's sad. That one person survived that, which is amazing. Yeah, that one person invested in figure. Yeah, that one person actually. Ow! Shot in the back there. Keep my health up. Play it safe. And there's a little bit more going on here. So, you know, the team's doing pretty well. There's plenty yeah, of... I think they both have a lot more hit points than you. I'm not a hit point character. I I'm know. A... I'm team... not saying you should be. I'm just saying that's probably why, like... Um... And there's nothing to target but the head. I mean, honestly, my DPS is actually pretty good. My DPS is impressive, I think. I mean, this is the thing about chain casting. You see that the limiting factor for me was... He's about to walk away somewhere. I'm just gonna re. I'm just gonna get close by to my friends again, just to make sure they're at the front. And he's doing. I've not seen this spell before. I think he's doing meteorite. He's doing meteorite. Raya, you're all right. It's all right. It's a little bit. That, that's a lightning spear right there. And then he's coming in for massive explosion. And then we're coming in for the big hits right now. But you see here, limit. It's often is actually the limiting factor. Is often. Oh, we got him. Ooh, good work, team. First try! Well done. We're going to give him a quick pray. Well done. Remember... Oh, he... Wait, was he... Remembrance? Did he have an Elden Ring? Did he have an Elden it Ring? It said Legend Feld. Yeah. And we're going to jump for joy as well. We got, a, we got a Remembrance. Excellent. So that's that's good. We had a Remembrance. We lost 50,000. We got a Remembrance. All right, so that's him taken care of. Why is it always strong foe? So there was a giant dragonfly down here. Excellent. I mean, at some point, I'm going to get a vigor up towards 40. But, like, I feel like, you know, even though I was dying fast, like, even clearly those characters were much higher level than me. But I feel like, actually, when my attacks hit, it was not bad. That was actually doing good amounts of damage. All right, so uh, it's a god, John. Uh, it's a remembrance, not a shard. Not every remembrance is from an Elden Ring shard. Yeah, I just killed a god. It's, was this god like god guarding god guarding Ra Rani or something? If I killed her mum and her everything, behold, I did it. Uh, you don't have the right Elden Ring, oh Elden Ring. All right, we're just going here. Clearly, those. Something. What looked like an elevator. Yeah, we got an elevator here. All right. Why is it always? Oh, are we going further down? How much more down could there? No, it's up. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to say, how much more down could there be? I went down two levels below the rot, scarlet rot into the temple below the scarlet rot, and then I fell down a waterfall. How much more down could there be? Now where? Oh, hang on. I'm gonna put a prediction in now. By any chance, are we? Yeah, we're gonna be on that bit of the map that I was saying I couldn't get to previously. The deep answer. Well, we're actually down in. Uh, yeah, we're down in the south of the uh, lakes of Leonia, right now. So that's nice. First off, you did it. This is the moonlight altar, and it's also snowing here. That's nice. So okay. Um, is there a, is there a path? Okay, well, there's clearly a line of things. I did it. Ah, love, praise the love. Behold, victory. The brand new. Th oh, blimey. 
Okay, everything's a bit shiny over here. Okay, well, we've now made it to this new area. So there's New Lost Grace, which is great. So we're now, yeah, we're just up from the village of the weird frog people. We're up the top of the cliff. That all, actually, I think we're actually over the top of them. There's like There was like a massive overhang. So, okay, before I get distracted and forget, because I will, what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the chest from that temple. Yeah. Because I'm going to forget. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Um... <laughs> I think people oh, might God, be annoyed that you're now? not doing the rest of the quest immediately, but uh, we're um, going to get to I'm it. I'm going to forget the quest. I'm going to forget this chest if I don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, anyway, shout out to Gadget Girl who gave us $20 and says, Hey, John and Claire, you were talking about snuggling with cats earlier. Ooh. When I play Elden Ring, my cat comes and sits next to me. When I fight a boss, he gets on my lap and purrs to comfort me. Oh. He doesn't care that John is playing. That's cute. I like That's that. That's so sweet. I want, a, I want a video game dog who comes and just hangs out with me when I play video games. I mean, that'd be adorable, but I feel like that video game dog would also probably make a lot of noise when you're trying to record. Yeah, but okay, are you saying that it would be bad for engagement? That there wouldn't be huge amounts yeah, of comments no, going, no, Oh no, my no, goodness, Garrus was such a good boy. He was so excited by this part or that part. I miss, I underestimated how much I needed. Oh, he got his thing off, but I got the dodge at just the right time. Chain casting is so useful as a mage. Like, this is why I think people who say you do not need endurance as a mage are wrong. Because chain casting is one of the most powerful techniques you have. And if you don't have stamina, you simply can't chain cast anymore. Uh, I think it's, I think people who say you need no endurance as a mage are wrong. I think actually a mage with like 25 to 30 endurance is actually so much stronger than the DPS. Because otherwise, you're just sitting on magic points. You are spending so much slower than you would do otherwise. This better be something at least somewhat useful, by the way. Scorpion Stinger. I mean, it sounds badass. I'll give you. It sounds badass. But it is a strength and surprisingly low strength and dexterity weapon. Causes... Oh, it's a Scarlet Rock Build-Up weapon. That's fun. Oh, it's a dagger. Yeah, okay. All right. It's a dagger. That causes Scarlet Rock buildup, which apparently, which against some bosses is really effective. So that's cool. Okay. So we've got that. We've been down oh. here. Kind of believe there's an entire, well, it appears to be another entire area of bloody Scarlet Rock Lake. So I feel like we're not done with that area yet, because when are you ever done with anything in this game? Oh, God. Moonlight yeah, there might have been mentions of Round 2. Oh, God. Well, we did. We never took on the weird creature down there. So whenever we go down to the Lake of Rock next, we'll do that again. Right. Moonlight Altar. Just. I suppose just follow our way up here. Though, is there anything else around here? Like, there's clearly there's some ruins. There's more ruins. All right, just keep on keeping on. Claire, why don't we just have a bit of a loopsy roundy this weird snowy area? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Brian who gave us five dollars. Uh, and says, I'm about two hours behind on the stream. I'm very excited for wizard school. Can I get a happy birthday for my birthday yesterday? Love to you both and to Tabby. Oh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Yes. I give you the gift of not singing for your birthday. It's, it's better the like best that. gift of all. Actually, I've just realised. I did not realise I was so bloody close to levelling up because that thing was worth a huge amount of... Wait, just let me go to the altar. I'm going to bank this. I, apparently, they can drop like 60, 70,000 or something. So I'm really close to levelling up. So, and I bet I've got a ton of things I can immediately crack. Uh, okay, I'm just going to crack one of the tens. Why not? Screw it. That's worth 5,000, but 5,000 is nothing. Um, right. Level up. And, yeah, I agree. I think Vigor, moving in the right direction, is a very good idea. Uh, moving up towards 40 uh, is a good idea. That that thing killed me. Like, we're getting into bosses who can one-shot me at this point. So, I agree that at that point, it makes sense to have more cocking Vigor. Yes. There's also... There's way also, swap out your spells. Yes, I literally can't use the moon spell right now, can I? Wait, where the, where the, where the... Wait, what? 
Apparently I'm looking. Is it hidden behind this? It's just hidden behind this bush. Is that just a thing? It was hidden behind the bush. Yes, I'm going to quickly oh, rearrange grace. the spells. Cla! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, Gary, who gave us five pounds uh, and says, Hey guys, do you have any advice on how to comfortably play or work at a desk for long periods. Also, what would John like to see from Rome 3? Keep up the good work. I, I don't think we need Rome 3 right now. I think Medieval 3, great. Empire 2, absolutely. Rome 3, do we need Rome 3? I don't think we necessarily do. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, they can start bringing some stuff together. I think the, you know, diplomacy system of Three Kingdoms, uh, the outpost system of uh, Warhammer 3. Honestly, the trade and economy system of Empire 1. I think there's lots of isolated good systems that ended up being sort of abandoned in uh, Total War. Where you could bring, where you could absolutely justifiably bring them back. 100%. You could justifiably bring them all back. And... Ooh, do I want to give Meteorite another go? Uh, actually, what I could do is... Okay, what we could do is cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. You know, we are bringing back in. We're going to bring in Comet Azure. Which eats three slots. I'm going to bring Comet Azure in. Because that is ridiculous. Ridiculous, but it's 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 dumb. It's dumb fun. So we're having it. Damn it, we're having it. Right. Do these things even? There's, there's all these beams of fallen stars. So, no, they disappear if you get too close. All right. Up the hill to the McGibbly Jibbles, Claire. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Yes, advice on how to comfortably play or work at your game uh, at a desk for oh, a long time. Oh, I d I don't believe in gamer chairs. I think they're a really uh, I think they're just office chairs, but more expensive and less good. I think a really good office chair is just superior to any gamer chair I've ever seen. Like, oh, there are definitely oh, there's definitely there's definitely problems here. Oh, it's the it's the bloody disappearing lads from like the lakes of Laonia, which makes sense because that's where I am. So, oh, traps everywhere. Um, I guess it kind of depends. I think what it is that makes it uncomfortable for you to sit for long periods at a time. Yes. Like if you have a specific like type of recurring backache, like lower back, upper back, shoulders, whatever. Yeah. You know, then look into that. Um. For me, like, I know it's posture, the back of my neck, the top of my shoulders. I know that I, like, hunch and, you know, I have to, like, make sure that I'm, like, opening up my shoulders and bringing them back. Because otherwise I get kind of cramped in that position and tense. But, um, what my osteopath says is that the most important thing to do is to, like, not be in the same single position for like hours and hours at a time so yeah even if you're sitting in a chair or whatever now i have a standing desk and like a wobbly s stool or whatever so i i like to have loads of different sitting positions yeah. and and standing arrangements and that that works for me because of the adhd um but you know if you just have like a static desk and a chair or if you're interested in trying a standing desk I think the first one that we got for me to, to, to try it out before we, we yeah. bought a really nice one um, was just like on top of your regular desk you had like basically a slab that would raise up and down and that was like £100 so you yeah. know it's an investment but it's not like by your full on standing these desk these guys are so of, annoying I know, hate these money. guys so much uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I think if you just set little alarms to like remind you to, to move around, get up, go to the bathroom, get a coffee, that kind of thing. And you know, if it helps you as well, remember to drink some water or to like look in the distance a little bit. So your eyes aren't straining with just a similar distance to the desk. That also helps. Um, okay. That was, a. Uh a recovered flask, which suggests I might finally be done with those bastards. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Bartez who gave us another uh, 25 uh, UAE dirhams and says thank you for going to an osteopath and not a chiropractor slash 
fraudster. Lol. Yes. Before I uh, before I picked an osteopathic practice, uh, I, after our recent move, the previous one I was going to wasn't close enough. But when I picked a new practice, I was like, wait a minute, which one is the one that's an actual like medical license? <laughs> so so I googled it. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Sure, I was going to, you know, because like. I I really like the, my osteo lady. She's also called Claire, which is funny. Um, but Claire, you know, like literally bends over my back until it makes loud cracking sounds. So I'd prefer she was like an actual medical professional. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sure I've seen everything around here, because shit around here is weird. There's... There's big cri Oh, hello! Claire, there's dragons. There's... There's... there's no, there's like... There's three dragons. I've decided. I, we don't need to explore that particular area. Okay, so down here is Dragon Town. That's... That's Dragon Town. Over here. Is there any reason... Me to explore Dragon Town, like at all, because I feel like we could just ignore Dragon Town, like skirt around the outskirts of Dragon Town. This area is very pretty. I just want to make sure I've seen all the things, and there's a path going mysteriously down in this direction. Okay, crystals. There's what the? Oh, it's crystallines. Hello. I'm surprised to see you guys out in the world. You guys have always been bosses. Uh, Alright, unfortunately, I don't actually have... Oh, well, that's... Yeah, you guys are tricky. You guys are tricky to deal with. Because, ideally, I'd like help to deal with you. Right, so there's... Just... Crystalline creatures. Not actually... No, 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 no trouble. No trouble. I feel like they want trouble. I feel like they want trouble. Alright, let's, let's just... Cock and go. Right, there's just crystallines out in the world now. Uh, which is... Yep, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just exploring. Just exploring. Just having a loopsy roundy. No trouble. All oh, the stuff down here. There's things. And there's... Jesus Christ, this area is large. And there's, there's crystalline things. And I'm curious. And there's... Dog! Hello, dog. We love you. Uh, okay... What the flip is happening? This is... This area is really big. And there's a big... Huge... Oh, there's a church down over here. Okay. I see... Uh-oh. What was that? I thought I heard an enemy, like, still being awake there. Can I make that drop? No, but I can loop around here. I'm going and checking out the church. Churches often give you free sacred tears. So there's also just, yep, yeah, turtle. Turtle is chill. This area is okay. There's 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 an entire cocky half continent up here that I was not expecting. New side to grace, excellent. I can make it back here. Yeah, I think you gotta go behind the dragon. I, 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 do I though? Yes, for your waifu. Do I? I feel like I don't have for to. For your waifu, John. There are other waifus. Wow, I don't think the chat agrees with that. <sighs> All right, there we go. This oh, this is one of the towers. This is one you of the. the can try running through though. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Seek three great wise beasts. Okay, it's turtle murder. I'm uh, sorry, that'll be dragons. No, you said there was three dragons. Normally, it means turtles. Like here we go. Look, okay. turtle. Oh, and you have to kill them. Yep, you do. Seek three wise beasts. Though this was suspiciously too easy. That was too easy. Have you pillaged their corpses yet? Seek three wise beasts. John, they had little things behind them like that said pillage. Oh, that's just their necks that you can uh, turn oh, okay. into uh, sandwiches. Are you wise? How wise are you? I mean, there's a bunch of sets of three clearly of everything. Normally, it's turtles that you kill. Like, it's several towers before. No, John, those are not the ones, not those ones. The, the turtles, turtles for, for this, this tower, tower are spread far and wide. Well, you killed innocent dogs. 
Well, then I'm going to have to kill every turtle in this uh, entire map. John? Yes? Somebody says great in, in quotes. What is these? I think they might be giant turtles. Find giant turtles? That one was oh, pretty no, big. Oh, no, I think it's the dragons. It's ghost turtles, says somebody. How great and wise are you? All right, not that wise. She didn't get out of the way of my sword. Bloody idiot. Uh, okay. Well, there's probably a memory stone at the top of glowy that tower. Glowy blue turtle ghosts. Blow, glowy blue turtle ghosts. Yep, it normally is the glowy ones that you want. But sometimes it's not. It has just been normal ones too. And sometimes they're just cocking invisible. You just can't bloody tell. All right. Well, they're going to be around here somewhere. And now, yeah, now I can also get around. Yeah, there's a low area. So there's clearly a low area around here. That might go somewhere. That feels like there's a path down to something over here. So I feel like that over there going towards two. Uh, forest yeah, you, is good. If you need to rest between turtles, by the way. Um, oh, there's snails here as well. Hey, John. Yeah. Uh, that area is bugged. If you fast travel or die or rest in before you get all three of the the turtles, you'll need to go back and read that book again. Okay, interesting. So there's a little a little like narrow path here, with yeah some fairly Hoppers, yeah yeah some they're the stronger ones, the white ones. They're a bit tougher. Uh, so cute. And then there's also kangaroos. Gotta get the kangaroos. So yeah, there's the low, there's the high ground up there, which is where the dragons were. There's oh the... my god! What? I just forgot to tell you. Uh, there, someone made a really, really funny joke in the chat when you got to, uh, you know, the the god of the void, the big thing that you said looked like a dragonfly. Yes. Uh, they said uh, that's an Australian level bug. Lol. <laughs> just thought it was very funny. I was going to tell. How you wise are you? Panicking. How about you? Giant, glowy, blue, bloody turtles. That's different. Yes, Ooh. it's right there. You see how that's a different one? Well, how are we to know? At what cost, Claire? At what cost? How important it was you? Uh, it wasn't him. It's very hard to tell which of these it could be. Oh. Could be any of them. John. Could be you. Leave them alone. Could be this one. It's just you, you. You just you just can't tell. You just can't tell. I think this one's fine though. I don't think it's this one. I think this one's okay. All right. So we've slain. Right. We now know what they are, and also we know where they are. Could be that one too. It's a really hard to tell. So, oh, hang on. So even more down. Oh no, that's just the way I. That's just the way I. Wait. Wait, hang on. Is there even? Is there even more down? Down below? Is that? Is that below the region I came into? Oh my God! Somebody says I literally unsubbed because of tortoise murder. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll stop murdering the tortoises. Thank Jump. You. I think Goo I think Google just tried to understand just tried to understand what you were saying there. I just said thank you. Huh? I I'm, I'm certain I just heard the Google home thingy just say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it's it's trying to understand and it doesn't. Maybe Tabby's trying to give it instructions. Alright, so yeah, there's the lower forest bit here. And then you can skim up to the higher yeah, there's a, there's a higher bit over there. But I don't see... Okay, the giant turtle's going to be pretty easy to spot. We're now the worst to... thing about it is he wasn't he didn't even loot any of the corpses. <laughs> we now know where the giant one's more or less going to be. It's going... Well, rather, we, 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 we know where one of them is, for certain. And we now know what they look like, which is they're big and blue. All the rest of them, it turns out, didn't need to die... But did anyway. Because sometimes that's just how life goes. You didn't even get the next to make turtle soup. It's true. I don't enjoy I don't like turtle soup to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um and then there's Oh Jesus Christ, is that another thing over there? Jesus Christ, this area's big. Uh okay, so we've 
Okay, let's let's actually mark these. So we know that's where... I feel like that's where we want to go ultimately, because that's where the Orpheus path goes. So I'm guessing there's some plot stuff with Rani up there. But we now know turtle number one is there. In case we need to like redo this because something... something I don't know. Uh, bug. You say in this area might be a tiny bit bugged. So just check the Lunar Estate Ruins for signs of... Oh! I know what this is. What? That's an Invisi floor because it's been marked to hell. Yeah. They always look a bit like that. And when there's that many when there's that many notes around something, you know it's invisible. Like there's, there's a secret there. It's all right. Smithing set. Hey! It's not bad. Smithing yeah, I think you need that. Oh, there's three of them. I actually was seven I was out of. But yeah, but you a... got a seven. That's true. I did. Wait, what the? Wait, what the? What the? What the? What the? What the... Oh, cock. It's okay. I don't care about you. Bye. <laughs> there was one of those annoying screechy flaily creatures. That but yeah, if you find annoying. like, uh, if you find a bunch of regular alive turtles, there'll be a, the big ghost turtles are around like small regular alive turtles. Yep. Story checks out. Yeah. This is the this is the rear of that area. So okay, we're around the rear of the big building that was just straight up the road from where I started. So if there's a plot thing. I feel like it might be here. Story checks out. But I also noticed there's uh, another area. If I go down... Yeah, I went to here. But it looks like there might be another area if I go up to the right. So, okay. May as well pass by and say hello to the big area while we're passing by. There's probably some starlight here that normally gathers outside these little half urns. There we go. Starlight shard. All right, so we got ourselves Cathedral of Manus. Oh, this is there a boss in here? I don't like the sound of the Cathedral of Manus cellars. That that sounds bad to me, especially as this place appears to be full of starlight shards. There's there's something just ominous about this, and I don't like it. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Laurie who uh, gave us nine pounds uh, and says, Hey both, uh, heads up to people traveling to the EU on a UK passport. Regardless of the expiry date shown, it now only lasts for 10 years. My mum missed her flight with a year left on her passport. That's a useful bit of random information there. Yeah, there you Excellent. go. Behold. Ah, there's a hole. All right. Behold love. So Rani's just in a hole somewhere, apparently. Uh, which is interesting. So behold love. Uh, this is apparently Rani's thing going on. So, all right. Uh, we've got a we've got a grave right here. Grace. Grace discovered. Uh, we've also got graves. Don't just about oh, to. Oh, okay. We've got a little bit of both. We've got a little bit of both. We've got a little Fair. bit of both. Just 10 million starlight shards. What did you do with them? Uh, you swap them with some very specific people for, like, spells and shit. Oh, cool. Um, or, like, like sometimes Ash summons. But, like, uh, the guy who's dead who I got the big floppy hat off, he was one of them. I'm not sure I found a single other person who wants starlight shots <laughs> since that point. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with them, actually. Uh, okay. So I've looped right round to here. But now, possibly... A turtle might have. Whoa! 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 whoa. Go! Run! Run! That's a troll. Bro. The shit! The shit just happened. The what? The why? Is there a dragon? Why is is a dragon there? And where is it now? It's over there. I think we just ignore uh, Starlight it. Starlight shards uh, regenerate FP. Ah. That's not. I feel like we just. I, I feel like me and this dragon just live and let live. Uh, I, I feel like I'm. I'm fine. Just. Just chilling out with. You with... should read the description of the starlight shards, though. Should I? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking for giant turtles right now. Because they're really valuable consumables. Uh huh. All right. Just, uh, there's another one of you bastards dotted around. Check for. Okay. Hang on. So now I'm going back in this direction. I think something was attacking me there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where was the dragon thing? The dragons were down in this area. 
And there were three things beyond them, like three little shacks or something. There's a turtle. There is a turtle. The dragons are asleep right now. That one, that one, it looks kind of skeletony, but it's also moving. Which makes me think it's not dead. Check for giant. Okay, skirt around the outside. We're on the... We're on the high ground right now, but also we are, yeah, going that way. We're going back towards the lift. Go over to, is this the lift? Uh, yeah, you should fight that dragon, by the way. Should I? There's a good drop. Oh, God. Okay, skirt around the three dragons, because we don't have to fight every dragon. That's definitely not necessary. Oh, there's so many cocky dragons. So many dragons. And this is not actually the peninsula with the three things. Sneak around the back of the dragons. Yes, this is round here. It looks like actually the three things around there. These are all magic dragons with magic breath, clearly. Okay, we're just we're just gonna try and go through the middle of them without drawing too much tension. Just to see what the flip's going on here. So round the back of you. I mean, I see there's three dragons here, but I'm not really sure what the... They don't appear to be guarding anything of note. There's no structure, because the, the, th the three buildings I thought they were guarding are actually the next thing down and around. Also, I just picked up some, some things from somewhere, and I don't know why. Okay, plus there's this. There's whatever this is. So, all right, just get down over in this direction. That was just okay. Go to oh, is that an Everjail? I bet that's an Everjail. There's another turtle. Alright, if there's a turtle here, have a look in the forest. There is also a jump here. Wait, where the f Oh! <laughs> he's, he's, he's in the sky. He's, he's in the sky. I think he's over in this. I think he was this way. Whoop. I think we got him. I, th I think we... I, I think he's dead. I think we, we booped him. Yeah, he, he's... That's the sound of that jump. He's fine. Uh, okay, so there is an Everjail right here. Normally Everjails have a stake of Marika, right? Ringleader's Everjail. They almost... Yeah, but be careful, John, because you might... John, don't go anywhere. You might need to restart the turtle thing. Okay. Well, we know it's an... Ever... Unless the Everjail is something really good. Unless it's the Everjail. Unless the Everjail is really good. Uh, the drop's really good, I mean. Um, okay, I think the... So we've got number two, which was... Well, I've already marked where they are. So number two is, like, around here on an air current. I feel like... Okay, so in which case, we now want to go... Towards, I think this is where I want to go. Three. If I go at three, I believe that is where the three buildings are. So we've got you. Yeah, so, and, uh, the last turtle's like near the tower. Near the tower? What tower? Mm -hmm. Uh, tower. Tower, 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 tower. That's back to. No, now I'm, now I'm going. Uh, that's going back towards the dragons. Down one level and around. So if I go this way, past the Crystallians. Ignore them. That that skull was just doing some tricks there. Just ignore you. Crystallians just are out in the world these days. I mean, I see several little towers. Uh, more Crystallians. Don't mind me. No trouble. It's fine. Oh, I don't trust this area one little bit. I do not trust this. Oh, that's, that's that. Yep, 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 yep. Don't mind me, 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 don't mind me. Uh, there is a big creature. Let's, and it does magic. And, ow! Penis. Uh, okay, just, oh, you're still around, are you? Thanks, great. Really, really glad you're still around. Okay, just need to, just need to, if I could just lead him away, to be honest, that'd be fine. I don't see the reason. <laughs> Maybe lead him into the crystallians and I don't then know they could take each other out. If they fight each other. Very few creatures do fight each other, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of sad. I'm pretty sure he's coming. Uh, right, get that. That's a smithing seven, which is actually kind of useful. 
Okay, and... Ow! Smithing eight. He was... Okay, he's properly on me. He's he's not happy with me being here. This is his shit. Smithing seven. Uh, get out of there. Okay, so no turtle. But I think someone... But yeah, the one... Uh, there is down in the south. He's, he's really at... He's right behind me. He's right cocking behind me. I think he might have given up. Turtle! Okay, there's a turtle here. There were a whole bunch of turtles, yeah, right by the tower itself. So, yeah, if I loop around here and then drop down. There were all sorts of, like, they were say people were saying, look for turtles, then the big turtle will be nearby. Well, there were a whole bunch of turtles right by the tower. We now know they can be, like, weirdly up. Around it could just be like in a dub troll placement, like right behind the tower or something. Sometimes one of them is super close by. Some people have clearly thrown themselves off to their death. That's a, that's a troll place for sure. Fuck you. Right, that's that taken care of. Job done. Okay, we're going in. That's this is probably a memory stone, uh, which is what you normally get in the taps. But honestly, memory stones for me are good. Uh, lantern. Sometimes there can be enemies in here, though. So don't let your guard down. Like not all the time, but sometimes there's like those weird dumb eyes in this thing. And sometimes you don't need to crack the seal at all. Sometimes the seal is uncrackable. But you just need to find an alternative solution, like. Yeah, it's possible that there might have been some form of way to, like, get yourself up onto this balcony and bypass the seal. Like, there are ones where the solution is just to find an alternative way around, which is hilarious. Clap! Yeah, casual parkour turtle, people are saying. Uh, definitely turtles all the way down. Dear oh flipping bloody troll turtles. Still, I'm glad we found that one that was in the in space by ourselves. That was yeah, fun. that was cool because people were talking about that one, and I was just like, I don't want to say because it's a fun thing, you know. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. Rani's dark moon. I was expecting just a cocking memory stone. Uh, inventory, inventory. Also, I've got th okay. I've only got three of those right now. Right, check the. So Needs 68 versus 70. Incarnate a dark, a cold dark moon. Uh, it's actually more expensive FP, despite being, despite being yeah lower intelligence requirement. So okay, reduces magic magic damage negation. Fine. Rani's meanwhile. Dispersal sorcery also temporarily reduces. Is there a difference between the two? Uh. Well, this one's a waifu sorcery and an emo moon. Do they do they literally just do the same thing? So it's Rani's take on her mum's spell. Uh, it's quite OP, top tier. The difference between dark moon and regular moon. Thank you, next genner. Yeah. Uh, this one does frost damage. It's some if someone takes frost damage, they take a huge amount of damage and then extra damage for a while. Yeah. So Very it's good. the same, but it adds. Frost damage. But yeah, Quite before a lot I, of difference. Before I can use it, though, I need an extra three intelligence. Uh, mm. Although, yeah, it sounds like once you've got Rani's Dark Moon, is there any reason to ever use Renala's Full Moon again? Because it looks like they do the same thing, but this one just does a bit more damage at slightly lower intelligence. Well, I mean, if you cast one after the other, do you get, like, a extra effect? Normally, you can't stack like that in this yeah. game, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Full Moon doesn't have Frost, but it does a tad more damage. Uh, but if you manage to get the Frost Bike proc on it... Yeah. What's proc? Uh, I've never been sure, but it means activation. But no, I don't actually know what it stands for. They stack, I think. Ah. But it'll probably, with how slow the projectile moves, it'll be quite difficult to get even one to land. Never mind both, mm. I feel. So, okay. Next up... We apparently want to, yes, take out that dragon. People were saying the dragon was important. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to take out the dragon, then go see Waifu, who apparently lives in a hole underneath a ruin. All right, all right, all right. 
Well, uh, while we do that, shout out to Slurry Dude, who's been a member for five months. Uh, and who says, I'm sure everything is going to plan. Also, big love to the incredible Tabs. Tabby is wonderful and Tabby is joy. Mm. Uh, where's that dragon? Because he was round here. Is he, is he only going to spawn in after I get close ah, again? Ah, I see. Uh, okay, so proc is programmed random occurrence. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, I never uh, knew this. And let's see. So, yeah, so it's... Um, you know what I'm doing? I'm summoning the ancient dragon knight. It's a dragon. I've got a dragon knight. Oh yeah, he's straight in. He's cocking straight in. He knows what he wants to do. He's okay. he's he's on this. So uh yes, let's see. Uh, K says frost is a status effect like rot is. If you fill that meter uh against an enemy, you oh blimey, bonus damage mm -hmm. for the duration of the bar and it slows them down. Okay, just roll into this if you can. Oh, blimey. Okay, he ain't nothing. He ain't he ain't nothing, and my summon is being uncharacteristically useless on this occasion. Bloody hell. Okay, um, this guy's tough. This guy's mean, and my summon is not drawing the aggro. Like, I feel like we need to be... We want to just be on horseback for this one. Uh, I think we just want to be on horseback. It's, and... a, it's an anti-magic dragon job. Yeah, the problem is that's that's my kind of thing, isn't it? Did you get your the, the stones back? No, but I have a lot of power. I can just straight up power through this. Uh, in fact, you know what? You if, said you were going to reset. If he can just hold still for one second. Okay, he's about to do... Ow! Jesus Christ, that tracks really effectively. Get some help. Okay, it's, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Activate Mega... Dragon B! You see, that spell just misses so fucking much. Its tracking is absolutely trash terrible. It's embarrassing how much this spell just misses. Okay, I need to... He's about. He's attacking my friend. Oh, no, he's not. He's attacking... Jesus Christ. Okay. Dragon is mean. Like, this is why I think Comet Azure is, like, just genuinely not actually that good a spell. Because I think it misses. Uh, like, it, you can't redirect it. Once it's firing, it's firing. So if the first strike, the boss, like, you know, gets knocked over or moves at all, it's it's all wasted. Which is a bit of a shame. So you can target dragon body parts. If you're using Comet Azure, you should target a part that doesn't move too much. Mm-hmm. Story checks out. Yes. Okay. John, it's called aiming. Wow. You don't, you, there's no aim in this f in game. It's either lock on, it, like, aiming is almost impossible with just actual, like, you, there's no reticle or anything. That's not how this game cocking works. Okay, we're gonna go for the gut, we're gonna go for the body, and activate Mega B! That does not do much. That didn't do much at all. What the flip are you attack? What the flip are you attack? Ow! I don't like this spell. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go hide in the in the building. I'm gonna use the building for cover. Uh, we're just we're going into the building for cover, and that's gonna mean my mimic tag can do something. This way, I've got some cover against his bloody abilities. So we should we might be able to just pop in Nakrim. My mimic needs to ideally. Where are you, buddy? Why, why are you over there? Get, get, get back over. Get back over here. All right, have a little thing. He's gonna, he's gonna breathe. Now this wall should hopefully protect me. My mimic's pretty tough, but that was a lot of damage that just got taken right there. The problem we've got here is he moved fast. Okay, then we can just get out of the way. Drop in, hit him with, hit him with the bow. And my Mimic is around, but badly damaged. This is not the highest, this is not highly effective DPS at all. Back away. Get a little bit of carrying going on. Get a little bit of, just Comet will be a solid fast DPS. And, no you don't. You want to do you dumb crystal spell? Yeah, have fun doing that. Okay, my Mimic's already almost dead. I need him to come over here. Yeah, I think your Mimic is also trying to use magic against the anti-magic dragon. That is true, yes. My Mimic is. I should have probably gone over to the Katana before I summoned it. Now I need to come over here. 
If I can just get it over here, I can probably just... Uh, Moonveil would be a better option at this point, or the Rockfall. Yeah, but this... Dragons are dangerous at both, both ends. You've got to go for the Plank. Alright. Gravity spells do physical damage, which is better for him. I am very aware of that. Don't you worry. I figured it out versus the Crystal. Use his magic resistance. Random Ninja, he can't do that because he died. So he doesn't have the... Um, Thingy anymore. Yeah, I that literally can't. I literally can't do that, that right now. That gives him more intelligence. Uh, okay, let's just get out the sword and just see what how it does. But I'm concerned about this. And oh, now you fly off, you cocky coward! Absolute coward! Ow! That's a, that's Absolute a... cocky coward! Cowardice right there. Get around to here and the. It's doing. So, he's literally too tall for me to hit him. He's literally too... I need to go for, like, the feet or what. The camera is not cooperative at this exact moment in time. I literally can't hit his chest. I literally can't hit the chest. This is... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is this is a nasty dragon. This, this dragon's a bit of a piece of work. How did you beat that dragon the first time? Huh? What do you mean the first time? Look at the dragon's name. Yeah? What about it? You fought that dragon before. When? Uh, the three sisters. Oh, did I? Oh, is he the one that pissed off like a coward? I don't know. People who know the lore, let me know. Uh, horse, sword, feet, John. Alright, just, yep. Yeah, just getting over there. Straight into the flame. Okay, I think we're gonna need some assistance with him. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna need a little bit of assistance with him. So we're gonna we're gonna call up some friends. I think we're gonna we're gonna call up some friends here. We're gonna call up some friends. Uh so if you wanna gather at the site of Grace, right by the uh the moonlight altar. One, I need to uh change my spells around a little bit. Did you bit. know, John, that there is a jump attack? Yes. I use it all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you but, said he's too tall. Uh, I think you just need to go for the feet anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. Gather here, folks. Gather here. We're going in. We're getting rid of that. And we are putting in... Yeah, we're, we're getting Rock Sling back out. Rock Sling's, Rock Sling's coming out. Rock Sling's coming out. So we're going we're gonna to gather right here. And we're going to multiply it up. I'm just going to set the thing going right now. And we're going to get some people to uh, assist us with this little situation. So we have got various uh, people floating around. Sergeant Big Stick! Done! Sergeant Big Stick has been summoned. I need some people, I need some, I need some tough frontliners. I'm looking Aww. for the, I'm looking for the big lads in armor with big swords. Yes. How on earth is John gonna slay a dragon without Benor? Well, I'm, I'm basically summoned. Oh, I've just summoned Sergeant Big Stick, who's basically better as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So we got Sergeant Big Stick. Axel Fax says, I'll give $100 if someone named Ben will join the party. There we go. We're just going to give a, a nice little Lol. polite to uh, that individual. And then there's Ray. Yeah. Ray has already, already joined us today. So we're going to have. Oh, yeah. Marek looks badass too. So we're just going to summon that. Uh, we're going to summon uh, you as well. And we're just going to do some. Jumping for joy. There we go. Welcome, Captain Big Stick. Like the, I like the big, the, the big kind of like, I don't know, jar armor, possibly. And have we summoned... Someone was supposed to be coming in. We have got... There we go! Sergeant Ben or Big Stick. Captain Sergeant Ben or Big Stick. Biggest stickers. There we go. We've just Lol. decided to uh, summon you, buddy. And we've got, yep, we've got prayer backwards and forwards. Uh, all right, lads, uh, let's flip and go. Are you allowed to use, oh, no, we're not allowed to use horses. All right, so we're going. I've got, uh, yes, Marek and Sergeant Big Stick with me. I'm going to be keeping my distance anyway. Uh, because if I die, they disappear. So it's kind of important that they're the ones who lead the charge. Just make sure they're actually with me. They are with me. Excellent. Uh, just make sure I'm not running ahead. Then. Oh, well, I'm definitely just going to let that idiot take care of this for us. Uh, so, alright. We got ourselves a big-ass dragon. Big-ass dragon coming in, apparently. Okay. Now, its head is vulnerable. Its head is vulnerable. Last time I've taken out dragons, it's always been 
I can't actually use my horse while these guys are here. I think that's actually a limitation. Like, it's one of those things. The game's just like, oh, you, you know, you can't do that, actually. Oh, blimey. That is a bit of damage right over there. Uh, Rock's, Rock Sling's got some good range on it. And shield up. Get behind cover. Yeah, use, use the rocks as cover. I need to stay at medium range so I can toss in the rocks. Which is advantageous for me. Uh, the rocks can do the best damage we've got. Because that's physical damage. Uh, not bad. Though the slow the slow cast speed makes me think this isn't this still isn't the most efficient thing. In the world. I like how the trees do fall over, by the way. It's very good. And I need to get the flip out of dodge. Get behind the rock. Just acceptable. Nice. I think even though it's wow. physical damage, the the higher cast speed and a higher base damage of Comet means it's actually the better option. Everyone else is doing okay for now. Let's see if I can actually do... I feel like this is actually doing more damage. And he's going... Oh, blimey. Okay, he's, he's a bit close to me, right? I think both my friends... I think they, everybody just died. Is everybody dead right now? Or are they... Okay? No, they're dead. They, they just died. Everybody just died. You've, fa you've failed us. You've failed the channel. Claire banned them. No. Figure out who they are and ban them. I uh, think... Rock Sling can stagger. I think we might just want to leave this dragon bay. I think we don't need to kill this dragon. I think we've already killed Rani's mum. We've already killed her guardian god. I'd say we just accept that this dragon gets to live. Try and fight him at a later point. Wait, where's our waifu? I think she well, she's down a hole, isn't she? I don't know. Can we go find our waifu? Well, the game's been implied that it was she was down a hole. Okay, fine. Uh, in which case, Maxwell gave us five dollars uh, and says, "Have you thought about doing a raft run or Elden Elden Ring day with Dan?" Also, happy Tabby Day. Every day is Tabby Day. Uh, I, I, I have had one thing in mind. It's not quite that, but uh, watch this space. It might not come together, so I don't want to say it. But I do, I do have an idea for something in mind, yes. So after all that... Yeah, make sure to go back for that dragon later, because the spell that he drops is very, very, very good. But, yeah. Maybe that can be the next time we do a uh, stream. My uh, waifu hasn't got a hat. Where's the hat gone? I mean, I feel like she ain't... I mean... I'm gonna be honest, she's a bit... She's not as hot like this, really, is she? I don't know, I just kind of feel like... Maybe this isn't the right option. You are so bloody shallow. Where the damn bling? Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna put the ring. I just kind of feel like, you know... She ain't wearing a big hat right now. She ain't doing it for me anymore. Oh, is it, there was the, oh, I think I missed that there was a giant important hand behind her. I think that might have had real symbolic importance. Also, like, I don't know why I'm, I'm putting... Like, the ring said, please don't take this ring from my mum's study. And I think the understood thing was supposed to be, also, please don't, like, you know, kill my mum. But I did both of those things. Like, the, the, the ring's instruction specifically said, don't do the thing I'm doing. All right, there we go. Giving her a ring. Not 100% sure. <laughs> My dumb hat! <laughs> Don't poke her with the hat! Don't poke her with the hat! Careful with the hat, it's really big! Oh, she's she's gone. Oh, she ki I think I killed her. She killed the fingers, she killed her fingers. I <laughs> did not, oh! Oh! I've given her a hat back! That's way better. Okay, so I, I'm going to be honest, I did not realise. I thought, like, the fingers in the round hold were the fingers. I didn't realise there were more fingers. I thought there was just one finger, or one set of one fingers. One of the two fingers. I'm going to be honest, when I saw a hand with two fingers, I assumed that was the two fingers. Not that the two fingers, there were actually two to fucking George R.R. R. Martin. Jesus fucking Christ. Right, hello, I've given you your hat back. So it was thee who would become my lord. No, lady. La la clearly you. lady. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. 
I bid thee, travel the path of the Lord, and once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Can, can I have a spell? Or, or like a- Ah! I get a thump- I get a something! Dark Moon Great- Oh, not a great sword. Actually, that means she's magic. So... Oh! Interesting. I need an extra four strength to use it. But... Causes frost build up, which people were saying was really good. Mm. Uh, okay. That's of interest. I mean, she's just given it to me. Okay, I think we need to go... I think we need to go and respec our character. A little bit. Because now we can just do that. We can just do that now. Yes, the best sword, inside sword. Read the description on that. Great sword. Sorry. The sword matches your heart. Um, intelligence scaling. Also, K says there is a two finger on top of each. Uh, oh, it's literally the waifu sword. It's given to uh, the queen's spouse to honor long-standing tradition. A legendary armament. Her uh, full moon, cold and leaden sword, is but a beam of its light. And moonlight great sword, unique skill. Raise the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of the dark moon. Temporarily increases magic attack power. And bla imbues blade with frost. And I could blast moonlight. Oh, this uh, this sounds badass. So, uh, John. Yes. This sword is your engagement ring. Yes, I, 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 I got that. Okay. Absolutely. I'm just checking. Because... No, where anyway, we... here we so, go. So, um, there's Renala. Uh, da, da, da. Moonlight great swords are a long-running weapon in Soulsborne games and are traditionally strengths uh, and intelligence. That's from Foster. Thank you. All right, I'm going um, back in the egg. Put me back in the uh, egg. Is it thy wish? Uh, yeah, I want to be born new. Let's rebirth. Yeah, lava no. tear. Great. So, okay. Um, you can use it if you two hand. So you need plus three, intel plus three intelligence and plus two strength. Uh, wait, plus three intelligence, but... But the... I think plus three intelligence is for one of the good Being spells. Oh, yes, that's true. I need to get up to... Yes, that's true. You know what? Let's think about this carefully here. Let's think about this proper careful-like. So, over to the thing. Let's make sure we understand what's going on here. So, uh, memorize spell. Get rid of that for the time being. Uh, we want Rani's Dark Moon. So, that needs 68 intelligence. And I know I can't use it properly. That's fine. So, the highest thing that I need is 68. That's the single most important thing. Until I get a new memory stone or I get rid of something else, I can't use double moon. So intelligence needs to get to 68. That is the highest thing that I have got. And the scepter is 60. So, okay. 68 is what I'm aiming for. However, bear in mind, I have got a hat that gives me plus three. So, actually, I just need to hit 65. Um, and, on top of that, I've got the Stargazer Heirloom, which gets me to... Which gets me... That's an extra 5. So, actually, I need base of 60. Base of 60 will take care of that. So, base 60 plus 8 off equipment. Then, there is... Uh, yeah. Then there is this thing, which is, yes, yeah, strength of 16. Dexterity, however, can go down to 11. So I can just transfer one to the other. But then again, if I did that, I would lose the ability to use Moon Veil. So I probably want to keep Dexterity at 18, not least as... I, dexterity does actually affect cast speed, which is useful. So... Uh, okay, so um, if you two-hand that great sword, you can double, you can get double strength from it. Mm -hmm. uh, like, literally, it yeah, uh, literally double. And then, um... No. I know, but I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. make, I okay, will, I so will take the strength anyway, just in case. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. you could do with four less spell points without noticing the difference. I would probably agree with that, yes. Uh... And yes, um, if you are, if you use the, um, if you use the great sword two-handed on horseback, it still applies as two-handing, even though 
you're using you're only holding it in one hand yeah uh and yes um sorry i know there's a lot of uh, little things but uh Bertes points out uh don't forget to check the remembrance rewards and see if they've got any requirements that you might want to count for Oh, well, too late for that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I think I will actually keep endurance at 20. I'll I get tried, guys. Vigor at 30. Mine drops to 30 to give me a bit more strength. So I'm losing I'm losing a little bit of FP, but I can offset that with talismans if I really feel like I need to. Um, strength goes up to 16. Dexterity stays at 18 in case I do still want to use... You know, and it's good for cast speed. Intelligence goes up to... 60 which boosts with equipment up to 68 faith and arcane stay at base so i mean i've got like 10 million lava tears so i can do all that there we go i just lost a few bits and pieces there lost some fp bit of a shame what can you do i mean we can get that back over time so now as a result of that with all this in place yeah in intelligence is now 68 so I can now use Rani's dark move. And more importantly, I've got this old girl. So all right, we got to go find uh, somewhere to test this out. So there's a... I'm literally in a site of you can't attack. Because having... Despite the fact I like, killed Renala once, now I can't do it again. I feel, I feel bad about it. Uh, so okay. Find someone tough to test on, but not like excessively tough or anything uh there's probably some good lads dotted about isn't there a knight near the no he he does not respawn uh, at this point there's some nice skelly boys yeah there's some nice skelly boys around the church of vows just make sure it's the day so the turtle pope's there and not some bastard um some bastard in fact okay so yes this thing is now what we got Nice swing. Honestly, that's pretty fast, actually. Even one-handed, that's quite fast. Um, heavy attack is very slow. But I'm guessing that's got a fair whack of power on it. So let's just double-check how we feel about uh, how we feel about that. Come on, Skelly boys. Are you around here? There you go. And... Oh, the range is not what I was... Oh, what the... Okay. Hang on, that did nothing to you. That was weird. Okay, going for the big heavy attack. Why are you doing... Is it because you're one-handed, Get? That's... Oh, you've not upgraded it to space. Oh, yep, that would explain a lot. Right, okay, let's just finish you off nice and quick. Yes, that would explain why it was doing no cocking damage. All right, but in the meantime, we also have Ronnie. Now it's doing cold damage, I assume. So yes, now it's all a bit charged up with cold damage. And at some point, that's going to do bonus. That just staggered him, so that's nice. And then, okay, once it's charged, it is charged, yeah. Okay, how do we... Yeah, it's, it's being interrupted. The charging is being interrupted by... And then it... No, 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 magic. To be honest, it's a little bit fiddly. That's a little bit... I'm, I'm not immediately convinced. But then again, as you say, it's not been upgraded. It's not been upgraded, and also this is your first time trying it out. Like, if you get better... I mean, it's a, bit, it's a little bit slow. It's a little bit slow. Uh, try the L2 attack. Try the R2. Heavy attack, charge attack. Mm-hmm. Let's go to some nice individual enemies dotted about. Let's go back to our old friends. Let's go back to our in fact, you know what? Let's let's get it upgraded. We're clear this is this is my engagement ring to waifu. So we're gonna upgrade it one way or the other. So don't worry about that. Though actually I suspect I'm going to need to uh pop some rooms just so I've actually got the ability to upgrade the damn thing. Pop the room ten, that's five thousand, that's probably enough. Uh, you need just like the tiniest, tiniest amount to do upgrades uh, to Glowy Rani Sword. Uh, hello! Well, yes, we've been doing all of this. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Strengthen the armament, please. So, yeah. Uh, Somber 1, Somber 2, Somber 3, uh, Somber 4. I need more runes! Uh, okay. 
Uh, do I have how many more runes do I have? I've got a nine, which is pretty good. Yeah, keep on keeping on. Uh, I could I could sell some stuff if need be. Definitely could sell some stuff. Do not forget, by the way, while I'm here, check the thing. Hello, need to keep this. Uh, need to keep this train moving. Strengthen that. One thousand seven hundred. Five, six. Need bloody more. Um, actually, I don't have a seven anyway. I don't have the seven, so that's as strong as that gets. Oh, you don't have a sombre seven. You have I don't have. Yeah, I've got a normal systems, seven. I don't yeah. have. A, I don't have a no, I don't have a normal seven, uh, which is a shame. Yeah, I, I don't have a sombre seven or indeed a sombre eight. And this thing, I assume, is yeah. Damage negation doesn't change if you upgrade a shield, so there is no point in upgrading a shield unless you're doing like shield bash abilities or something. So in which case. This is now doing, yeah, 153.26. Let's just uh, bring uh, Moonveil into rotation just so we can uh, compare these side uh, by you side. You have a remembrance that needs exchanging. Yep, I know, I just mentioned it. Yes, yeah, we'll, sorry, we'll sorry. In a second. <laughs> uh, so hang on, this is, yeah, Moonveil is at plus nine, so it's a little bit unfair to compare the two. Uh, but even now, yeah, Moonveil is doing more damage at the moment. This causes a greater level of... Uh, Frost build up. This is clearly going to do more damage, but you can't really fairly compare them at the moment. So, hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's clearly going to be a good weapon. It's, it's you know, it's not too far off already. Though, I'm guessing it's quite slow. Uh, and then, yes, go over to my current Regal um... Scepter. Hey, John. Yes? Damage negation does go up every couple of level on shields. Everyone upgrades shields. We've been saying it from episode one. Have you now? Interesting. Apparently, yeah. Uh, well, right now I literally don't have the runes to do said thing. So uh, I'll need to go and get some runes. But speaking of which... Ah. Hello. Uh, receive power from remembrance. So this is... The Bastard Stars... Which would appear to be a... Ooh, a flail. That's cool. A flail that needs dexterity 22, though. Uh, I've never... Mean flails don't really get on, to be honest. You use one on great axes, great hammers. Okay, so that's definitely not for me, because that's just for big shit. So, um, wait, can you get, like, a ton of runes from this remembrance if you're not getting any of the powers? I mean, I feel like I probably should get the bastard stars, because it is literally... It is literally a um, a intelligence scaling weapon. Ah. And there's so few of them. You kind of should. Uh, but I need... Uh, okay, we, we can get that later because I don't need that immediately. But yeah, probably I'll take the Bastard Stars over everything else. Uh, so okay. Now we've got you in position. Let's just go and... Yes, we'll go, we'll go hang out with our best friends. Our best friends, the Gatefront Soldiers. <laughs> Poor bastards. Um, yes, so okay. We've got this, and we've got, yes, a... So there's a big old heavy swing. There's the light swing, that's fine. And then, yeah, we've got the shield if I'm using that. So if I do this, charge it. And now it's charged, but I don't see how to... Now it just does its regular things, but with the Colt. So... Hmm... I don't see how to shoot moon. I, I don't see how to shoot moonlight with it, to be honest. Okay, so uh, let's see. Charging the sword with L two changes the R two attack to something better than without the charge. Okay, so now it's charged. Oh, that's cool. That completely missed. That wasn't even close to. What? I mean, clearly. Why it's are you? That seems like it's for monsters that are taller than people. What? Why? Why is it so bad at aiming? That's really weird. Okay, can it hit more than one person? And stop lunging at me, you bastard! Okay, it's very slow though. Doesn't bypass shields entirely. All right. And it looks like after you've done it, it sticks around for a while. Like it doesn't, fa it doesn't seem to fade off like at all. Does it go through what, anything? What the frost damage? 
Does it? I don't think it bite. Okay, there it is. It finally wore off there. But it lasted for a long time. That lasted for a long time. And then it... Even if you get interrupted, it kind of still works anyway. And then you've got, like, you've got cold damage on it. Um, it looks like it cannot bow, it can't pass through multiple people. It looks like it can't do that. It looks like it's only one. Though, weirdly, it has to... Okay, the aiming is weird. It doesn't actually aim at who you're targeting. It just seems to go at a fixed it's a horizontal... It's equivalent of a big-ass shotgun. Uh, but yes, the aiming is bad. To be fair, the aiming is bad. The aiming is very bad. Somebody said... Um... I mean, presumably it literally oh, can't okay, okay. dog. You're on a hill and you're not in range. Okay. You're Yeah, you're facing downhill. You're not in range. Uh, so... I mean, I'll it's give you... It's a frontal attack. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'll give you... I like, I like okay. the... I like the, the projectile. projectile. The projectile, this is... this. I think is going to be useful. Yeah. The projectile and the sword itself have separate hitboxes. If you can hit them at point-blank range, you can hit them with the sword and projectile for huge damage. Um... Does it still work with the... You can aim upwards with it, but not downwards. Slightly uh, peculiar. Okay. And Sir Real says, uh, I don't lock on with it. I just manually aim. And yes, it's... I'm, I mean, okay. <laughs> Next Jenner says, John, do me a favor. I had to kill it and shoot a dragon in the face with it. Now, okay. One thing I would like to know. Obviously, it says here passive passive effect is causes frost buildup, suggesting it does that all the time. But I mean, I would assume when it's in this mode, it does so more. I mean, that intuitively makes sense, right? Mm. It's clearly, or does it not do the frost damage unless it's in this mode? Okay, so let's see. But yes, it's like Hulk's clap. It's melee ranged. Um, you can keep spamming heavy attack for more than one attack. Yeah. So, like, it goes into each other. Yeah. Uh, you can just look up, you can just look up and then use it without locking on an enemy, in which case you shoot up, basically. Uh, it doesn't, it kind of changes. It doesn't change perfectly. Admittedly, it is tricky to use, but it is very strong. Yeah. And it is situational. But maybe go to that, like, uh, dragon that, like... Um, that really go to that dragon that murdered you when you had your friends, you know. Oh no, no! Whatever. This this is gonna make no difference that whatsoever. The well, damage. Just to try it, Claire. It's not. I promise, it's not. It's it's the same. It's fundamentally the the, the damage is comparable. It's it's gonna make no difference. The dragon's still gonna one shot me. That is not. That is that. This is yes, not. I know you're that's gonna... not the feel good ending to the stream you're imagining. I promise. Okay. Shh. That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking the fun ending to the stream was you getting murdered by the dragon, but also getting to test this weapon. Obviously. Okay. Ah, it have... does weigh 10. It does weigh 10, which means, uh, okay, uh, we're going to, to, oh, I need to get rid of the mottled necklace. Shit, what did I, gold scarab is what I wear normally in that slot instead. And you need to just go away in favor of... The fire grease that I will never use. But I think it looks cool, so I just always leave it on. Um, okay. We need to go over to... Oh, I got rid of some endurance, didn't I? Oh, yeah. We need to... We need to change out some... Uh, Ooh, okay, change out some armor. on the ever gel that you found near that dragon. That's reasonable. Right there. Oh, now this. This works. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And Foster says... It's a double cape. Oh, nice. Uh, it doesn't use FP after charge. It doesn't use FP after charging it. Oh, yeah. It, it's quite large. It's quite a big amount of FP when you're charging it. But, hang on. What does the chat say about whether it does when the frost damage was yes or no? Uh, let's see. No, it's over here, isn't it? it was I like... don't think they said that. We are talking about the aiming at the time, so I don't yeah. think they said. Yes, what is or isn't frost damage? Uh... Do not taste it at the jail. Do not test it at the jail. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, well, now I'm testing it at the jail. Uh, the jail, unfortunately, you can't... You're not allowed to use... Um, 
yeah, you're simply not allowed to use uh, flibbly jibbles. Um, summons a jail. It's just you. Uh, which could mean it can be very... Oh, that's that's kind of right there. Uh, Kay says, uh, I don't think charging it changes the frost damage. It just adds magic. So it always does frost damage 100% of the time. The ever jail is harder than the dragon. Lol. Yeah, but we haven't seen that. Maybe I'll impress you all I won't, but whatever. Uh, okay. This jail was... is mean. This jail is mean, is it? Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. Uh, well, we shall have to have to see. Yeah, jails are a little bit. But then jails are also... Stake of Marika's right there. You can literally pick your rooms up off the ground. It, jails are low-risk environments. But, okay, let's, let, let's get the advice here. Let's get the advice. Try Frost. Literally got Frost Sword. Uh, be wary of Edge Lords. <laughs> Behold Outsider. First off suffering, then I did it. Well, okay. I mean, go over to my magic first. That's kind of, you know, my day-to-day. -day. So, examine. I've got like two. I mean, if I, you know, I'm holding 2,000 runes. It's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, get Terra Magica ready to go. Pop it. And then get round to Comet. Hello. Who are you? Electo. Oh, hello! He's got himself... He's an assassin or something. He's a fast-moving daggery lad. Oh, he's the Black Knife. He's the leader of the Black Knives, is he? Yeah, okay. I see. I see the problem we've got with him. The Black Knives can be tough. The Black Knives can be really tough. Well, someone said Troy Frost. Got a Frost sword. So... Yeah, but you didn't, like... I have it with you. I do now. Alright. Get her in. See what happens. I mean, it says try it. So just get round to here. Where's he? He's about to spawn over there. So, alright. Just summon him. Alright. I don't know what the range is on this thing. How is the range? He's... He's a bit fast. We got one hitting on him, but didn't do okay. much. You need to two-hand it, though. Okay, I see what he's trying to do. Yep, yep, just panic dodge away. Uh, okay, yeah, and yeah, but then I lose my shield. You're not using your shield, you're just dodging. I got one hit him, but it didn't do much. Oh, he's, he's, he's fast, and he's about to do a projectile. Oh, what the shit is that? And now it's... He's, he's a bit too fast for this, unfortunately, I think. Unless he's a point-blank range, then in case you but do... But it can stagger. Yeah, but only if it hits. Only if it hits, which it's not doing. And point-blank range it can, but I need to actually... I don't know. He's a bit... Oh, he's a bit fast. He's a bit old. Fast on him. Oh, what's he doing? I think it's worn off as well, which is a problem. He's... Well, it's a little bit too slow for the follow-up. That's the problem. It's a little bit slow on the follow-up. Because even if you get a hit in, you stagger him. You can't, like, press the advantage. Because mm -hmm. he can recover and move in time. Uh, which is a uh, bit of a shame. I still feel like magic... I spells wreck this guy. Yeah, but what order? Kind of, like, how? Uh, I've got some ice spells. But, like, not many. I've got... I mean, we could try. We could ah. try. We could try the moon. We could try Rani's Rani's cocking moon. Let's just spam um, Rani's. Make sure to use the light strikes too to mix your opponent up. What? Make sure to use light strikes too. Yeah. To mix it up. Let's see if let's see how the tracking of Rani's moon goes, because that is something we simply do not know right now. So get the magic thing up there, and then activate Rani's moon. Right. I'm the moon mother flipper. Right. Well, it hit him, which is surprising. And then that absorbed. Oh, shit. That did more damage than I got love last time. Am I just invincible during the moon animation? No. No, I, wa no, I, I was. I was, but when I came out of it, he was mid attack, which is interesting. So, hmm. Uh, I 
ice mist is great and the ice equivalent of glintstone shard works amazing on this guy too i just don't know if you have them i have ice mist but it doesn't do damage it just causes slow it really depends whether he's in it or not to my mind uh i mean i think immediately doing a couple of moons is not a bad call he seems to not be able to get out of the way of the moon. But yeah, people are saying no, you are not immune to damage when you're doing moon. I mean, it definitely looked like it wasn't doing much to him. The problem is this eats a lot of... It's the same thing as we've seen many times before though. Which is what happens is... He... Yeah, they, they, they do the dodge at the moment of the... Um, they do the dodge at the moment of... Oh yeah, okay, I'm not... I thought it was. I think it's a little bit too... It's a bit difficult to get that off, to be honest. Unless he's properly giving you a ridiculously big opening. Uh, which he generally doesn't. I mean, yeah, that's... You can get you can get some really good damage off, like, right at the start. But after that, it's... Yeah, but if you mix up... Um, if you mix up between, like... I mean, I guess you can't do that. Because if you have the... If you have the scepter to, like... Hmm. If you have the um... let's let's go all ice here. Let's let's go some all ice here. People are saying ice. Let's get some ice going on. All right, got got some ice plants here. Also, you here. can summon some people if you like. Can you summon people into ever jails? Uh, I don't know. Somebody just said. Be 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 ready to help me out with uh, the yeah. ever jail. We okay, might so we might have one. We might have one incursion in the ever. Makes him take more damage, so it's mostly worth it doing it just once. As an opener, it makes it it makes it vulnerable to more spells. I will replace a uh, basic pebble with ice stone, uh, glintstone ice crag. Ah, and all of the black knives are canonically women, so it's her, not him. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that. All um, right, so yeah, so basically, people are saying if you're starting with the the moon. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I think the moon, the first um. The first time you do moon, it does like a normal amount of damage. The second moon does like two thousand, and then after that, it's like he's too, it's, she's too quick. Sorry. Yeah. So, All no right. summons in Ever Jails. You were right. Even human summons? Apparently not. Yeah. People are saying no help, no help. Ahead. Yeah, I think Ever Jails are just it's just an arena, and you've just got to figure it out and do it mm. but people are saying ice is the way to go apparently ice spells wreck this guy which i think might be over promising <laughs> but we shall see uh we have got uh yeah we've now got rani's moon we've got ice oh, you have that tracking spell though we have what a spell that does really good tracking Oh, the um, Ruin of Stars or something. Yeah. He's got the Ruin of Stars. Yep, we do have that. That would certainly get on him. But it's not ice. If we, if what we're saying is we need ice, maybe yeah, just like, tossing the basic um, ice crag, whatever it's called, might be the yeah. better option. Uh, but starting off with Rani's Dark Moon does not seem like a terrible idea to me. It seems to work pretty well. I mean, the bare minimum, get one off. Because it always hits him. Then go into um, getting the freezing mist out in front of me. And we'll just see how well that goes. So Rani's Dark Moon immediately. Because he doesn't seem able to block that. Freezing mist. So we'll just put some freezing mist over there. And now we're just going to start putting the ice on him. Which is going to try and track to him. But it's... Okay, he kind of walked into a little bit of that. And now he's walking into the ice. It's not slowing him down much. That has not slowed him down much at all. Uh, put some more ice on him at this point. Stamina. That's the problem. You do not have stamina. And... Ow! Balls. Balls. Cock you. I, need, I just need a moment's opening, but that's a little bit. Managed to avoid that. There's some more freezing. Avoided you. There's some more. And there's some more. He's really not taking much anything, to be honest. Get out of that. I was just Should gonna say you've done more damage drink. to her this time than before. I think. Yeah, I need. Like I need the freezing mist. I think, assuming it works. You're doing pretty well. You're not dead. The freezing. Oh, you're dead. Oh. Yeah, that's tricky. I think we just need to practice on him. To be honest, like mm. I'm not convinced the freezing mist did anything there. Uh, I am not convinced the freezing dropped. mist did a thing. Huh? 
Uh, you need to freeze him and then the frost buildup will stay. But I think they said it hasn't... Uh, it hasn't... Um... Ice does not slow down enemies. This is a myth. They take extra damage when frozen. That is it. Okay. Well, hang on. That's not true for everything. That is demonstrably not true for all of them. Because uh, freezing mist, literally that's what it does. Uh, freezing mist. Ba, 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 yeah, but ba. I think some people were saying about frost spells that, like, all frost spells were doing that. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let me, uh, before you go back in, shout out to Zoe, who uh, gave us 10 uh, pounds. Oh, thank you very much, uh, And says, I brute force the Rot Lake and Astel. Uh, truly abusing the power of a big health bar, repeated healing big sword and taking hits directly to the face. There are multiple ways to kill a space guard. There are multiple ways to do all sorts of bits and pieces, I'm sure. Yes, indeed. Right, get him there. Now get a load of freezing damage on him. Now just toss. I think we need. To, I think he needs just to be a little bit closer, and then just keep keep getting over. He's very evasive when it comes to. He's just hard to hit. Sometimes he just, you just can't get the, fr the damage on him. And that was annoying. He just... <laughs> I was trying to... I couldn't, pot, I couldn't heal because there was a message that I read instead of healing. Right uh, there. Yeah, and also, shout out again to Zoe who gave us another uh, five pounds. Uh, and she has to go, so... Uh, oh. yeah. That Ever Jail has an ST. Uh, 100 out of 10 reward. Very strong, very useful when upgraded. Difficult fight to get that reward, though. Yeah. Okay. Like, I think, yeah. We've got a good opening, which is... Opening is run to the opposite side of the arena from where he starts. Terra Magica, double moon. That works pretty well. Just get over to here. And then moon at number one. And then moon at number two. And they both seem to always hit. And then into drink. And then into, I'd say, just Stars of Rowing, because he can't really do much about that. That's doing a ton of damage to... It's it's hitting him. It's uh, The problem is, then we need to... We're not, we haven't got the freeze on him yet. I mean, that does something, but it does. this doesn't stagger him, which is the problem right there. And some of this stuff hits, and some of it does not. Yeah, she is one of the hardest bosses in the game, apparently. Yeah. that's That spell is a good opportunity to get some... Uh, healing in and all sorts and there's some good stuff right there and come on he's doing some I'm doing freezing mist which I didn't mean to do but there's some more freezing for you buddy there you go have some more freeze get 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 in the freezing mist why don't ya get in the freezing mist and that is a good opportunity to get some hits in there's some more freeze I've got so much freeze on you but it doesn't seem to be doing much uh oh that was a bad time for that uh, it wasn't always only a light. It actually it doesn't. She doesn't hurt that much. Is the weird thing. After you do the big attacks, it's not bad. That's another freeze. I just cannot. I mean, that was a good. Uh... I think I just hit the wall of the thing. Yeah, but that did like sixteen hundred. I think that's just that's that that's cumulative. That's cumulative oh, damage. Okay. I can kind of force her to dodge, which is kind of useful. Oh, oh okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. And then, ah, oh, I couldn't quite get the heal off there. No, I, I need some, I can't do this. Uh, I need some practice on it. There's, there's some interesting stuff there. If you get a slow, if you can't get a slow, get a stun. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I feel like the, the magic was sort of working. Yeah, you did get the frost uh, proc happen. Yeah. Pay attention to the health bar. You'll see a big burst of damage when it happens. Okay, so that did happen. So, yeah, that wasn't cumulative. That was a pro uh, That was a frost proc. I'm wondering whether this is actually, like... This is doing a bit of damage, but I'm also giving up a lot of damage by not just using the vastly more powerful Comet, say... So, I'm wondering whether I just should go into a uh, comet after the start. In fact, what I should do is go into, yes, Terra Magica straight away. Terra Magica immediately, uh, which is fine, which is not what I've got set up. Okay, great. This is off to a good start. Uh, Rani's Dark Moon times two is a really good opening. I don't know how long it lasts, but it seems to do pretty well. 
And then into uh, Karin Phalanx, which I can't do at the moment. Get that ready to go. And then just basically this will keep you busy. Wow, you just completely avoided all of that. And then just into Comet, which is actually sufficiently slow. I think that's actually a bad decision. I think that's too uh, slow. And so, uh, also, um, you can go back to Rock Sling to prevent the dodging if you prefer. That is true. Uh, I need a bit of everything. Oh, that does damage over time. Is that bleed? I think he's doing. I think that was bleed damage or something. That was some da tough damage over time. Well, that cheated to you. Yeah, I think Comet's too slow. Mm -hmm. Comet's the the cast is too slow. It lets her uh, get in a bit too quickly. Um, if it would work, if it could work, Karen Phalanx wouldn't be. Uh, I think Karen Phalanx. She dodges fast as well. I think the advantage of the ice crag isn't necessarily so much the ice. It's the fact that it's fast as cast. Which makes uh, me think that actually just the great glintstone shard, it might be a good middle point. Can you wear the ice hat for the bonus ice damage? I don't think you can, though, because your hat does intelligence. Currently, you can... I need my... I literally need my hat yeah. to cast the moon spell, which is actually working pretty well. Do you have anything else that boosts Frost that you could swap out? I don't know whether Rani's gloves do. Uh, no, that's Renala, not Rani. Uh, Battle Mage, Travelers. Wait, Queens? No, those are Renala's. But you don't have... I had... Did... did... Rani not come with gloves. Queen's leggings. Snow Witch skirt. Yeah, Snow Witch. Um, you have a staff that increases cast speed as well? I do, but it's not upgraded. The damage oh, you'll do will be appalling okay. right now. And this is already boosting the full moon, which is by far the biggest damage we're doing. Mm. Is there not Snow Witch gloves? Did she not come with gloves? Did she only come with... Did she only come with legs, body, and the rest of it? I don't know. And I don't. I also don't know whether this actually increases the ice magic or not. I think it might just be the hat. And if it is the hat, that means it's not going to... Uh, it's uh, not going to work for me. Let's see. Stats boosting armor pieces are very rare. Yeah. That is completely the wrong... Jesus Christ, I was completely on the wrong... Well, this is off to a great start. This is off to a great start there. I was straight away on the wrong uh, on the wrong spell, which is hilarious. Uh, but I can get you guys off straight away. So 1,200 to all of that. And then just basically spam and just hope you get some hits in. Some of that did something. And yeah, I think I need just a better solution here, potentially. Um... And then yeah, I think this is I think this is gonna be way too slow. I think the great sword is just gonna be too slow right there. I mean you can get it with some uh, heavy attacks, but I mean some people have mentioned Moon Veil. Do you have anything that might slow her in yeah. uh, If he wants to stick to faster casts, the night magic, the dark blue spells, they won't be dodged. That's true, but the damage they do is so low. Oh, the, that damage is so low. Like, she'll kill me before I can realistically do anything anyway, about that. Anyway, uh, while you have a look-see through your things, shout out to Mit Misty, uh, Misty Radiant, who gave us $3 and says, Add block tax! Thank you for the add block tax. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Richard Lawson, who gave us a very generous $50. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, Richard oh, says, uh, reward for streaming past 1 a.m. Looking forward to uh, donating again at 2 a.m. I'm Lol. really enjoying this stream. <laughs> so so going to be fine. I wonder if there's even a possibility of getting a third moon off. And you might be able to. You can, if you get very lucky, you could just about getting the next off too. And then I don't know how much freezing has been done. But, like, that's that's a strong opening right there. That is... That's a... Oh, but then sometimes if you just get... You get staggered by the two right there. I can pretty reliably get an opening where I can take a third of the health. Uh, but the rest is just... 
kind of... Yeah, Comet Azura is never going to work. Not a chance. Oh, uh, yeah, Rune Arcs, someone is pointing out. But then... You, it you will know. be burnt immediately, yeah, but sure, exactly. fuck it. I've got 23 of them. Oh, let's fair. fucking go. This, 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 let, let's go. 20, 23. Make sure we have got everything ready to go right here. Uh, which is... Uh, someone was saying also, uh, what's the spell that you got um, where you have uh, three uh, daggers over your head? Oh, Karian. I tried it, but it just completely whiffed. Like, the dodge was just too much right there. That did not do anything. Uh, so, alright, let's go. We can get three moons in straight away. Uh, we might have to go for a potion first. And then moon three, which we can absolutely get. Oh, it was it was uh it was a bit of both actually. We both we both got each other. That was the wrong way to dodge. And then I just need the uh yeah, that's the Ah. Okay, no no no. Screw you. And that's a fuck. Oh, there we go. That was a good use of a rune arc. <laughs> that was the rune arc gone. That was fine, actually... you have twenty three. I feel like that was actually worse than the uh, the opening I did last time just because they got the first hit and sometimes uh, you get the hit and sometimes. Can you don't. maybe boost stamina for more spamming? I mean Yes, but I'd need to completely redo the build, and the effect it would be have would be minimal. I'd be giving up something. Uh, somebody it. says, mention his physique to him. Does that mean something? I think it's a joke. Okay, fine. I think that's a joke. Um, I mean, I don't know whether he's more weak to if I could just straight up try and. I, I, I might try and. Ah, next one says, not the one that sum summons multiple blades, specifically the one that summons three great blades. Uh, the Great Blades. Aren't they even slower? I always thought they were very slow. I'm not convinced that's going to, to do much to ya. Uh, I mean, bare minimum. If we go over to that, and now we go over to that. No, that was completely not what I meant to do, but it kind of worked. And... Yeah. Oh, no. No, you you can interrupt Moonvale. You can interrupt that. You don't care. You don't flip it. Care, do ya? Oh, you don't care at all. Uh, I can kind of force him back a little bit, and nope. That does that does a little something, and it kind of res it, for it forces him to respect me a little bit, which might get me a few more moons in. And then yeah, that just kind of uh, uh, does some decent damage, and that does something right there. That forces him back a little bit, actually. Yeah, of, and I, that was the wrong oh, flask. Yeah, was well the wrong done. Time, yeah. That was that, no, it was the wrong flask. Is what it was. Oh no! And then. But like, yeah, your problem is that she gets close to you and like kills you in melee. If you can get her to like stay further away by doing the big moonveil smash. Yeah. Ah, he got a little bit of a light, light attack in that. Yeah, if she gets the stab in, then... I don't think you've ever been this much, though. Like, no, I, I've done better than this. I got him down to about a third at one point. And... Oh, I didn't realise you've done that. And then sometimes you can get the follow-up. But I think you get... Oh! Whoa! Oh, wow! Whoa. Oh, that's the one-hit kill! That's, that's the, the fucking... Proper, like, that's uh... the assassin! Yeah. Jesus, that's, that's the... That's a cool move. That's the... I've got... But, uh, that's... Lol. But yeah, at least you can, um, but at least you can uh, hit her with Moonveil. A couple of people are saying I can only beat this gal with the. Um, I can only beat this gal with the drop from uh, the dragon. Lol. That's nearby, and also apparently uh, um, they mean specifically something called a flask of wondrous physic physics. Oh, physique. Yes, uh, it wasn't physic. a joke. It was a flask of wondrous physique. The physic, the physic, I think it is. Right. Terra Magica into Double Moon, which is a really strong opening that always works. And then we go over to this, and then we also top up that. And now we just sort of force them to respect our space, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. And then if you do that, that's a really easy dodge. And then that can interrupt if you get the timing right. But you can't be greedy and do the follow-up. Because you will absolutely destroy you after that point. And you Ooh, do not do the follow-up though. Never do the follow-up. And then, nope, that's the, that's the big that's the big swing. Which I thought I got out of. And then there's damage over time as well. 
and then just keep backing off until an opportunity presents itself. Do not follow up. And there might be one follow up there, then back off. I kind of want her to start respecting my space a bit more, which I think she could do. And then that's a good dodge right over there. And then if we can just get you... Yeah, I cannot top up my magic. That's a good opportunity for that. At least I thought it was a back away. That's an exit opportunity to get over here. And then that gets you out the way right over there. That's not that's not so bad. If I could just get you to... Oh, that was a nasty... I'm about, oh! Died to the blood loss. Died to the blood loss. Died to the blood nah, loss. That, or whatever like, it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's died to that. Like, at one point in the last fight, she backed off a lot more and respected my space, which gave me the, a, a good opportunity. Okay, like, I like, think what you could do is after you stagger with the Transit Moon Knight, you can get one follow-up, then you back off. That's all you can dare go for. Also, am I allowed to use my fire grease? No, yeah, I don't think you can use fire grease on uh, these weapons. I think that's not allowed. Yes? Uh, sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Wildcat says, Combo transient moonlight into an R2. It will stun her again. Into an R2. Right, into a, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hang on. That is quite slow. I'm, 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 I think she'd be away before that happened, but... But yes, people are saying, uh, that's a really great attempt, you can do it, just a bit of practice, you, um... Mm, yeah, but you I... found the rhythm The a first, bit. yeah, the first move is naturally just to go into this, I bet I, because I used, uh, I was testing out that a double moon right off the get-go is oh she tried to but then that that gets absorbed which is pretty good and then and then no it's way too slow way too slow it might potentially force her to then she if she backs if she gives me a bit of space then i can come on drink the damn thing get out of the way that was cool right if she backs off i punish her with the moon we just get one moon off and if we can honestly a second moon like if she's gonna if she's gonna back off and she's not gonna respect and she's not gonna respect that I'm gonna back off that and that's the thing ah darn it now she can punish yeah she then she can punish me but if she backs off I can punish her with the moon if she comes in I just need to it has to be transit moonlight into light transit moonlight into heavy is too slow uh but I think there's the big like if you can just get it all to to, to fit together. There's, uh, there's, maybe there's a kill switch here. switch your talisman from the Gold Scarab for this one fight. That is a very good idea. Uh, uh, yeah, turtle pickle, turtle neck plus stamina recovery. Uh, speed up to talisman. Uh, there is... Also, I could just go for straight up. What else is solid in that regard? Uh... Because, yeah, if you had anything that would raise the FP or... FP. Well, I can get, I can, yeah, I can give myself the medallion right here. The uh, the silver... The uh, the medallion. The amp, the amp medallion. That I can do. That just gives me a little bit more right there. And the give... stamina? It doesn't give me more stamina. But stamina's not the problem. It's... Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think stamina's the problem. It's because I'm doing the moon that's burning through that pretty fast. So I just want to... But, like, yeah, apparently... I mean, I don't know if you just don't have the Wondrous Physic Flask or, or anything like oh, that. Oh, no, I do. Um, the Wondrous Physic Flask I've got set is bonus to... Yeah, I think it's... Next hit does no damage and bonus to uh, Flibbly Jibbles. Um, your next magic attack, which I can do. So, you know what? Well, we'll give that a go. Yeah. We will give that a go. Raven uh, Talisman... Uh... Okay, over to uh, here, and then over to uh, this is now I'm I'm doing things that are not a part of my usual routine. And it's going to go badly wrong, uh, but I've activated that, and let's see if I can get another one straight into the next. That pretty much always hits, uh, which does nothing. Uh, so get that done, drink, and and then I can follow up with one light hit. Then I need to get out of there, and then nope, no you don't. That gets me a chance to... No, you don't. Screw you. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Now you... No, she's not backing off. Oh, I didn't have that. Wait, why didn't I do that? Oh, that was that was weird. I thought I had that there for a second. 
And... And then one like... Oh, that... We both missed each other. And now we're both going... Oh, that was... What the fudge is... You, oh, that's going to be the... Oh, you got lucky. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. Um... There is a flash that gives you infinite FP for 15 seconds. I don't think I've got that one. Yeah, you don't have I it. I don't think I've got that uh, one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the flask there wasn't doing much for me, and just trying to squeeze more things into the opening moments uh, is not enough. But I feel like I might be able to just squeeze in Triple Moon if I don't do Terra Magica, which I think is the better option. So I'm, I'm going to just basically try and Triple Moon at the start, which is just going to give me a tiny bit more time. So I'm just going to back off. And the moment he spawns in, I can lock on from the very back of the arena. Uh, come on. There we go. Moon one. Can I get off? I think I can get off three. Moon two. And now he's coming. And no, it's not quite enough. I'm literally just a little bit shy. No, you don't, buddy. That's a relatively easy one to do and then all right no you don't 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 buddy no you don't buddy oh i thought i was out of range that that this now that one's just gone shit that one's just gone shit uh it all went wrong because i tried to get the three moons off and i literally couldn't and it threw me off my rhythm immediately so this is interesting um gabo the awesome i don't mm -hmm. know if this is true says the ai is known for learning your moves and the damage that she does lowers your max hp and is considered flame damage if you have a talisman that lowers FP cost, you can moon four times. That's cool. I don't have a I don't have a thing that does but that. Yeah, you don't I have literally that. don't have that. So, uh, in which case, I think I'm better off. Yeah, just I mean, I don't know whether I'm. I may as well go into Terra Magica, uh, while I'm while I'm there. Phalanx is not going to do me much good. And yeah, people are saying you can drink the flask before entering. Oh, can you? Some some things are cancelled out. Like you're not allowed to actually uh, like carry carry in great blades into it. I'm pretty sure. So running start. Yeah, move. and people are saying if you know, you're falling away a lot and your stamina bar isn't filling. Yeah. Now just focus on this. That's two thousand three hundred, which is pretty good. And get the light tap in there and no nice. fuck you buddy uh, well, that was good. there we go there we go and we can oh i did not have the stamina to do the follow-up there uh right but this is a good opportunity to get a drink him probably yep there we go there we go there we go back off if he just wants to respect me, then I can sort this out. That's a pretty easy follow-up right there. And there you go. And go. Why are you... Oh, that's a crit right there. Uh, I don't know whether that's... I was going to do much, to be honest. I don't know whether you've got any special abilities. Gotcha! Yes! Fucking hell. Amazing. Whoa, that went a bit quiet. That went a bit quiet at the end. That went a bit Woo! quiet at the end. Jesus. Getting a crit on her is really hard. Nice. Go, John. Go. You see, I'm not just a, I'm not just a magic scrub. Not just a magic scrub. Not Don't just get a... greedy. Shh. What does that mean? Uh, I think I, I went it. I went in a bit at the end there. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. What did that actually get me, by the way? Was that a, a summon? Was... I think so. It's called a uh, Tish something. Oh. Yeah, I think you were just on it. It's the one where the person crouched. I think. Virgin crow. Under. Ah, black knife. Yeah. Okay, so this is apparently apparently the best summon in the game or something. Uh, okay. Now kill the dragon. She imbued Lol. her black knife. I imbued her black knife with the rune of death. Slew Godwin the golden. She was the daughter of the black knife ringleader Electo. Was killed protecting her mother during their flight from the royal capital. 
Okay, she did a thing in the backstory that George R. R. Martin wrote. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That there, I would like to point out, was not me just standing back and spamming magic. I actually did a Dark Souls. I'd like it to be pointed out. I just yeah, did a Dark Souls. Yeah, I know he did magic, you guys, but he had a sword and he, like, timed stuff. I did, um, I did like, I did, like, two bits of magic at the start. And, like, I used magic tactically when I was punishing them for her for giving me space. I think that was... Uh... Yeah, I mean, that summon basically does everything you just saw. Yeah. So, ba Sweet. people are saying, summon Tish and let her kill the dragon. Shh. Well, uh, you know what? We'll see how she does. But I'm just going to stand back and let her do it. We'll see uh, yeah, how yeah. she does. Apparently, she can steamroll the game. Let's uh, watch her uh, steamroll the dragon while we. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just standing back. Get past uh, while we get the. Uh... No, I'm standing back, damn it. Okay, Moonveil is a sword. It counts as a sword, all right? Yeah, it's completely a sword. How on earth were you arguing? Is anyone going to argue that's not a cocking sword? Because it's a magic sword. Jesus I think. Christ. Anyway, shout out to- Oh, I need to upgrade it. Okay, I just need to grab some s s uh, runes and then upgrade her, because otherwise she's going to be basic. Yeah, sure. Uh, shout out to DB Explorer, who uh, gave us $10 and says, Hello, guys, I'm home from work. What did you do to Rani? Also, how are you guys doing? Uh, we killed her mum, killed her pet god. Um, stole a ring that said do not steal on it Then we went and gave it to her So she ran off and abandoned us And we apparently consider this to be a, a Roaring success Sure <laughs> Um Yes, uh, Pretty Shiny points out You're saying to the summon Hey honey, I just killed your mom. Now go fight a dragon for me please, thank you Broadly, yes Uh, anyway Um Blimey, you can really feel this. Because I've, I've done this route, I know how it should feel. So the fact that this feels, the casting feels so fast with the whatever it's called, the Radagon icon is ridiculous. That feels so fast to me. That is ludicrous. Anyway, shout out to Caleb also, who gave us $10 uh, and says, I wasn't able to watch much today because of work, but I'm loving this live series. It's one of my favorite things you guys have done. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. It's a bit of a weird one because, like, it's not a complete series. It's, uh, it's, uh, yes, there's, there's elements to which that is, uh, not quite, uh, you know, there's bits that get done off camera. Uh, but like, you know, we do kind of like, you know, the important bits. It's a really weird format for a series in a way. But I've been in, uh, I've been enjoying it hugely. Uh, yes, indeed. And we've got some notes on, uh, what you should do next, uh, on the, uh, Rani waifu questline. But probably those are for next time. Well, the game was just implying that I should just follow the path of the Elden Lord. I do the main game and then the rest of it will be sorted out later. Was the strong implication. Uh, yeah, sure. But I, I just meant because yes. we're probably going to be wrapping up. Yes, we're going to give an upgraded Tish or Titch or whatever her name is precisely. A, like one one shot at this. And then, ow, dick. Uh, one shot at the uh, thing. Uh, and the the, the mega dragon. She's going to lose horribly, but whatever. You know what? We're, we're going we're gonna to see what she could do. Right, that's 20,000, which is about as much as you get for a run. Which, weirdly, it's so expensive to upgrade just in room costs. Even if you've got, like, the grave water, whatever it is, it's really weird and expensive. Uh, I, I, I actually disagree with this. I think this is actually wrong. I think if you've got the crafting materials, you should be able to upgrade something. I don't know why the game says, oh, yeah, you've also got to hand over, like, not a ridiculous amount of runes, but just enough runes for it to be slightly annoying. Um, so, yeah, there's 2,000. And it just gets more and more expensive. So, there's you. That and Jesus Christ. Okay, I need to do I need to do some more loops. And didn't I have a did I have a nine? Did I pick up a nine or is that gone? And I don't want to pop you because I do want to have your thing. Jesus Christ. Yes. These get so expensive. It's I disagree with how cocky actually, you know what? I literally do not have a, gr a ghost glove what That's as upgraded as she could be, unfortunately, for the time being. So she just has to be a plus five. So actually, that's by sheer coincidence, that's the exact right amount. I do not have any more than that. So, all right. Moonlight Altar. She's going in as she is. That's all we've got. Teach. 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 Lots of people putting in some interesting alternative guesses Yeah, there. I'm not sure. But uh, let's see. 
Shout out to um, shout out to Zombie Kellips who gave us twenty Swiss francs and says that engagement swords should be a thing in the real world. I don't see any reason why not. Yes, that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Right, he'll be spawning in a second. I'm already inside the safe area. So, mm -hmm. black knife. Here you go. Right. So you killed your mum. Go kill dragon. Um, and I will just stand back and uh, watch. To be honest, that's that's kind of a plan. I'll, I'll toss in some moons. That's my contribution shall be, I will toss in some moons. So, all right. Black knife is over there. Yep, there we go. Would you like to go and get involved? The, the, the trick is going to be getting close enough for her to be involved. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna ride past on a horse and then just immediately just go and hide in the church. Now just go and hide in the church as fast as possible. And go! Right, I need cathedral, and oh, I'm not allowed to be here. This is this is too far away. This is too far away. I need to be closer. I, I need to step outside occasionally just to sort this out. So, all right, this is uh, moon power. Extremely slow moving moon. Did something. It's doing. Oh, it's taking bleed damage like crazy. Oh, it's the bleed damage she can do. Oh, I'll give you that's 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 the key right there. No, she's murdering both the dragon and the frame rate. It's true. Um, I think what's going on here is she's putting yeah damage over time on it. There's the, oh blimey. There's I think I got frostbitten. Yeah. I think she actually. I mean, I thought I thought that the, I thought they were joking, but actually, if she gets her damage over time, that was. That was shredding him. I think she can do it. Jesus. Apparently you used the wrong flask. I think I probably did, yes. Anyway. Um, I think she's actually genuinely got this. I think that the chat's not kidding. Jesus. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Craig says, uh, so the Black Knife is going to do all the work while John moons the dragon, huh? Pretty much, yes. Yeah. That's the plan. Love it. Uh, shout out also to... Um, Shout out also to Kamara Photo, who gave us uh, £4.50. It says, hey, John and Claire, I'm currently suffering with a cracked tooth. Oh, no. Uh, but hearing you two is cheering me up, so thank you. I'm sorry, that sounds super painful. I hope you feel better soon. Okay, the oh. Black Knife is taking some serious damage. The fire this thing can do is... Crazy. I need to step outside occasionally to reassert her existence. Otherwise, there are problems. Now, the problem is, if he his fire is so powerful, it can 100% completely screw her over. Like, she's half dead, and she hasn't really got a proper attack in. So, it's kind of luck whether it works or not. So, she's up there right now. Yeah, she's now up here. And she's running around very fast. And she needs to, she needs to basically just get her attack in. She needs to get her attack in, otherwise this does not uh, does not work at all. And oh, I'm about to be lol. Did so, there it is? There's there's the bleed damage. Like the damage over time that she can put That's on this thing is wild. is yeah. wild. And then she just sort of I think she just teleports because she was right next to him. Then she was just like nah. I need to step outside to reaffirm her existence Maybe she just runs real fast like her mum did. Yeah, something like that. I need to get into a position where... Yeah, we see if she can just do... Then again, did he just regain health? He looked like he just gained oh, health. Oh, yeah. He, I think he's definitely got a I've just got more health now thing going on, uh, which is fast. And he's in a really unfortunate position right now. He's in a position where I can't really do much to him. Um... And if I try and do the moon spell, it could potentially go badly for me. She's trying to do her thing. And now she is flying. My moon appears to have very good range on it. it. It seems to be kind of entirely luck whether she can get her damage over time. So there it is. She got it. So he's... Uh, I think she... I thought she did anyway. And now she's back. Yeah, it's the damage over time spell that's the key. If she lands that... Look at that. He regained a ton of health. I yeah, just saw he definitely... Jump there, right there go, yeah, but now he's losing it again to her. Genuinely, they are... They're pretty evenly mapped. And I'm just tossing moons. I'm just mooning. I'm just mooning. There's some, that was 3,000 damage right there. Because she's weaker. Yeah, she just teleports. Just on occasion, she'll just basically say, Oh, fuck it. I, I don't... Oh, what the... <laughs> what? He's got a giant sword in his mouth. Which is just cheating. 
And there's this right there. That's some damage right there. He's taking the damage over time again. Jesus Christ, she's actually doing it. I, I, I just thought this was a joke. The chat was, the chat was making here, but it's not. He's, he's actually, she's actually capable of doing this. Assuming oh, she I, keeps I keep hitting the wall. She needs to stay engaged. Ah, she needs to stay engaged, does she? Okay. Yeah, she keeps disengaging. Why? What can I do to stop that? I think they were saying because she keeps hitting the wall. So I mean, wait she's a minute. There now. Okay, he so he definitely can get his just health back uh, whenever she wants. Whatever he's he wants. not healing. It's just that. Okay, he's not healing. It's the debuff that she's doing that's fading when she's disengaging. Oh Jesus! He just one shot me though. Yeah. No, I. See Honestly, that. I'm the weakest link here. Oh, obviously. Yeah. I have the weakest link here. Uh, but he can just one shot frostbite me. Jesus. Uh, she's she's at plus four. She's a plus. She's a plus four right now. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So Tish reduces health by ten percent. It only looks like the both the boss heals uh, when the um, when it fades. Okay. The best option, by the way, is yeah, to just spam rock, not the moon, because the rock is faster and physical and can stagger. So we're gonna get the rock back into uh, back into play. Yeah, you have to get out of the church, basically, because when you leave combat, it disengages her, I think. Oh, so I just need to be riding around on my horse. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's less good, because then I then I die. What if I just she hide... She will keep aggro from the boss, but you need to stay engaged in the fight. Okay, like, I know just I can't go into the church. get on your horse and ride in circles, basically. Because okay. also, if you stay close to the, to the ruin, and she gets caught in the ruins as well... If I just hide around the side of the ruin, like not in the ruin, if I just go around the side, is that good enough? Is that good enough right there? Like if I just engage around here, where is well, her limit? Well, you're bringing them towards the ruin where she can get caught on the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I can't go in the ruin. I've just got to basically fly around in big old circles. Uh, and then, I mean, he, she can absolutely do a huge amount of damage. Absolutely, I just need to basically just, yeah, keep away, but keep close-ish. And then just let her let her do her job. To be honest, where is she right now? He is honestly to stay away. Oh yeah, can you cast from your horse? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sometimes Good that work, happens. John. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> I can't just circle the boss because his his spray of flames That's like just one shots me. Beaut that that was that that was fun. <laughs> I think she could do this if I could just support her. I just need to support. I just need to support my girl, my new best girl, Titch. But also, can you not like just cast while riding? Uh, yes, but it slows you right down. Mm. It slows you right down a lot. So I just need to, like, I just want her to do it. I, I just want to. I just want her to do this. That's that's all I want. I just want her to do this. Uh, I, if I just gotta stay over here behind this rock, and Titch is in. Yep, she's in. She's doing a thing. She's just she does some light chip damage. But then but can you not like coward cast from there? Not from Then she just got stuck on something again. I think I'm safe back here. And now she's gonna get in. She's doing something to him. I'm safe. okay, if I just stay I'm staying here on this rock. This is my rock. I live here on this rock. And now yeah, she actually takes some serious damage from the flames when the flames do get him. I think he was just out of her range, unfortunately, on that occasion. And now he's doing his spray. This is why I'm hiding behind the rock. And then she's... Then she got stuck on me, which is delightful. Now he's aiming at me, which means she gets her... Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. That's the... That's the shit right there. Uh, now I just need to watch out for him and his movement and make sure that he doesn't... Where is he? Shit, I've lost him. Okay, come on, come on, come on, Tish. Get back on him. I got a bit distracted there. She's going back in. The music stopped, which suggests he's disengaged from me, which is delightful. Um, they're definitely fighting each other now. He is take she's taking some severe damage too. That's there's the problem right there. It's not nothing. And oh, this is where I die. This is this, this is this is why I've got to be a bit careful. Because otherwise I could get caught up in the thing. And if this goes for me, it's going to be a problem. 
See, that's why I can't just ride in a circle. Shit, yeah. shit, am I alive? Holy shit, I'm alive. Uh, wow. surprising, I really. I didn't actually see that one coming. Just over here. Just out of the way for a second. She's actually, she is almost, almost dead, though. I mean, she has, even at level four, almost taken him down to about half. Uh, which is incredible. And then just get over there and knock him back a little bit. If we can just get him. Jesus! Crispy John! I think she needs to be upgraded, but I think yeah. the point has been proved that yeah, 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 she sure. can take on elite mega bosses and just basically say fuck you. It's based on aggro. You have to get stuck in there. Unfortunately, that is why dragon builds are pretty tough. Yeah, you, you have keep to. resetting it. Okay, so I just have to stay close to him. If you slung rock during this, uh, she would have won already. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stay in and try and fling rocks and I'm going to die to his fire. That will happen. Uh, this is going to be the problem. I'm going to die to the rock. Uh, I'm going to try Great Glintstone Shard. I know it's not going to be as effective, but it, it, it's just it's just a drawing attention. That's all it is. I just need to draw attention. So there we go. Just a little bit of attention on him. And just go, 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 go. That's doing something. It's drawing a little bit of attention on him. Get a little bit of going on here. I'm just staying in, but not that close. And go, go, go. Oh, he's about to breathe fire, and I'm going to die if he does. The problem is I've got to be ready to move because he will one-shot me. He can he can absolutely one-shot me, which is the problem. And he can also knock me off my horse, which I kind of need to be using. So I'm doing a little bit of damage to him right now. Uh, get the horse back up and round the side. Just go around in a circle. Shit's happening. Just things are happening right now. Right, there's there's the damage over time. The crazy ass damage over time. That's that's her big thing. He's breathing back in that direction. That didn't do damage to me. I don't understand how. But just stay. I mean, he's taking the damage over time again, which is crazy. And then go, 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 go. Do a little bit of damage over time. Just get a bit of attention on me. Just loop around the side of him, but do not go around the side of the cathedral. There's the debuff wearing off. But then there comes a little bit more right over there. She... Uh, yeah, aim magic for his face. Yeah, magic is definitely the right way to go. I'm aware of that. She goes for another big swing. He just about misses me there, which is good. And then if I can get him in the face again... There goes the big attack that's doing the damage to him. I'm not sure if that's the debuff applying or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to give her the space to keep doing this. And here comes the flying. There comes the flying fire. I uh, landed on me, but it didn't hurt, which is strange. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, friend. Actually, I think, I think she, he's, he's, he's just about got her. To be honest, he's actually got her on this occasion. And I just need to be out of the way. Jesus. Hey, uh, she's gone. She's, she took down two thirds by by himself. And I'm just gonna fuck you! Fuck fuck you! Okay, this this is this I feel like swords against a flying enemy is not the right way to go. I feel like I feel like I'm I'm not Titch. I'm not Titch and I never will be. Just 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 Here I have some stars. None of them were in rage. None of this was in I die now! You're not actually dead. Oh. You were saying. Okay, so Titch at just like plus four got him down to about a third health. Ridiculous. Okay, so we've learned that she is now God's tier, which is pretty incredible. Uh, but I think, yes, having learned that, I've, I'm pretty happy to say that yeah, yeah, we yeah, wrap yeah, yeah, up yeah. there. That's That was pretty incredible by Titch. And I earned her. All right. That was proper actual oh, yeah. strategic sword fighting. I, I believe somebody during that fight uh, with her mum said, uh, welcome to a proper uh, Soulsborne boss. Mm. So there you go. Uh, and let's see. We've got a message from Foster, who's been a member for eight months and uh -huh. has given a lot of really good advice uh, in, in this stream. Uh, and Foster says, uh, I'm using my milestone chat to recommend some um, Sourceborn functionality dive YouTube channels to you, John, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so we have Zuli the Witch, Illusory Walls, and Iron Pineapple. Very exciting. So there you go. Um, 
I'll, I'll keep those. Uh, yes, so just finish up uh, reading the uh, the super chats. Then we have a song, and we can also do pet pictures during the song. Excellent. Uh, oh yes, where's the song going to be? So I, I think could... that's in the inbox. Is that the inbox? Yeah. Uh, so if you wanna I'll go line, find that, I'll line uh, that up. Aiden the Grey gave us twenty dollars. Uh, and says, I just wanted to thank my favorite YouTube channel for years of excellent content. Y'all are the best. Love watching uh, Elden Ring streams and looking forward to watching Oblivion in all its janky glory. Uh, Oblivion, yes, well, it should be coming up next after uh, Empire mm -hmm. uh, is the plan. Kind of, and then we'll kind of look to do that kind of uh, in the period before. And that might lead us kind of into Starfield is hopefully the plan. Hopefully the plan. We'll see how that goes together. Like, I don't know whether that's going to have to mean, like, it's, like, the base game, but then we do the DLC at another point, because otherwise the series goes on too long. I know Oblivion's quite big. So, we'll have to see um, what it looks like. Uh, but, like, I think the idea is, yeah, we've got Empire, we do Oblivion, and then at that point, like, the big winter games come out. And unless Starfield's a disaster, Starfield will be a series game, like, pretty much immediately. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I don't know if you remember, but Dazed and Confused uh, gave us $5 and they, they messaged last week. I recall. Uh, to say that uh, their wife was in hospital. Yes, I remember that. Um, and uh, today... They I'm say, guessing you sound quite chirpy, so I, I, I imagine yes. this is good news. Um, hey, John and Claire, my wife came home today. We found out that she... Also had a minor heart attack two weeks ago. Oh, no. But uh, your mention made her smile, so thank you. Oh, excellent. Well, I'm assuming that if they found out about the minor heart attack and then they let her go home, then she must be fine. Um, but I'm let's... just going to leave the game, by the way, so that we can have the song in a second. Otherwise, there'll be uh, strange noises in the background. 75 hours in, I am right now. Level yeah. 112... And apparently there's cocky consonants I haven't seen yet. Jesus. Uh, there is no specific end point for Empire, by the way. Um, I set it to prestige mode, where the game technically is supposed to run to, like, 1799 and whoever's got the most prestige. But honestly, I will, like... It's, it's like... It's like Crusader Kings to me. Like, I, it's when I feel like the series is done. And, like, there is there will, there will come a point in another war game where, like, the challenge is done. Um, like, it really depends how it goes, because, like, in Empire, if you know Empire at all, like, there is a possibility that, like, the Marathic Confederacy might end up, like, turning into the Mongol Super Horde Endgame Crisis. They can do, or they could not. Like, it's entirely, it's entirely at random. Sometimes Russia goes bananas, and uh, they turn into the Endgame Crisis. Uh, sometimes Britain... T it takes over large, pretty much all of America and then tries to take over the world. Like, it entirely depends on what's going on. Uh, yes, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to say, we'll have to see about that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it'll be, it'll be when I feel like the series is done. There's not a specific end, end goal. Uh, yes, indeed. And we've got, uh, just a few more, 300 hours in for me, says Lol. the next Jenna. Yeah, I'm not uh, surprised. Dear, oh dear. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, I, kind of want to start a new run, but I also don't because that would be a bad idea. But like a faith run because I really want to play with some of the faith dragon abilities. This is fun. Anyway, shout out to Cade who uh, gave us $10. It says, I've been watching you guys for years. I'm currently in college in the state and I haven't had the money to donate until now. I absolutely love your CK3 series. Ilva will never die. Ilva will never die. Ilva, uh, Ilva was awesome. You know, the, the one faction I've never seen go bananas at all in Empire Total War and turn into the Ridiculous Crisis. The Ottomans. Poor lambs. They always get dogpiled by somebody. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a game where the Ottomans end up becoming a major threat. Uh, like, I've seen them threaten Austria significantly, but never get any particularly further than that. Poor lambs. I don't understand. I think it might be something... Maybe they're kind of programmed to be a bit more passive than others. Maybe the AI can't deal with the situation it's in. But the Ottomans never do well. Poor dears. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Carolina uh, gave us 15 Australian dollars. Uh, and she says, uh, unfortunately, I'm at work at the moment and I can't watch live, but I will catch up later. Thank you for all that you do. 
Watching your videos is super helpful for my mental health. That's lovely to hear. I hope you had a lovely day at work. Yes, indeed. Uh, and we've got a message from Rachel with any with Rachel with an E. And, and the, the Space, Space Monkeys! Monkeys. Uh, who's been a member for two years and says it's very clearly a rip-off of the Never Ending story. <laughs> Well, uh, and she says it says one month, but it should be two years. But I'm actually seeing We're seeing two years. We, we see uh, 24 months. So right here. I don't know if it's a little display review, but for mm. us, we can see it. Don't you flip and worry. And we do, yes, by the way, apparently do. have a Spice Girls song coming out to play us out. So don't miss that. Ooh, very, very Hello. exciting. And finally, uh, from Tabby Zora Vaz Nerdmundi, we have 20 pounds. Uh, and uh, they say, hey, John and Claire, have a full out New Vegas joke. The legionary Indeed. goes to another legionary and says, Our way true to Caesar. Uh, true to. Would it be Kaiser? They say, Our way true to Kaiser. But, like, there's actually a whole thing in the game about oh, how they're inconsistent because the whole point is they're sort of ripping off the yeah, Roman yeah, yeah, yeah. idea just as a way of putting together society, but they don't understand it properly. Uh, anyway, Our way true to Kaiser. Yeah. The second le legionary says, I know we are. Uh. Are we true to Kaiser? I know we are. Trish, you're reading this uh, joke badly. Oh my god! You <laughs> <laughs> Which don't mean to read the joke. Yeah, fine, read the joke. Fine. <laughs> A legionary goes up to another legionary and says, Are oh, we true to Kaiser? The second says, I know we are, but I'm not so sure about that courier. Are Are we true to Kaiser? Okay, yeah, are we true to Kaiser? See, that's ah, why I was trying to read it ah, without saying, are we pause true to Kaiser? I see, are we, are we. I'm glad the person included are we versus are we puns in the message. So I'm glad that, that was clearly uh, a. It was you, uh, in terms uh, of possibility that would need who to. Who also made some very funny jokes Lol. in the chat, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, but yes. <laughs> Boop him in the eye for that one, Claire. Boop me in the eye. That's exce that's successfully violent poop. You boop me in the cheek. Boop. I have been booped. Support Claire. Mm-hmm. Dear, oh dear. Uh, Foster says, I'm doing a Fists of Faith build now. Fist weapons plus high faith. It's tons of fun. You get all the dragon breath. Yeah. That sounds like it's... It sounds like you're just punching a dragon in the face. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm kind of curious to play Elden Ring like without, also without any form of spell casting, because I'm kind of curious like how it plays, because it feels to me like if I didn't have like you know, eight different spells to play with all do different things or like you know eight different abilities, I, I, I don't know if it would be a lot less interesting to me, because like people seem to love this game even if they play with very simple sword and board where their tactics are, they've got their weapon, they've got their weapon art, light attack, heavy attack, that's it. And I'm like, okay, that seems like, that seems way more limiting to me. And I feel like that would be a lot less fun. But clearly lots of people love it. So I kind of want to try it out to see what it's all about. The one thing I'm not going to do is Archer. Because I cannot be asked after playing a mage to live in a world where I have to craft my ammunition. Mm -hmm. Like, screw that noise. I can't be asked. Dear oh flipping dear. And is that, are we done? Uh, yes, we are done. All right. In which case, uh, we're going to wrap up and go have some dinner now. Ted's too, because obviously that makes perfect sense. Uh, obviously, you've got your Empire Total Wars coming up, which a lot of people are very excited for. I know I said last week Podcats was coming up, early access. Sorry, Dan's not well at the moment. He's feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, so we had to put it off. And we did record it anyway, but then somebody, and we're not going to say who, but it was a long-haired stupid twat, and his name's Matt, <laughs> fucked up his recording. So we've got to do it again. Jesus. Oh no, I have to talk to my friends again. Exactly, for what hours. a stupid twat. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to, it's gonna hopefully be next week, but it really depends on when um, Dan's feeling a bit better. Uh, this tomorrow, the plan is uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Gonna be giving that a bit of a look in, gonna be looking at that uh, tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow, so I mean Saturday. It just says Friday the calendar because it's past midnight. But actually, tomorrow is Empire, of course. Uh, Saturday is Ghostwire. And I know uh, no one's gonna believe me, there is no April Fool's video this year. Because uh, I didn't actually realise April was sneaking up on us And it fell on the first I didn't want to move Empire And it seemed weird to do it on the second So there it's is no April joke though There is no April 1st video It's uh, a good fake out And you're all going to now Now I've said that You're thinking Oh there's going to be an April Fool's But there's not That actually isn't So you probably won't believe me But whatever Ghostwire Tokyo I'm going to give a loop to 
uh, on Saturday. Obviously, you've got your uh, New Vegas on Sunday. We're coming to the end of that. That's I'll be wrapping up over the next few weeks. And then I've got something a uh, bit different planned for after that. And then a couple of new games are showing up uh, soon, including... Oh, there might even be a sponsored video in a few weeks' time. I'm just having a chat with a game I meant to look at last year, or beginning of this year, I can't remember. But kind of just forgot, but it's really I've heard really, really good things. And they want to just drive a dump truck of money to my house to uh, to play it. So that sounds exciting. Uh, yeah, a whole bunch of one also coming up. Obviously, your Empire, your New Vegas, all of that. Next week, I do not know what we'll be doing uh, for a streamer. Whether I'll be able to resist the siren call of Elden Ring once more. Uh, we'll have to see. If we are, then there's a good chance we might skip forward to the capital. Uh, the big city, which yeah, I've and, got to. and if we do uh, Elden Ring, you know, next week, yep. we'll uh, make sure to finish at, like... 11, something, you know, sensible. Yes, of course we will. See, of that's your April Fool's joke. Will. There we go. That's We've the April done Fool's it. joke. It's dumb. There we go. There we go. <laughs> See, I'm helping. So, that should I thank you all so much for uh, uh, coming along. Uh, patrons, community members, patron cast submissions will go out this weekend. Keep your eyes open for all of that. Hopefully, we'll have that uh, done for you by uh, in about a uh, week and a half's time. And uh, yes, I say, possibly more Elden Ring next time. Or you should come up too. Thank you so, so much for the Super Chat donate. You've been incredibly generous this evening. So thank you so, so much uh, for that. And as I say, we've got a lovely song. Uh, we've got a lovely song coming up as well. Uh, it's a Spice Girls cover about Elden Ring by the Luke C of it. So uh, we've got Elden Ring Spice Girls coming up. That's going to be the heart of the streamer momentarily. And we are going to go and eat some food. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Uh, and we will hopefully see you next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Sorry, I did not just recording earlier. My voice cannot take this. It's too much today. I've just been ready to true note. This has been Elden Ring. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely flippant loving it. Thank you very much. And uh, players out. Players out with some beautiful, beautiful Spice Girls, which I'm just going to. Hang on. Hang on. Start in just a second. Wait, wait, wait. so good i'm mildly concerned we might be copyright struck for it hopefully not have fuck everybody good night